someone wants to know where I am, why I'm right here, actually. So I had to readjust my mic volume. That seems really low. Hold on a minute. How about that? Okay, that seems pretty good. Um, oh, uh, when it comes to capturing old gameplay, I'm gonna just run it through a VCR and then record directly from the VCR. Ha! Huh. I don't know what... Let's try very hard. Why not? I have no idea what difficulty means in this game. I don't understand how, like... Oh, that's cool. That's cute. Um... I don't know how this game can get harder. Aside from just making things, uh... Degrade faster. Are you Platinum Death Stranding? I did not. Um... I had to play it for review, um, which is not, it doesn't necessarily make you want to, want to go back and like platinum stuff. You have to grind it out. This is not my first playthrough, based on what I just said. <laughs> um, I had to, uh, like I said, I had to um, finish it. Uh, for embargo. Ooh. So we'll see. I am playing from the start. Yep. I am playing from the start. It just came out today. So. For PC. This came out for PC today. Yes. And that is how I'm playing it. Another reason battles would be more challenging. Difficult level making the enemy of all your fellow porters. I guess. There aren't that many battles. I guess aside from the um, Mads Mikkelsen dimension sequences. Which I'm not looking forward to. Mike still seems a little quiet. Hold on. Uh, yeah, Malcolm. Oh, wait. That seems a little too hot now. Ah! God damn it. Uh, <clears throat> Kojima has a... Uh, talked about his his what's the word his uh inspiration for this game pretty explicitly which is is uh i'd say namely he uh talked a lot about how most video games are about antagonism and attacking um what is it there's that there's that ancient poem about the the rod and the rope how mankind invented two tools one was intended to bring things together and one was intended to push things apart um uh, as I understand it, he has, um, Kojima accurately pointed out that, uh, most games are about destruction and pushing away and divisiveness. I can get my real birthday this time. I don't think that it does anything, actually. I think it actually does nothing. Or maybe it does something that you can't tell? Also, at this point in the game, you have no idea what Dooms is. Silly. Dang you, Kojima. Hey, Yipper, thanks for the Prime Sub, and Hannah, good to see you. Thank you for the Prime Sub. Um, sorry, I'm eating my, my mid-morning snacks, cashews. By the way, uh, the, I had like, this is about half of what I've eaten. It's about as many calories as I was burned out working out, so. No, calories are, calories are mean. Uh, Drunk Osprey, thanks for the Prime, and Mr. Manu123. Thank you. Now we wait. It's great, because I got a snack. Oh man. Even the Kojima logo's in engine. All high resolution looking good. Kojima's little cyber death knight. Oh, and past Metal Gears the game would simply say happy birthday on your birthday. Okay. I have not played this on stream before. So yeah, Kobo Abe is Nawa. That is essentially the, the thematic inspiration for this entire game. Um, this game is allegorically about um, conflict Once and was an explosion. unity. A bang which gave oh, birth right. to time and space. Let's zoom in a little bit so it doesn't get that corner. That looks a little Once awkward. there was an explosion. A bang which set a planet spinning in that space. 
Hey, Robert. Once there was an explosion. You're going to play as well? You don't want it spoiled? Thing which gave rise to life as we know it. I understand that. I will say the first four hours the next explosion. are going to be the same no matter if you're watching or playing, but... Kojima's emo iPad or iPod simulator. That's good or successful in telling that allegory. That is massively open to interpretation. I think when you when you have games that are too obviously about critiquing violence in games, like Last of Us Part Two. You get a big reactionary response from gamers who can't conceive of games being about anything else. Um, let me just disclaim, that doesn't mean that there aren't valid reasons to dislike Last of Us Part Two. Just saying. Um, critiquing violence in games can often feel like you are expressing resentment for your own fan base because they're so synonymous. Um, so I think Death Stranding, Death Stranding's commentary on violence and divisiveness and deconstructionism is extremely subtle. I think it, I think it takes that method of, of like trying to be subtle because it knows that if it's overt, people will get offended. I mean, also I don't think Kojima's in the in the business of telling direct stories anymore. I think he's tired of it. I would be. Um. After, after basically remaking Escape from New York a million times, you know? I guess only the only Metal Gear Solid was technically that, but still. I feel like Kojima has in increasingly tried to get under people's skin with his storytelling. Um, and I feel like you do have to be uh, vague to do it. This already looks awesome. You gonna stream Ghost of Tsushima? I am. But I've read some early reviews and it's like, damn it. It's basically exactly what I didn't want it to be, which is a uh, another mini-map question mark filled game where you have to plot around and kill bandit encampments. Even the gameplay sounded exactly similar to Assassin's Creed Odyssey. I've like there's stealth mechanics, but once stealth goes wrong, then it's open combat and you just have to kill everybody. best insight you provided recently was saying that the current blanket, I don't like this, but want to sound like I'm making a legitimate criticism is it has bad pacing. Yeah, I mean, talking about pacing in a video game is a little silly. Um, especially with something like Last of Us, where you can kind of choose when you go to the next story objective. Um, honestly and weirdly, I think a lot of the reaction, a lot of the surface level reactions to Last of Us were that it violated video game norms. Your strong male protagonist was was laid low. Um, spoilers. Hopefully that's not. Hopefully I was generic enough. But I just think it's a lot of a lot of people who are used to cheese like popcorn entertainment, and then suddenly somebody's trying to do something with that. I'm not saying it's a good thing. They're just trying to do something. It's like Last Jedi kind of thing. It's like, well, this is different than the very comfortable narrative you came to expect, and I think you're struggling to figure out why you don't like that. I think it's okay to admit, like, I just like video games to be simple power fantasies, but I think if somebody does that, then they have to acknowledge that they've been playing simple power, power fantasies their entire life. And it comes, uh, it comes with a host of other acknowledgements that people don't want to make about their favorite pastime. Oh, Wabba Laba Ding Dong? Thanks for gifting five subs. It's very, very, uh... Very generous of you. Is this cyberpunk? I wouldn't say so, no. I think the themes it tackles and the setting it's in don't really resonate with cyberpunk. I mean, it's like post, post, post cyberpunk. Oh, great. Huh. Fuck. Would you want a Death Stranding 2? Sure. I like this game. I like it a lot. Ooh, it's so weird to see all these frames. Oh, it's so buttery smooth and everything's so crisp. I did notice it, it hit some some chugs there in the intro sequence, but... That's okay. Oh, oh. Yep, both triggers firmly held. This is, this is gonna be our pose for most of the game. I was kinda bummed that there was never any, like, uh... Like, there is somewhat of a mechanic to, uh, to walking, uh, which I appreciate. 
but there's not a much of incentive to just not walk with both shoulder straps all the time. Um, I guess you can't go quite as fast, you can't sprint, but if you're going over rough terrain, there's you wouldn't be sprinting anyway. I guess there's really no way around that without putting in like a stamina meter, something like that. Whoa. You play an ultra wide. I do not. Um, I don't want to bite off ultra wide, mostly because I stream a lot, and I think ultra wide's in that space right now where you got to do a lot of work to get it uh get it working for some games. Wonder what the keyboard controls are like. I don't know. It's a good question. Ladies, be careful out there. It's the Kojima quote about people thinking he was Nostradamus for predicting the pandemic, and he just said if he was a prophet, it would have made a better selling game. That's a good point. Yeah. Falseris. Um, Kojima's not the only one who who's predicted pandemics, you know? Bill Gates was out there saying it was going to happen. A lot of sociologists, I think, have, have identified for a long time that we, in the United States specifically, were woefully underprepared for this. So, but you know what? Who needs experts? Am I right? The only reason you don't run while holding the straps is if you want to hold more items. Oh yeah, in your hands? That's a good point. <laughs> Bill Gates didn't make a video game? Yeah. Therefore, we don't listen to him. It's interesting how, like... I don't know. It's like he knows we're at the beginning of the video game. I don't think Sam Bridges would be so fascinated by Timefall. But, uh... Hey, d &I Coli, thank you. Love this weird game? I do too. Look at that tech! That allergen tech! That is actually really, really, really cool. Wasn't the US rated as the most prepared country for this like three years ago? I... I, if they were, I don't know. I do not recall that. It's possible. Man, I don't know. I don't know, I, I pay just enough attention to the cycle to try to make sure I'm doing the right thing... Uh, ...societally. And figure out how to vote, basically. I think he's just trying to sense the BTs. I don't think he can do that. I mean, the way you sense BTs is by having an allergic reaction. Or having a bridge baby. Which he does not. Playing 1440? Yeah. The YouTube upload will be 1440, but here on here on good old Twitch, we're at 1080p. Also, bitrate's a little lower because I was doing some experimenting. I forgot to, I keep forgetting to turn that back off, go to go back up to 8 megabit, but it'll have to do for now. Ah, he has just enough dooms to be able to have a reaction to them without a BB. Others with more dooms can see them without the bridge. Thank you, understandable. Yeah, um, this, heads up, this will be a, a full lore playthrough, so I'll be reading a lot. Um, that is a luxury I didn't quite have when I played it for review the first time. I had to just finish the damn game. I love how, like, the handprint goes down, and then you can see the little drag mark of the fingers flicking up. Bloop. Of them, like, pressing down and then rolling their, their hand forward. It's such a weird little detail that... This game is filled with. I'm learning more often as I get older and, and see more people's creativity expressed that the mastery and technique is not necessarily in just having the idea. It's realizing it in resolution. Like, I can have a shitty 240p idea, and when I go to make it real, it's going to look fuzzy and weird. But to have, a, you know, a 4K vision in your head of what this world is like and how it works, to the extent where these hand-walking demon things leave trails in the sand as they as they move forward. So, 
I finished the game, and I'm still not sure the significance of those things. Um, and I'm curious how spoilery to get. I mean, they're the extinction entities, right? The fun thing is, talking about spoilers doesn't actually spoil anything, because the game doesn't really make sense by the end of it. Um, also, the crying is part of the allergic reaction. It's not... It's not so much Kojima being art. As, as much as it reads like that, it actually makes sense. Not to be a nerd, but David Lynch calls that being true to the idea of your act in your act of creation. I think they're gone. It's it's amazing to hear David Lynch talk about creative expression because Didn't mean to cry. he I think acknowledges that it's tough to be a, a chiral allergy. Okay, they lay it out pretty 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 so fast. You have dooms like me. I've got the extinction factor, but I think you got me beat. Yeah, it's your level. having played it. I promise I won't see anything that would derail the experience. Level two then. What are you doing here? Trying to stay dry. Same as you. Time falls let up. My name is Fragile. Yeah, I've heard of you. <laughs> um, he kind of acknowledges the problems of trying to be creative in a Porter Bridges. capitalist environment. How like incidentally some creators yeah. Ideas and output are worth millions, while others are not. I think David Lynch understands that he some of his creations happen to hit, but that's not why he makes them. Is it dropping frames? Uh, not that I've seen. Not extensively, anyway. That isn't... I mean, the capture may be, but it's pretty buttery smooth for me. You want it? Crypto buy it a day, keeps hmm. the time fall away. Wanna come work for me? Must be tough out here on your own. Yeah, I thought Fragile Express had plenty of people. Plenty of traders. Not much left of us now. Safe for a few honest folks. And on top of that, not much left of me either. Got soaked from neck to toe. I can't help you with that. I make deliveries. That's all. The only thing I would really teach you about the game is to have a team rewrite all the dialogue. It'd be nice if conversation flowed more naturally and didn't seem to be talking past each other. Oh, you mean in Death Stranding? Um, Busca, believe it or not, that's part of the- that's part of the lore of the game. Um, at least, this is me being generous, but the emails lay out a lot of the human experience in the world of Death Stranding, and it's different. Like, um... Those things never stay gone for long. This game is- is very, like, like she has a rope. She is- she is an agent of connectivity, right? Um, anyway. Um... This is the very beginning of the game, Valceras. Uh, so, the world of Death Stranding is weird. People don't fuck anymore. People barely talk anymore. It's, um... Communication is a different thing. And I think the dialogue is meant to sort of reflect that. The time full fast forwards. I think it, it I think it works in varying degrees of but success. Wash everything away. But the whole talking past each other, I think, is, just won't is at least partially intended. I'll um... Do you think this game did what Kojima intended, hoping to push a more non-violent and but satisfying video game experience? I think it was an important experiment. Um, yeah, Night Sentinel. There, there's like, there was like a whole five-page email somewhere talking about how the world went asexual at some point. It's just like people, you know, you could argue it's it's elements of like almost evolution in a weird way that we don't need to interact with sex the way we used to. Is, as angry apes. <sighs> Essentially, we just need, uh... We need the internet and we need anime. And we're good. Sam always refuses the crypto bites, but in gameplay I find myself eating them all the time. Yeah, I can't remember the reason he turns down crypto bites. I think it's just a character trait of his. He, re he rejects help. It's supposed to be part of his character arc. I thought there was another package out here, but maybe it got wiped. Kojima wants people to fuck. I think I don't I don't read a lot of uh, a lot of 
intent from this game, bizarrely. I think it is, it is sort of a, uh, I don't know what's the word. It doesn't have much of an agenda, despite being ripe for agenda. The only agenda in this game is, hey, maybe, maybe we should figure out how to connect to each other again, even though connection was the problem. Like, uh... The game is pretty specific about calling out the problems of opening up free and free communication between all people. Um, yeah, people aren't up for making children because of world events. I mean, I have friends that that are you know new newish parents, and they are having a horrible time. I mean, there's there's the joy of parenthood for sure, but uh, they've been they've been locked up with their kids for months, and I can understand the the fury behind trying to get kids back in school just so you have a goddamn break, especially if your your finances are already pushed to the brink. But Long Dong Silver, thanks for the thanks for the sub. Bjork, thank you for the sub. Vic, good to see you again. Thank you. And Felsaris, thank you for the cheer. Opinions on the music? It's not really my style, if I'm being honest. I think it I think it fits the tone of the game. But this I'm just not into like emo bleepy bloop music. God, it is wonderful seeing this game at high frame rate though. Aww. That was honest like as cozy as the first game was, and it's a pretty cozy game. If you're not, you know, tussling with BTs. Um this is going to be pretty max cozy if I can play it at 60 FPS and above. Would it be worth with Gent? Yeah, of course it would. Now, like I said, it, I think it's it's a perfect tonal match. Just for my personal taste, it's not what I choose to listen to. Hmm. Do you think pacifism in games like Undertale and this work in the medium, or does it not belong in games since they're so inherently violent? I think Nier conveys those seems best, but it's my opinion. Oh, well then I'm really excited to uh, I'm really excited to play more Nier. Um, a lot of the commentary on violence in games has been pretty pretty blunt. I think Death Stranding is probably the first game that I think has has made a game that's not about violence where the point is, hey, this isn't about violence. Like, it's not about violence, but that's not its divining trait. It's about something else, as opposed to explicitly not being about violence. Um, I liked Undertale because it made a mechanic around being not violent and had, like, lower implications for not being violent. But that is kind of the fable way of doing things, that, that pacifism or nonviolence only exists as a stark contrast to the presence of violence. And, uh, you know, I think other narrative attempts to tackle that subject like Hotline Miami or The Last of Us Part 2 um, have to include violence because it you know it's a video game and it has to be marketed so uh, I do appreciate that oh that's just camera mode I do appreciate that this game the whole point isn't to wag a finger at you about being non-violent or being violent in the first place it's to just present a completely new from the ground up kind of concept of a game it, it, it started from a reality that wasn't about, okay, everyone wants to shoot each other and how do we change that? I guess Death Stranding is more like, everyone already shot each other and now what do we have left? Which is kind of neat. I forgot about sprinting. How could I? That's this whole game. Begin Central knot. Cargo verified. Thank you. I oh, forgot how different the early game outfit is. Uh, before you get robo suits and shit. What would you rate this game out of a 10? Oof. I think, like, this game more than any other, before you even throw a number out, you have to you have to write a book about what numbers mean. Um, I think it's a well, it's an extremely well-made game with a great concept and pretty good execution. Uh... There are certain mechanical things that I would I would like to have seen. He's our man. I would like to have seen maybe um, 
reinforced a little better, but I don't know how. I think that there's there's an absolute lack of of negative consequence. There's almost no fail states in the game of any kind. Uh, all you get is little micro fail states of like, well, I wanted to go this way, but I don't have a ladder, or uh, my package fell off. Now I gotta go get it. Like there's little things like that. So that's kind of how you experience failure in this game. Uh, so uh, I'm I'm personally a, a proponent of challenge and fail states to reinforce that challenge but that's also antiquated thinking um and i don't think this game is trying to operate on those rules you may select partial delivery to submit required cargo currently in your possession and return with the remainder when convenient once the cargo submitted meets or exceeds requirements you may designate the order complete at any time i guess i missed one Wait. Oh, it, that's right, it automatically returns, yeah. Confirm delivery. Not included. Yeah. Wonder where those smart drugs went. Oh well. You can die during gameplay. Not really. You can go to the strand? Whatever that trans-dimensional space is in between the beach and this reality, man, I don't, I don't remember. Uh, Crow, thanks for the prime. We'll figure it out. You can get pushed out of your game state, but then you come right back to it. So I think, I think as as a side effect of of wanting to change the dynamic and the reward loop and even the concept of video games, I think uh, this game. Tried, tried to swerve around all of that. Um, so I, I res boy, do I respect the, uh, I respect the attempt. Um, I think the, the issue is, uh, whether or not an individual will find that interesting. And that is, that is the whole thing. So it's like, and and uh, to to be frank too, I think I think the way that we talk about review and rate games is also kind of busted in the first place because none of that process acknowledges how subjective good art can be. Um, if the game's rated a nine out of ten. The assumption is that most gamers should like it because it's well made. Um, also, I'm going to intervene a little bit. Uh, there's there's a ongoing discussion in chat about Last of Us Part Two. I've been keeping an eye on it. It seems like the verbiage is starting to get a little, a little more intense. Uh, so, you know, I'll, uh, I'll re, re, uh, restate sometimes on the internet. It's okay to disagree and just walk away. Uh, also, I do have to throw out that, like, I don't know. I don't know that, uh... That, that that game constituted to Depp spitting in your face. Also, bear in mind, uh, individual in chat whom I won't mention, I can see your chat history, and it's not very constructive. So, maybe consider that. Maybe consider that, that I can see that stuff. And you leave, you leave a history that I can act against if I need to. Um, tickle my fancy pickle. Thank you for gifting five subs. And Crow, thanks for the prime. Cool Beans, thanks for the sub. Appreciate that. There've been more kinds of fail. There are more kinds of fail states than game over. Mm -hmm. States like Stardew, Minecraft, or Animal Crossing. The fail state is that you haven't built what you want yet. You're in a perpetual fail state that you're trying to play out of. Yeah, um, and and that kind of goes into into ideas of like. Oh, yeah, why do I care? Of uh, well, okay. What constitutes a game, and what constitutes play? Because you can use a video game to play, or you can use a video game to play a game. And, uh, I can't... I get stuck here last time, too, and I don't know why. Did I... Maybe have to complete the delivery? I thought I did that. Why are you telling me to hold a button down? What? Did I not do it? Maybe I didn't. 
do nothing and close. I want you to complete order. Oh, I moved. I guess I moved it to partial. Weird. Okay. What took you so long? God. I will say the UI in this game takes some goddamn adjustment. Lost my bike and some cargo. Sounds like you've been through the ringer. You're running behind, but. People get touchy about Last of Us 2 because they had an emotional connection to Joel and Ellie in the original. Mm -hmm. It's also, it seems like it's the first time that anyone has had that experience of like getting attached to a character that's then used as story leverage later. How, I feel like you have to, you have to have only ever consumed video games to be surprised by that narrative technique because it's very rarely used. <laughs> You are just a part of the hate you spread. So I've been reading the conversation, and you're actually wrong. And uh, and actually, your chat history is pretty crappy. So I'm going to time you out. Um, just just as a little like, hey, maybe try not to be so antagonistic and, and jerk jerky. You can be mad at a video game, but when you start when you start like getting personally hurt. Talking about how the devs were spitting in your face, like, that's when you need a little distance. Bridges I'm gonna disposal. be very, very straightforward. Zone? Right. Not the touchy-feely type. Document said you had some kind of phobia. Bridges corpse disposal. Um, what happened? would you play this game with director's commentary? Yeah, Absolutely. I wish more games did that. That's why I liked, uh, the Half-Life game so much. The, uh, the director's commentary in Half-Life games were superb. And I, I feel like, and, and I understand that probably took a lot of, that probably took a lot of effort and work, but I do think that more average gamers could stand to hear the kinds of thought process and design that goes into games. There's so many game enthusiasts that just don't understand or respect the craft that goes into them, and I think because of that have a very weird concept of the process of game making. Not sick. This is a suicide. Yeah, Team Fortress and Portal. Jesus. Yeah. Oh, quadrilateral, quadrilateral cowboy all. does? That's awesome. Got him on ice ASAP, but who knows when he'll go necro. Where are you taking him? Uh, closest incinerators to the north. This route's crawling with PTs. Sure you can't use another? I wish I could, but there's no time. Then just burn the poor bastard right here. You put all that chirillum in the air so close to town? Can't do it. Better that than... Trying for the incinerator. This is the only hey, cutscene that can go above 60 in this, this. game? We just really? Someone like you with dooms. I mean, 60 is fine. I'll take 60. So why does he say that if he has a bridge baby? Well, he's already in the first stages of necrosis. If we don't hurry, this place is a crater. So how about it? Can we count on you? Then Bridges hereby enters into a contract with Sam Porter. Uh... Sam. Just Sam. And I can't spot BTs. Just sends them. That's why we came prepared. I did play Remedy's Control. And I loved it. Bridge, it's psychotic. It's like probably the best game I played from Remedy. You. We'll be able so to good. stay one step ahead. The best meta story game you played. <sighs> That's a good question. Makes me feel like shit every time. You are plugging into the other side. It freaks me out too. I have to think about that for a little bit. Roll out. Yeah, I played the DLC. It was it was all right. Hopefully the next one's gonna be the the, the barn burner. It's the Alan Wake DLC next, I think. Some experience this upcoming scene. There was an earthquake here in San Francisco, and it scared the fuck out of me. I could see that. Man, the first encounters with, with BTs are real intense. I'm hoping on a second playthrough I can understand more of the literal movements of the plot. Because it's not, um... Yeah, the world was different when I was also, this doesn't really happen much in the game. America, the country, like, rail cutscenes where you get to control the camera. 
No need for couriers like yourself. We had highways, airplanes. Hell, you could even visit other countries. The design of this vehicle is quite stupid. Do you think? It seems pretty tailored to cross rough terrain. Big wheels. High transmission. Or lifted transmission. survive, the time fall came and washed you away. Then those freaks from the beach showed up. The worlds of the living and the dead all mixed together. Also, it's weird because the camera sensitivity is really low. So if you're looking one direction and something's happening in another, it takes forever to turn there. Very weird sequence. Control, yeah, Control and Alan Wake are in the same, same universe. Rainbow. The world of Alan Wake, uh, was it what an altered item event or whatever it's called? How much further to the incinerator? This guy's about to pop. What if we cut to the BTs? Sometimes if you don't have dooms, you can only sense BTs with the bridge baby, so we don't know if this guy can see them. I mean he's he his um his spider arm points to them during the cutscene, so this tracker's at least working. Altered world event, that's it, yeah, AWEs. I'm so confused on what's happening, could you explain? I could! But you're supposed to be confused right now. And I don't want to, like, lay it all out for people who might be looking forward to playing the game on their own. The stalled. Of course it is. Assassin's got us right where they want us. Get us out of here. But yeah. I mean, this is the gameplay, or the cutscene demo they put out. Um, pretty long before the game released. Or, like, a couple of months before no. the game released. Nothing. <laughs> Yeah, I will say that, Mr. Pink. Yeah, the, the car design has seems to have a really high center of gravity, which means it it would topple over pretty easily. I mean, because the Dooms can... Uh, Sam can see the BTs with a bridge baby. Oh, I see what you mean. Like, it's the combination of both that heightens his BT awareness. Enjoy this game? I did. I did. I had I had a good time playing it. Uh, it. Provided an experience I didn't really get from any other game. And sometimes to me that that the older I get and the more games I play, that's starting to matter more and more. It's just a game that provides a unique uh, series of gameplay mechanics and a unique gameplay experience. I think that's the thing of like. I think that's just part of getting older, you know? You watch 30 Marvel movies and suddenly you want to see something with a little more, like, grit and texture to it? Marvel's still fine. But... Or you want to, like, drink a beer you've never had, even though Bud Light still tastes good. One of those kinds of things. Does the game explain world lore or does it leave the player to try to learn it themselves? Um, sort of. Uh, it doesn't... <clears throat> Most of the lore is in... Um, emails and stuff that you can optionally read and they're kind of tucked away inside a like a home base kind of thing that's where i'd say most of the world world understanding comes from or at least from where most of my world understanding came from i would say most players probably aren't going to read all that though i think you can get a baseline understanding just from the just to the rules of the world from dialogue but not necessarily the why you get a lot of the what story's very third act heavy it also changes in the third act um yeah that's that's when kojima narrative kicks in and there's like hour-long cutscenes. how deep do the pc settings go that's a good question uh deep enough it's it's kind of the standard array of graphical options i wouldn't say that it's like 
ridiculously integrated. It doesn't have, like, FOV sliders or anything like that. Not that I saw. I'll take another look once this, um... Once this cutscene is over. But yeah, they're, they're kind of tutorializing you that your, your little Spider-Man is going to, like, flick and point to BTs, even if you can't see them. And it's going to spin and flick, like, with more intensity the closer they are. So, I appreciate when they work, like, little gameplay tutorials into narrative cutscenes. I feel like that's, that's one way to sort of make these two mediums not fight each other so, so drastically. Does it support ultra wide? I don't know. I don't have an ultra wide monitor. Yeah, I, I... I'm sure I timed out the correct one. I knew you wouldn't pick that, though. I do like... He, like, racked it on his, on his hip, though. That was pretty cool. Shouldn't have waited. Yeah, the life meter on his wrist. It was it was weird because um, they showed um, they showed that cutscene in full, and there are tons of gameplay tells in that cutscene, but nobody was really talking about those. Everyone was like, "Whoa, it's so weird, oh crazy, I can't believe it." And I was like, "No, you, they're actually showing you a lot here. They're showing you the stealth mechanics. They're showing you the life meter, like you said, Andy, on the wrists." Everyone got so blindsided by just how creepy this game was that no one... I couldn't find many people that were really... Really, like, dissecting it for video game stuff. Which is kind of all I ever did. Yeah, you are supposed to be confused. You're not supposed to know what's happening. Only later do you know the rules, but the why and the, the meaning behind it is still pretty nebulous. This guy made an eight hour video on it, of course there is. I saw like a screenshot of a series somebody was doing called Everything Wrong with The Last of Us Part 2. Each video was like two hours long and there were already four or five of them. Oh my God. YouTube, oh my gosh. Validating people's uh, preconceptions is a very powerful, very powerful and lucrative thing to do on YouTube. Pulsen, that's an amazing emote. 
Where's the dong? I just told you this is an asexual future. Everyone's a Ken doll. So I have theories about these characters. You shouldn't have the Cupid yet? Yeah, Rossaroni. Like, it's it's weird because there's a lot... And also the water's, like, rolling in reverse. There's... Wait, is it? No, never mind. There's, like... There's a lot of weird things about this game that are super intentional, but don't ever have any payoff or explanation. <laughs> Late title card, though. Mm. Kraken, let's, I could not, I mean, that line comes in at the end of the game after, like, I want to say two hours of real heady shit. Yeah, the, so the waves, like, roll, but they don't leave water behind. I don't know. The water's, the water here is really weird. The kid's song sung slow to express how creepy this is. Yeah, I mean, it does make more sense later, to be honest. The fact that she sings a kid's song here, next to Sam. Yeah, Kojima also loves to read fan theories, so I think that is the reason he doesn't answer all the questions this game brings up. It's also just a more Japanese way of telling a story. Um, a lot of a lot of Japanese storytellers and Japanese narratives tend to leave a lot of very intentional and very large holes in their lore and rules so that people can speculate. I think to some degree it's, it's even a marketing tactic. Um, I think the audience there has come to expect an element of like involvement. So this this portion of the game made zero sense to me. I remember Kojima talking about how you could come here, yeah, and repatriate, meaning that he can return to life from the place known as the Seam, not the Strand. My bad. When he's killed, and the Seam followed the Strand to guide Sam's soul back to the body to bring him back. So I remember hearing Kojima talk about how you would you could interact with other players here or like find items or something, but I don't quite. I don't quite get the point of this being playable. Like, I don't think there was ever a payoff for this particular uh, game mechanic. Um, it may be because I played it in, a, in review window. So, I think you're supposed to be able to see, like, other players that die. Oh, scan. You'll see. I mean, I beat- I played the whole game, Elbags, and there was never any seeing that happened. This- this was empty the whole time I played this game. Comes into play later. Okay. I am curious to see- oh yeah, you scan from your body, not from where you're looking. Um... Later you'll get an idea about it. Again, I played the game. I played the whole game. And, uh... Your stuff will be floating around? Huh. That was never- that was never my experience either. Yeah, so weird. It's just hold button. Just don't want to spoil it. Yeah, I think. Oh, here we go. Get that emote ready. It's gameplay related. Yeah, I don't. I don't think that gameplay system was working uh, when I played the game before. So it'll be interesting to see. Mm. Understandable. I wasn't playing it offline. I was playing it in review. So, it, I played it before the game was out. So there weren't any other really active players. I mean, there were a few, but... Oh, new service for PC? That would make sense. It'd be weird to play Death Stranding and inherit the world that PlayStation players have been building. I never saw structures from other actual players. Oh, really, Paul Moore? Okay, I saw structures, which was confusing to me. Man, if you played this game without without communal building, that would be a weird and different and significantly less enjoyable experience. Oh, you can repatriate in other bodies? Okay, see, so yeah, that was never a thing. Also, like, you should technically be able to cause uh, 
a bang which gave rise to life. You should be able to cause this event in the world, but I never saw that happen either. And then, or never, the next nobody else ever happened. Pretty sure I saw your stuff. Really? Okay, maybe I just wasn't looking for the right thing. An explosion. That will be our last. But yeah, my understanding is that if you, if you get taken by a BT, it should cause a big crater in the game world for everyone else too. That's supposed to be, I think, the fail state of the game, is that you blow up everyone else's roads. But I don't know how to how that happened. Yeah, void out, that's the word. Uh, oh, they can only happen in certain areas. Oh. Kill someone and then leave them there? Oh, okay, yeah, that's right. It's if BTs grab a dead body. If they get taken by BT, that, that does happen. Ah. Yeah, Raven's A. I, I did my playthrough without killing anyone either. Maybe I'll try to do it for funds this time. I'd like to see what that looks like. Corpses and your corpse only in certain areas. Okay. Oh. I mean, and, and from there you can kind of see the uh. How does it feel to be back in the world? The philosophical punch of the game, right? So that hundreds of people worked to make all these bridges and, well, and roads and zip lines and you went and shot some dude in the head and ran off didn't acknowledge the gravity of your action you wiped out all of their work call me dead man i'm well acquainted with the dead not like you of course contrary to the name i've never actually died <laughs> jlc thanks for the prime sub i would advise against that also, Brad stacks of magic Kool-Aid. Thank you, guys. Assure you, it's for your and own White Rabbit, thanks for gifting a sub to Andy. See? So I'm a prisoner. These aren't handcuffs. They're cutting-edge devices that keep us all connected. Us? Or are you a prisoner to social media? <laughs> oh, us. Yup. Bridges. Humanity's best hope. For the future. Or avoiding extinction, if you prefer. Right. Where am I? What time is it? Watch me. Try pressing it against your skin. Like this. Yeah, farm those lights. Hell yeah. Relax. That just means your body's got a good connection to the cufflink. Look. Look. I think once I get to a point where I can pause the game. I'm afraid to hit start because I don't want it to skip anything. That is to say, I will actually bring the stream down and back up so I can stream at a higher bit rate. Um, hopefully that doesn't make the stream less during that time reliable for people. We took so. the liberty of collecting fluid samples from you. There are videos of players causing void outs. Okay. You're a repatriate. That makes you very special. What happened to this? How long did you spend each day playing? I want to say eight to ten hours. I had like was obliterated. three to four days Game to beat this, over, man. and it was in addition to my day job. Like I had to run a whole YouTube channel and manage a staff. Um, you, for obvious reasons, and your broken bridge, baby. Is it all right? So I had work to do. Uh, I think you can up the bit rate while you're streaming. Oh, didn't work anymore. I'll Why try. Um, usually, usually encoding settings are locked out while I'm actively streaming, but I'll try Not it. just corpse disposal. My team, HQ, all of Redford, every soul in Central Knot City. We're at our base in Capital Knot City now. Did you sleep? Now. A little bit. Or should I say, our new headquarters, Sudbury Scene. There's a reason I got burned out in 2019. Yeah. But our implementation team has regular OBS. Definitely. You can okay. Well, shoot. Let me just click and on it now. There's only so much they can do in two days. Things here are a mess. Ah, uh, so I have the I have the use or enforce streams service encoder settings ticked. Out of That's the thing I need to untick. So the chain of command remains intact. <laughs> Thank you, Iggy Bo. Um, I hate to do this so soon, but I have a job for you. Yeah, actual monster? That's bad. Huh. This is a G Fuel stream. Uh, Go by G Fuel, everyone. Is from when you repatriated? 
It's funny in the in the partnership contract. There's actually a clause saying you're not allowed to have What's other energy for? drinks on stream. So. Cleaning woman in a cave. Andy, yeah, thank you. Um, I got addicted to like helping build stuff too. No wonder you were out there. It's interesting because the dynamic of the game, like the reward loop, is you get to build stuff and you actually get feedback from other people liking it and using it. So. And it was confusing to me that that wasn't celebrated as a pretty good game loop. I um, need you to bring the president some morphine. What president? In a weird way, it, it does sort of parallel the, you know, the modern times that you go to jo your job, you try to do something to help society, you clean up, you know, you like pick up some trash on the street. You don't get that immediate feedback that you did something good, but you have to trust that there are people out there in the world, and they're all trying to, maybe, you'd like to think. And that we all get these passive benefits from working together, even if we're not directly talking to each other all the time. All makes sense. Why don't you do it? Because I'm not really here. He got me. Apologies. This is just a chiral gram. That's right, I forgot. And here oh, come the tears. That's right. Allergic reaction to the chiral so, transmission. Where the, where the parable gets a little heavy-handed is that in the world of Death Stranding, they figured out how to use the dimension of the dead as the internet. That basically they figured out a way to pass information through death reality and that it traveled faster than, or it traveled at the speed of light. What does chiral mean? Tell me the truth. It's a pretty, it's a pretty long-winded uh, explanation relating to some like Egyptian shit. <laughs> Essentially, uh, chiral Oh, it goes back in time. Oh, sorry, yeah. Chiral refers to technology relating, like, that was built on the discoverable, the dis the discovery of, like, the chiral dimension, um, which is another reality that is essentially the reality of death. Think of chiral as clockwise versus counterclockwise. Yeah, they, there's a lot of talk of hands um, that I think is related to Egyptian uh, theology. I'll see you That's why a lot of the enemies in the game, like chiral formations, are hand shaped. That giant umbilical monster man had a hand for a, a head. Um, hands are uh, an object for grabbing and holding and collecting. Uh, it's it's the way we exercise our use of tools in the world. So there's a lot of there's a lot of meaning and sim and symbolism all patched into into this game with varying degrees of importance. If you really want to dive into that headspace, and I will. Um, a lot more of that okay so uh yeah pause here for a second um unfortunately i have to take i got to take the stream down because i want i want that i want that two megabits um this may result in stream inconsistencies for you if that's the case i can very easily take the stream down bring it back up again uh with with the lower bit rate but let's try this because it'll make the game look prettier and that's what we're all about here so uh be right back fellas see you soon don't freak out or freak out, either way, whatever you like. <sighs> okay, should be back. Let me put that in chat. Um, again, uh, now we're we're streaming at a stately eight megabits per second instead of instead of six, which is a pretty significant uh, data rate bump. But uh, there were issues a couple of days ago of the stream like skipping back and then skipping forward and just skipping around. Um, so please let me know if that happens and I can easily switch it back. It's not worth it's not worth skippage uh, for for a little extra little extra bytes. So I'm I'm scrolling through the PC options here. You can kind of get an idea for for where they're at. Yeah, it's you know it's there. <laughs> It's it's probably what I would consider the the minimum makes it sound like the effort is not appreciated, but it is basically the suite that you can expect for most decent PC ports. Maybe not superlative PC ports. Um, I don't again. I don't know about ultra wide because I haven't I haven't jumped into ultra wide. Uh, attractive chocolate. Hey, thank you for the resub, man. That's that's a really good that's a really good username. So let's see here. I don't think there's any interesting lore in the tips, really. 
Although I do appreciate that they collect them there like that. Um, yeah, I think a lot of the lore is in the emails. We'll get there eventually. Yeah, this is on the Decim engine, which was Horizon Zero Dawn. Which makes me very excited to play Horizon Zero Dawn. Request transport of morphine to isolation ward for immediate oh, that's right, I can't. To the Have a pleasant journey. Onderdonk? Rate my name? Hmm. I'd say it's a 7 out of 10, unless there's there's some reference there I don't understand, but it's phonetically pleasing to Check say. The map on your if you're lost. Also, they even call it a codec. The isolation ward yeah. should be pretty obvious. If you're not sure how to get there, you can set markers and draw routes, too. Try it out, and you'll see what I mean. Oh. There are a decent chunk of interviews and emails you have to unlock in the post-game that have a lot of the pre-game lore spelled out in them. I had no idea. That's fantastic. I'm very, very much looking forward to that. Um... I, uh, yeah, I beat the game. I beat, I played it enough to sort of be able to comfortably review it. And then had to move on with my life. So, I am looking forward to, to playing the post game. I am looking forward to, uh, reading all the lore, because I didn't even have a chance to do that. Do all of Heartman's deliveries to get the core ones. Okay. I look forward to, to seeing more of Heartman. He did the, he did the Kojima requisite fourth wall breakage. It'll never steer you wrong. Provided you have a destination, that is. This is very early on. Yes, it is the beginning of the game. Central wasn't just home to Bridges H. Playing with the controller? Yep. It was also I feel like this game is designed around a controller. Format. The president hadn't required special treatment. She would have never left. And if she hadn't, gonna rush to chapter three, as you can always return. I don't know. I'm gonna play the game naturally, doing what occurs to me and what seems fun. What part of the U.S. does this take place? It's it's all of it, really. This is supposed to be more Eastern Seaboard, I think. Or East Coast, but you technically cross the United States. But the, um, the geography and the political lines certainly do not match our current world. Oh wait, it's Iceland? Oh, it does look like Iceland, yeah. It's, it's a rough approximation. Also, again, this is supposed to be so far future and post severe traumatic world events that it kind of makes sense that it doesn't match our reality in the same way no chance of a recovery then none that i can see no we should start making preparations sam it's me dead man sorry my mistake I'm afraid the president's condition has deteriorated. Thank you. This will help to ease the pain. And allow her to speak with you in these final moments. Her? The first and last female president of the United States. Surely you remember her. She raised you? You're not exactly dressed for a reunion. Take that off before you come inside. Well, enjoyed. I love playing this game, but the story went straight over my head. That's okay, Khalid. I think it was, uh... I don't know that the, the story was intended to be comprehended and, and appreciated by average players. Which is fine. But I'm actually glad to hear that. I'm glad to hear that you enjoyed it, despite not, not really grabbing the story. I tried really hard, and there were elements of the story that even I'm like, man, what the hell? Oh, it's like the logo. That's the president's right-hand man. The director of Bridges. Hell yeah. Die Hard Man is... is Die Hard Man? Awesome. <laughs> Stupid oh, name, though. You were with Bridges 1. So, I guess no introductions are necessary. He doesn't remember, I think. I can't remember 
the state of his am amnesia. What's it been, Sam? Ten years? Look at us. A bunch of deathless freaks meeting like this. Yeah, well, good to see you two. President's waiting. Sounds like a Mega Man robot. <laughs> It's your mother, Bridget. She's a bit out of it, but I know she'll recognize you. Does he have amnesia? I mean, people will talk to him like he does. I think, again, I think this is one of, <clears throat> I think that's one of those like, <sighs> that the human experience in this, this version of the future is so different than what we think, but I think it's conceivable that it, somebody might just forget, like might just forget those emotional connections. Yeah, he has plot amnesia. I think, I do remember them eventually saying something about why he doesn't act like he remembers anything he did before. Um, and I know that it is plot amnesia. That's definitely the intent. Is to, like, give them narrative excuses to spell things out for you, the player and viewer. I'll leave you two alone. Yeah, Tommy Earl Jenkins, I gotta admit. Um, <laughs> even though some of the dialogue that he has is still, like, it's, it's pretty whoosh. Um, it was acted well. Okay. Sam hasn't really been talking to anyone for 10 years straight. Yes, um, I would say another another running aspect of the game is people becoming too introspective and too inward looking. That they spend so much time only thinking and caring about themselves. That doesn't make them bad people, but they actually lose the ability to empathize and even remember their own lives. There's a lot of very funky interactions between NPCs in this game that I think point to the human experience just fundamentally being different in the world of Death Stranding. You remember Amelie went west. It took her three years to cross. She's trying to rebuild the country. Still going on about that, huh? President aged super fast, right? So that's why he doesn't remember. You're the one I wanted to send. <sighs> There's some weird shit about the president. He's running out. But uh, I don't know that I could button that up in a neat explanation. I remember oh, a vague amount of it. You. You can help us reconnect. You can make America whole. Sam, if we don't all come together again, humanity will not survive. We don't need a country. Not anymore. We do. Alone, we have no future. Yeah, and on. That's his hot and car or some shit, basically. Yeah. You're the president of Jack shit. Sam, listen to me. <laughs> Oof. No, the cords are snapping. Symbolism. Love this game. It hated the actual plot. That's that's a totally fair, valid, acceptable take, I think. willing to help me frankly that's kind of the way i feel about kingdom hearts and some other like really try hard heady japanese games who dat who dat though the scene i didn't fully get yeah you have to kind of understand a lot of beats of the ending which is very hard to do to kind of get this it also gets really weird. I'll be waiting for you on the beach. <gasps> the knowledge of film studies is ruining our immersion. I am not a film study oh. major. I have no knowledge of that, so... <sighs> Apologies about your immersion. I, I found it difficult to be immersed in this just because it is so... inexplicable. I find it hard to empathize with a story when I don't understand anything going on. Again, um, Kingdom Hearts problems. His wife got rained on. That is a that is a working theory for now. Let's say that. Problem is there are there are world rules that you're not aware of, and won't be for a very long time. Essentially, like, maybe instead of 
there being world rules that make this make sense. It's more like there are assumptions you have about what would rationally happen that don't necessarily hold. That make it... I don't know. I don't know where I'm going at. It's like not quite as... Not quite as... It's definitely not lore. Um, because it's the absence of lore. Is this free spoilers? Uh, no. I would say be tactical about what you say and why. Luckily, this is not a game you can really spoil. Um, unless you just start wholesale writing out large beats of the... Be stranded with love. <laughs> unless you just start literally writing out beats of the story, so... No one I think it's possible to talk about this game vague enough. If word gets out, Bridges is finished. Now, what happened here does not leave this room, do you understand? Yes, Director. But there's still the matter of the body. Without corpse disposal. We've got that covered. <laughs> Luckily, Sam's here. Could Kojima spoil it? I don't think Kojima would. Maybe he could. I like how they both just gang up on him. Sam. Uh... Before she died, so much of this game seems like it was vague on purpose, and I don't think Kojima would be the type to tell you what it's about. As a member of Bridges, you're going to work with the rest of us to rebuild America. That's kind of contrary to the point, I think. Like she tried to. Well, she succeeded. Look at your wrist. If that's not symbolic, I don't know what is. Director, is he referring to the link spread or the handprint? The entire body. Harvesting organs is out of the question, and there is no need for an autopsy. Her body needs to be cremated before she necrotizes. And if we don't, this place will turn into another crater. What do you want me to do? We don't have any porters right now. And the CD team you went into the field with are dead. But the president's body has to be burned. The road from Capital Knot City to the incinerator was compromised in the void out. Now, the only way there is on foot. Through the mountains. Huh. But the chiral density there is off the chart. I just realized they... Gotta be BTs. They're describing a Each gameplay aspect to you. Tombs. That Void Out will ruin Badly. roads. But this is so early in the game, you have no idea what they're saying. Why? It's so crazy. Sam, oh, um... For me, an immersion in games like this, it's hard as a film major because you hear that games like this, or Last of Us 2, is that it goes Sam further than what movies bridges. can do. But the dialogue and story beats of this part of the game are overtly cheesy. Pretentious and would be seen as lesser in a movie. Cinemaniac, I agree 100%. 100%. 100%. I think uh, people in gaming um, give games way too much credit. Like, it's the video game that invests you in it. And then when a minor cutscene hits about a character you've been playing as for 60 hours, it hits a lot harder for a lot of people. But in the vacuum of not being emotionally invested in the game, that cutscene would be laughed at in any other circumstance. So yeah, there is this weird sort of defensive pretense that a lot of game President enthusiasts Strat and game creators have. Reconstruction. Where they're like, no, she games are just as good as movies. To bring the nation together again. In fact, they're, they're better because they're interactive. And I'm like, come there on, chill out. No All right? It's different. It doesn't have to be better. It doesn't she have to even be compared. Funeral with full honors. But we can't give her that. I think it's just we saw games. She dies, America dies. And it's easy to imagine being in a movie, because who doesn't want to be in a movie? Will cease to be. But Listen. uh woof. Her cremation must be carried out. I'd say that most secrecy. Even if we pull it off, what then? I remember the watching Wolfenstein the New Order and being like, the cutscenes in this game have actual good direct and, directing and cinematography. He just said that it dies of Bridget. But they're short. She may they should be. To us, but we still have an America worthy of the presidency. Sorry, what? Let's not get into it now. But what yeah. What matters is that we're going to finish your mother's work and rebuild America as she intended. That's the reason Bridges exists. So take the first step, Sam, and deliver the president's body to the incinerator. Yeah, I'm playing with the LSS on. We don't all come together again. Looks really good. Humanity will not survive. I can see some aspects of it, but I probably don't even need it on because I'm playing in 2K basically. But uh, yeah, it doesn't have that weird kind of fuzziness. I'll be waiting for you. Because I tried DLSS in um, Monster Hunter, 
That I could kind of tell. This game looks a lot better, though. I think Bloodborne did it well. Facilities yeah. The southwest. Remember that you'll be passing through BT territory. To a degree, this game does it well, too. Excepting the beginning and the end. That's when they get very cinematic about trying to prop you up. Um, for narrative beats, but, uh... I mean, the games that, that have the narratives that punch the hardest are because they don't they don't rub it in your face. They leave it there like a treasure for you to find if you're invested enough to look for it. Um, and that, that's what frustrates me about, about games that either... I don't know. I feel like there's only... Mixing interactive and non-interactive storytelling, I feel like, fundamentally... There are only a few ways that can ever work. And we've already found those ways. Because smart people have tried to find them. Sam, this is Die Hardman. Dead men explained how to use the cuffs, right? Use them to check the location of the incinerator. So yeah, why wouldn't you just run with... I guess you run a little bit slower. Sam, I don't think I need to re... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why are you tilt the map? Sick. Mind you, oh, right. You can plot routes. Do I cut my own hair? Uh, I did during a significant portion of quarantine, but I have been... Oh, yeah, that's because you got a touch. I have been uh, lucky enough. Oh, that's right. You have to, like... Yeah, yeah, that's how to do it. I was lucky enough to uh, have my barbershop re sort of reopened. Um, that's right. You're supposed to go this way. Um, went there, you know, there's only like two people inside the whole, the whole place, wore a mask the whole time. Does your controller have a mic? No. I've never really been a fan of like, of, uh, of controller audio. I think some games did it cute. It's kind of cute sometimes, but it's a gimmick that never really immersed me all that much. I really like the way that, uh, um... What is it, uh... Silent Hill Shattered Memories did it? Of, like, getting really shitty phone calls through the Wii speaker? That made... That made a lot of sense because it made it sound like a shitty cell phone, you know? President Bridget Strand was Isn't every great American story an allegory for Manifest Destiny anyway? This guy's literally rebuilding America by going westward and building roads and telegraph lines. Never stop believing That's a really good point. I never, I never thought about it as a manifest America destiny sort of thing. They in her. I mean, they do talk about sort of maintaining America's image and unity, and that was a big manifest destiny America thing. Together with Bridget's undying spirit. It would be interesting for a, uh, a Japanese creator to provide commentary on manifest destiny. Oh, No More Heroes did too, yeah. You're right about that. Really, I'm just thinking about Wii games. Yeah, I don't... I don't know that, like... I don't know that getting... getting, uh... calls through my, uh... There you go, Nick. Oh, actually, wait. Oh. What? Aw, oh, he turned away. I only... can only drop one like. Hello? Beginning scan. Scanning bridges ID. Verifying ID. Clear. Fuck. All beginning scan. Oh, his stupid gang his stupid goggle legs. So fun. Clear. All clear. Welcome. Nick Easton is a good name. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a plant name. Yeah, just like that. I'm Sam! Don't you hear other players like call out to you sometimes? That's true. I'm uh I, I wonder to some degree, like, how much of Kojima's infatuation with America is because he's actually interested in it, and how much of it is he makes games for an American audience because it, it's the biggest audience right now. Certainly, um, Metal Gear Solid 2 and 4. I guess in 3. He certainly seems like he's spent most of his life consuming American media, so. Your body is away with me. 
exactly where I want to be But I'm a long way from home I know your voice, I know your face This is something I cannot replace Give me hope and give me doubt Well, I loved you then, but I don't love you now. I'm a long way from home. Just keeps tilting. Okay, fine, I'll stop sprinting. Jeez. We're a long way from home. Is the music random? I don't think so. Now take a piss. Ah, that's right. Hold on, let me let me make my way to the river. This looks really nice. It is. I mean, this game was already like real cozy and pastoral, just kind of cruising through when you weren't, you know, being beset by horrific demon babies. Um, but yeah, it being at high resolution and high frame rate is certainly helping with the with the vibe. Um, Get my, get my feet sweat there. Hold on. Uh, if I can remember how to piss. Come on. I'll figure this out. There it is. If I remember how to... It's not really the way to do it, but... Let me pee! I can't remember. Equip penis? I did! Piss is equipped. I think I have to wait until I uh, have more piss in me. You know, he just doesn't want to piss right now, I guess. I don't know, I don't know, boys. Looks like Sam is, uh... He's not ready for this. It's like firing your weapon. I don't remember how. Yeah, Denuvo stole my piss. God damn it, Denuvo. Is there anything you won't take from me? Yeah, squeeze one out for the POTUS. Jeez. You're gonna get pee shy in front of the president? Got yeah. Your canteen distills time fall into monster energy drink. The unnamed uh, the unnamed energy drink that we won't talk about here. Yeah, she's your well spoilers though. Um should probably put that in the let me put that in the uh, let me put that in the old description here. There we go. Okay. Thank you, Brian Howie. Hey, if you've got cotton mouth. And there's a ladder. Oh. I got somebody to thank. I didn't even have to walk across this. I think I don't I don't know how long it takes for them to start actually seeding other player stuff into your game. It is also the first day, so it may not be too much, but oh, that's right, Sam has to be facing it, not the camera, which was always kind of a bummer. Here comes Igor. All right. I also like how there is an, a like a, a game subsystem in this game where you just mash a button to help somebody else out. Like and subscribe, baby. It's cute. Oh, the Audra deck. Yeah. Pretty sure that's another there's another Egyptian reference in there. Cute. I forgot about this. They have you go up, like, 
they give you the option to like go up this path. It's it's the natural path to take. And then along the way they have these tools for you to use to kind of get you used to just a bit further. Not only finding tools in the world but also placing your own. Yeah. Okay, so Igor's helping out again. Come on, Igor. Was there ever like a uh, a YouTube channel that tried like a real Death Stranding challenge? I feel like that'd be cool. Like try to actually load someone up with 60 pounds of uh, of uh, of ordnance and see if they can like climb or mantle or anything like that. Have them actually like jog across two miles of open ground. That'd be fun to try. Dang it! So X is there. We go. Oh, Mega 64. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, of course. Of course they did. Yeah, no shoes on. Mega 64 did that video? Okay. Of course they did. God, I love Mega 64 so much. This one's for you. Thanks for the help. Damn it! It went over 69. Oh, I always pronounce it Igor. I don't know that there's I don't know. Young Frankenstein didn't didn't prepare me for this. You know, shout outs to Igor though. Igor. Whatever. Also like how you can like something while you're using it, so it's like I think I think that there's like good craft in in elements like that of while you're climbing a rope or while you're climbing a ladder, you can tap the like button. It doesn't cost you anything, it doesn't slow you down. It's just the ability to mash a button to help somebody else out. And it is nice to think that a lot of people actually do that. Um Despite the like the aspect of of the whole game being gamified, but yeah, Frankenstein, exactly. I haven't watched that movie in so long. A lot of the old Mel Brooks stuff, I want it. A lot of people like to point to that, being like, "Oh, that comedy couldn't be made today." Political correctness, you know, neglecting the fact that there are a million YouTube channels out there basically saying everything they're not supposed to every day. Um, <sighs> But I wonder how they hold up comedically. I remember when I was like, I was like 15? I tried watching Blazing Saddles and it just wasn't funny. But then again, I just wasn't familiar with any of the tropes that it was dealing with or the societal commentary it was trying to trying to forward. So maybe it'd be different now. You notice any large graphical differences from being played on PC? I mean, frame rate and resolution are the biggest thing. And uh, those are phenomenal. It actually runs really well. It looks really crisp and sharp. YouTube channels get banned or demonetized? Only the really racist ones. I don't think any YouTube creator would get banned or demonetized for doing Mel Brooks level comedy, considering... Not to invite the comparison, because nothing we did was ever as, as well-formed and funny as Mel Brooks stuff, but... You know, we dabbled in that kind of comedy, and it wasn't an issue. It's the people who, like, are acting in bad faith and pushing it too far that like to throw a big fit, because, you know, that's their livelihood. I really don't think YouTube is nearly as uh, sensory and post-apocalyptic as... And frankly, it's it's like it's specifically the people who were trying to uh, take advantage of the system that like to really bellyache about it. Uh, Drunk Osprey. Holy crap, man. Thank you for gifting 10 gift subs. That's a lot of money. I appreciate that. If you got an emote or a sub from Drunk Osprey, maybe toss a little thanks his way. Their way, I guess. Think you don't want to be in charge of the morality police? What did I say that sounded even remotely like that's what I was doing? I'm more pointing out that things are not as bad on YouTube as people who are on YouTube and exploit the system like to make you think it is. Although they're not really exploiting the system, they're more exploiting human nature, but they're doing it. Uh, Tom Breck, thanks for the sub. It's the reason Death Stranding is big again, it just came out on PC. Today. The tides will eventually shift where your ideas are no longer in the overton window, is all I'm saying. I don't agree with that. I think that that's, uh, that's hand-wringing done in largely in bad faith. There are people getting censored. Oh, yeah. Maybe. 
Um, you don't watch them, Avi? Yeah, maybe. Uh, I do know that there was like... I don't know, so so here's the deal. People confuse sen uh, censorship and demonetization. Um, demonetization is not censorship. You can still say whatever you want, you just don't get paid to do it. I think that's fair. In some circumstances, with some messages. Also, please remember, I've worked on YouTube for 10 years. So, um, you know, if you're going to tell me about what's going on on YouTube, maybe consider that I have expertise on the platform. But it's still alive. It can't be repaired. And it can't survive outside they are being deplatformed, kind of different. Well, depends what they did. A decision has been made. It has to go. The director approved the order. People aren't entitled to earn money based on whatever they say. That's not a that is not a, a right that you have. Um uh, Uh, let's see here. Oh, my sister told me she had to deal with this weekend. My 10-year-old nephew finding house party on YouTube, then Googling certain things and watching a 58-minute video on RedTube and asking questions for my mom, all because of a YouTuber. I guess they were careful and have restrictions, but he had a Raspberry Pi that wasn't restricted. Ah, okay. Um, they made jokes. Jokes can be made in bad faith. And jokes can be made ignorantly. And if you make a bad joke uh, that spreads, like, toxic thoughts, you should face the consequences of that. If you're an edgy comment... If you're an edgy comedian that's just making jokes, you still face the consequences for those jokes. And if your jokes are based on, like, bigotry, uh, of, of demeaning to, we're talking down to underprivileged classes, there's gonna be a consequence for that. Sam. Oh boy, Mudblood. So first of all, some people in chat... I don't agree with this yet. Uh, you see, okay, so so take a look at what you're doing, Mudblood, though. There was one person, one person, who didn't agree with you and called for that. Now you say they. Don't extrapolate individuals to groups. Don't do that. That's where this starts. Um, some people are calling to time you out. I don't think you've said anything worth being timed out over yet. Um, luckily, I control that here, so it's fine. Uh, but you are not allowed, logically, to take two people saying a thing and saying, like, look, everyone's against me now, therefore my my point is proven. I got an idea. Yeah, and PewDiePie faced consequences for that, so I'm not sure what your point is. PewDiePie caused a fucking demonetization wave because of his irresponsibility. Um, you don't deserve to be timed out yet. <laughs> um, uh, no, I know my blood. You're... I'm... I'm... I'm People that are loud about opinions, uh... Start this shit. I don't know. It's it's frustrating sometimes. People are like, oh, my opinions are too hot and too aggravating for most people. Yeah, sometimes in polite society, you just don't... There's no need to... Uh, just, okay, so let me put it this way. Bear in mind, you're coming to the defense of people who have been deplatformed on YouTube for being bigoted and racist most of the time. They can be jokes. They're still bigoted and racist most of the time. Misogynist, what have you. Um, so... I don't want to be the arbiter of jokes who are too spicy. Well, you're not. But YouTube, the platform holder, is. So what's the problem? They're allowed to do that. That's where we're heading? No, we're not. We're not, actually. That's what alarmists on YouTube who want you to side with them so they can keep making money, making shitty jokes, exploiting people's bigotry, say. Um, again, worked on YouTube for a decade. So I can tell you that's not the case. Cautiously. Uh, my, my recommendation would be, in all circumstances, try to figure out why people are saying a thing. And if somebody's on YouTube telling you how YouTube is, they have a financial interest to misrepresent the situation to make themselves a victim. Um, consider that, you know? You, YouTube has a financial interest in making their platform uh, advertiser-friendly. And I do believe that that's, that's the ultimate motivation here. Um, I can't remember how to cover your, cover your mouth. What's the button for that? I'm afraid to hit buttons. I guess it doesn't really matter right now. Yeah, there's a clear path to just walk on through. So, uh... So... 
there, there's no stronger narrative um, than, oh my gosh, you guys, this horrific thing is about to happen, and here's all the evidence why. But you're only getting that from one source, and you're getting it from a compromised and biased source. If it's a YouTube who's earning a lot of money making shitty jokes. Of course they want to keep making those shitty jokes. Oh, there you are. I would too. Oh, you hold RB. RB. Okay, that's right. You think that it's... So, I, I will also say, chat, try not to try not to gang up on people. Try not to. Um, I'll say I'll say this for certain. Nobody's going to have uh, nobody's going to have a constructive dialogue if they feel like they're being um, ganged up on or singled out. So, you're just going to make people defensive, and then they're going to you know not think about things rationally. They're going to try to defend themselves. And nobody nobody's a really good conversationalist when they're trying to defend themselves. Fuck. You are right there. Uh-oh. Can we gang up on you? Yes. Oops. Okay, well. That's that's there. Whatever. We're going now. Maybe I'll get grabbed right away. Ooh. No one likes when the mob comes for them, for sure. No one has convinced me I'm wrong. They don't have to. They actually don't have to. And it's not your job to make them either. They can disagree with you, and that's where it can end. Um, disagreements are not combat. Um, I think... I think... So what we've just seen here is, is the same dynamic that happens, where one person says something that's unpopular. And then everyone's like, oh my gosh, why did you say that? And they're like, what? It's just a, like, and then, and then, and then it's escalation on both sides. Um, and this is not a both side situation. Um, but I do think some people confuse uh, social skills and the ability to maintain social harmony with my viewpoints are being ganged up on. Um, you're, not, you're not entitled to everybody to agree with you. It ends with me losing my platform, my job, or worse. Has it, though? Has it? You've seen it happen, and you've probably been sympathetic. It sounds like you're sympathetic with people that it's happened to. But, mudblood, um, people are on edge right now, and I'll, I'll agree with that in general. It's, it's very easy to lump people of like kind together. But, it depends what you say, man. Like, you, you're not at risk of having your life and your your life destroyed if you just don't say race shit. Um, it's it's really not that hard, you know. People people talk about PC culture like it's stifling, and it's it's really not. It's just about being decent. And if if like there was a phase of the internet that I think everyone got accustomed to, where you didn't have to be decent. In fact, it was expected to be indecent. Um, but that's starting to shift. Um, that's starting to shift, so do I have to go back to Capital Knot? Yeah, I do. Okay. Back the way I came. So people are being less tolerant of just people being general assholes on the internet. I think that's because the median age of internet people has gone up. And, uh, people just aren't, aren't willing to put up with it much anymore, so... Yeah, I guess, I guess not to you specifically, but to individuals that were used to just acting a fool on the internet and suddenly the ground started to shift. I get upset about that, but, you know, is, um, is, is learning to, like, maybe not shoot your mouth off about everything all the time really that bad? Also, who, uh, censoring yourself for work is the human race. And there it is, don't say racist shit. Well, I hope you aren't the one determining what is and isn't racist. It's actually pretty easy to tell. Um, also, saying and there it is is like you've just, you've just too shade me. It's actually pretty easy to tell. It's actually pretty easy. Um, but I, I see what you mean. There is this there is this fear of a non-existent cultural gestapo that will swing around and cancel you. Um, again, it's it's real easy to not be racist. It's actually real easy. Um, and I, I have seen a couple of false positives. It happens. That's life. I know it isn't racist. Oh, and there it is.
is that you don't want to be told you don't want to be told your morality might be off and that's yeah that and that is not fair is it though what if you what if you're racist what if i'm racist are you open to that being possible because if you're not that's where the problem is if you're not even willing to entertain the idea that you you could stand to improve your behavior or that we could all stand to improve our behaviors um i think that's the core of it honestly as a group of people who are like fuck you don't tell me anything um people that resent any movement or any implication that their life and the way they conduct themselves might be harmful to someone else <sighs> And I think then where it goes is like, people suspect that it's being done with an agenda. Oh, you're making that up. You're making that up to change to change how I change my life. And that's not fair either. Maybe sometimes you got to trust that somebody else is telling the truth. Assuming you aren't at first, I, then I get to know you. You are assuming I am, then getting to know. It's the core of it. Well, I'm not. When did I call you racist, Mike? See, now you're... You got that victim complex, man. You might think you don't, but it's pretty clear you think society's out to get you, or that PC culture's out to get you, and I don't think that's true. Hi. What uh, part of the armed forces? Also, the innocent until proven guilty thing. Um, that's that's a quantum of proof in in a court of law. Not me specifically. Oh, you said you. See, the thing is, you're like, again, you use this verbiage of like us versus them. Stop straw manning. Isn't that what you just did, though? Isn't that what you just did? Those were your words? And then you say you're not listening to me? Uh, when I, I interpret what you said? I don't know, man. I'm typing. I know, I know. Take your time. Yeah, Strider, a lot of... A lot of people, uh... A lot of people use innocent until proven guilty as I think, uh, they use it as a way to rewrite the narrative of what, what has been done, you know? Um, the one thing I will respect PewDiePie for, I'll throw this out there, is when he got called out on his stuff, he was actually like, look, I'm an amateur comedian. I don't really know what I'm doing most of the time. I thought this was funny. I understand it's not. Like, to me, that was the most honest thing that anyone could say, which is that I'm experimenting here, and sometimes the experiments don't thing. Go back and read my paragraphs and respond to my points. I'm playing a video game, dude. No one responded to all my points. See, that's the thing, though. No one's obligated to, especially if if you don't seem like you're presenting an interesting uh, viewpoint. So maybe you're not being misunderstood. And if that happens a lot, maybe the problem is not with people. Come back to the distribution center. Check the location on your compass. Oh, oops, did I, did I blow past it? Oh, it's over here now. Oh. Anyway. So I use the word guestapo. That was me. I use, I think I'm pretty sure I used that first. Don't put, don't pin that on him. I, um, here's the thing. Um. Oh, one question, only one. Oh, here comes, here comes the bomb. Here comes the one you can't possibly answer without. I know this technique, dude. Like, well, go for it. Hit me with that question. I feel like uh, sometimes I should explain to people that I was, I was a, a headstrong twenty-five-year-old dude. Not to say you are, but I certainly was. I'm sorry. Um, I think this whole conversation is perfectly appropriate for a game like Death Stranding. That's uh, that's what that's what this game is about. It's about trying to, to promote empathy and understanding. I consider it chill. Yeah, it is. I mean, gameplay-wise, it, it is a very relaxing and pastoral game. It's not about sp not supposed to be about combat, but... Can you name two conservative on-screen talent? Oh, my blood! You follow Sophia, don't you? So here's the thing. Here's the thing. Uh, a lot of people like to look around and be like, where's the conservatives? Where's the conservatives? Point proven. There must be, uh, there must be a conspiracy. Here's the thing. Yeah, Kala, thank you. That was enough. Um, my blood, I don't know if you're still around, but here's the deal. 
and listen to this. It, not, it has nothing to do with conservative values. But consider that you've done nothing but antagonize people since you got in the stream, which would make you an awful team member to work with. Uh, what has happened lately is that conservatism is about the power of self and the complete lack of desire to conform to any standards outside one you set for yourself and to compromise with anyone that you don't agree with. Granted, I, yeah, there's both sides, whatever. People get intolerant, it happens. I have had jobs where I've worked with staunchly conservative people and it sucks ass because they're just dicks. They're just dicks all, they're just dicks all the time, man. You get into a meeting and they're, nothing is their fault. Uh, they are right about everything. There's no empathy, there's no compromise. So, yeah. Uh, I've worked with them before and I don't like it because they're just not very constructive and collaborative people. Um, lately. That's definitely been the vibe. So, I apologize for, uh, I apologize for being so... Sam! I thought I told you dooms and BB Stereotypical. Because I know that's a, that's a, huh, that's a wide range. A very wide it's range. It's a lot of people. Some of them are very collaborative and constructive. Like but, How man. You She's dead. Huh. You're upset. Yeah, I'm definitely overgeneralizing. 100%. Um... Well, in any event, it seems it owes you its life. I'll put it this way. Growing up in Texas, I learned how to keep my mouth shut. Like, As you say, I worked with conservative I people all the time. It. I had to shut up a lot. The um, but it was not like I've I have I haven't seen that tactful silence the other way. I've had a lot of instances where people like get very resentful. Um, and then they like, they, they go rogue a lot. It's that big, like, don't tread on me shit. I remember, um, I did work with a lot of, uh, more conservative leaning type people when I was volunteering on blogs and stuff like that. And they burned out fast, very fast. Um, if they had to work with other people, it wasn't a good sign. If they didn't get unique credit for all the work they did, they got very, very upset. Um, and they, they never, ever, ever took one for the team. That's what I noticed. But that's, I'm thinking of a few specific people in my head. But again, um, it's not fair for me to extrapolate that out for most people, but that's the dynamic I've noticed on teams. However, it's, uh... Good morning, Sam. Sam, this is Die Hardman. I don't know. A private room set aside. Everyone, I know a lot of conservatives like to point to the abundance of liberal-leaning people in the media as evidence that there is a vast conspiracy against conservative people. Thank you for the wink. Frank, it's my viewpoint that actually conservative people are just kind of rough to work with, um, stereotypically. And uh, I, I, so this is coming from someone else. Total straw man argument too. But um, oh yeah, maybe this guy's, uh, people don't think he's racist, maybe they just like, dislike him voicing strong political opinions at work in general. Yeah. I mean, I, I have strong political opinions, but I got to keep them, keep them myself most of the time. But then again, here I am shooting off about it. Sorry, I just saw a notification. Let me, uh, let me make sure to get that. So I understand how it looks. I understand how it feels. Um, I understand the resentment. Uh, Shadow Gamers, thank you for the, the 420. Oh, I mean, it's, it's just talking. Uh, but I appreciate your, your comment. Don't know how you can keep so calm during some of the debates. Because, I mean, most people, oh, hello. Most people aren't bad people. Um, nobody's a, well, some people. <laughs> some people actively try to do the, the wrong thing. Well, let's see here. I can speak to working with conservatives. The ones I work with are very difficult to be around. They're never wrong about anything. Everything is someone else's fault. Everyone else is stupid. The ones I work with think they're all the smartest person in the room and wonder why they aren't the highest paid person in the room. While I watch them scroll through Facebook and watch YouTube videos all day while everyone else has to pick up the slack. That has kind of been my experience too. I, again, I've, I've also I've also worked with you know liberal leaning people who also don't work, 
Not working is pretty common, but... No, except for taking a shot. I do think in... Lately... The... The... I take it you were getting yourself clean. The, the sentiment, especially in, in conservative media, has bred this, like... She's waiting for you. This underdog kind of victimization routine. Let's try not to generalize. Yeah, you're right. It's not good to generalize, but... If you're the smartest person in the room, you're in the wrong room. Hmm. <laughs> I work in a job connected to insurance billing for hospitals. You did well, Sam. Got it. Thank you. Now Bridget may uh, no longer be with us. Not raising a drink, a lot, Medicare a for all on. changing things for us trying to sway everyone's Sam, opinions on the job. Oh man, that must have been rough. America. Ooh. Reconstructionism. Her dream isn't dead. Voodoo, you're getting stuttering? This is the face of our new hope. Walk in a kitchen and I hear that all the time. Oh. I don't like it when coworker tries to drag me into some political or religious cause. It's so presumptuous. Yeah, so he, so the weird thing is, like, none of none of what we talked about was actually political. It kind of wasn't, right? It was just about social dynamics. My may be gone. Which should but have nothing to do with actual politics. And you, Sam? But it's become a lifestyle. You're here too. I think and due to talking heads, really. YouTubers that like to marry each political other. opinions with and in all that time she social movements aged a day. He knows why. My body's still on the beach. I don't get to grow older. Hmm. Both extremes are very annoying to work with. Yeah, Sam. I agree with that. You look good. Where's the right place to voice a dissenting serious, opinion at work? About reconnecting everyone. Nowhere. Everything. That shit shouldn't happen at work. Shouldn't. Someone has to succeed Bridget, Sam. More importantly, someone has to carry on her legacy. Maybe over at a lunch break? Built. People are, so yeah, at the bar after work, America yeah, very much there. Our new president. A new beginning for our people, for our nation. Under Emily's leadership, hmm. we establish the UCA. The real secret is that people with extreme views on any side are obnoxious, but a liberal will excuse a bad liberal before they excuse a bad conservative. But we'll need your help to do it, Sam. No, I mean, this. that tracks. I people to all of people are usually much nicer to those they agree with. We never forgot about you, Sam. You ran away. You cut us off. Ouch. That's your job, is to give political opinions, yeah. yeah. What? Best of Religion and politics just don't talk about it. And went west. The problem is, yeah, lately politics has crossed over into lifestyle, so it start it's starting to creep into those those areas. I'm not expecting this heavy dialogue when I popped on your stream. Then again, your level-headed approach to these more difficult conversations is why I love Twin House and still love your stream. Well, thank you, Hust. Um, I led them past craters and giggle fits. Thanks for gifting ten subs. I kept them safe while they searched for survivors. Hmm. Yeah. So you're working on something that does affect people in general, especially healthcare. So yeah. Coming a mile away. Um, and it, Hust, thanks for gifting out a sub. Damn it. Thank you guys. We convinced community after community to join the UCA, and we left behind our own people to help them. It took us three years, but we managed to make it all the way. In the big five personality matrix, what you're describing is a high conscientiousness oh, type person. Who is a by the book, stay the course kind of person that statistically has a high chance of having conservative values? The team was wiped out, and Emily huh. was taken. Hmm. Little video game sounds. Taken. I'm not being kept in a cell or anything like that. I'm allowed to use their facilities and to speak with you. Uh, I want. Hey, Doctor Eleven, good I to see you again. Leave the city. Thanks for the sub. It's all to safeguard the continued independence of Edgenot City. That's what her keepers are saying, at least. They want the UCA to leave him be. My hype for ghosts. I don't know. In case we don't. I'm looking forward to it, but I am playing Assassin's Creed Odyssey right now, and it sounds nearly identical to that game. They run Edgenot City. I don't deny the difficulty of having constructive discussion or working with conservative people, but as a counterpoint, I was lucky to TA for 
a right. teacher last semester, Nothing and he was very willing to work with me them. and accept Not his mistakes as we adjusted to teaching off-campus labs. Didn't agree with him politically at all, as he was a strong conservative, but during our political conversations, he never once to deny my viewpoint, which I appreciated. Was one of theirs. Yeah, I... There I will never, like the demons everywhere, never villainize. In the um, and when I'm dealing in Central stereotypes, I try to acknowledge that. No one organization to rule them all, just a common ideology. I know not everyone shares our vision for the future. Liberal creative types are high in the openness if scale, while lower in conscientiousness. They're considered more dynamic and adaptable, sometimes to survive. a fault. Hmm. I carried my mother's message to people all across the country. What's going on with a woman in the red dress? Not oh, George, you'll be asking that for the next 30 hours, I think. More than a few would rather stay isolated. Keep to themselves. Just learn through experience, yeah. Alone. And if you don't have experience, it can seem like you're being ganged up on. Yeah, and no one likes to be told that their thoughts are invalid. They think that America can only be... Because no one's thoughts are invalid. If you're speaking to your personal experience, there's nothing more valid than that. Put them um, in shackles. The problem is when you start to speak on behalf of other people's experiences, you know which I understand me. that I also did. Just another so. kind of cult. They're not shackles, uh, Sam. Mrs. Nutty, thank you for the They're $25 tip. Our bonds. Thank you so much. That's what we need right now. Not to stand apart, but to come together. To form car. That five personality shit is just stereotyping with extra steps. Sam, we want you to go west. I mean, yeah, we, we're all trying to make sense of the human condition. The people Applying types uh, have been hard at feels cozy. Setting up Cairo net uh, I was timed up for 606. Is this but fair? You didn't answer my question. I couldn't can't contribute. Oh, dab, 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 dab. Just ask we your question. you to bring them online. And for oh, that. Oh, man. So... Cupid. My blood, let me let me address the meta of your conversation. Everything you said after you came back from your timeout was intended to incite conflict. To Consider that. All you wanted to do west, Sam, and was connect the people of our great nation. Put me against my moderators city. and the rest of chat against why right? like I It's it's not So it's it has nothing to do with what you believe. It's the way you're expressing it. If that makes sense? To save the country. This was Bridget's dying wish. That was the this first thing I said. Is how we'll move forward. Uh, I did not answer your question. You're right. I didn't see it. Let me let me check this question. Oh, can I name two? So no, I did answer your question. I just didn't answer it in the gotcha way you wanted me to. Because I knew I didn't. I dude, I called it out right. You were going to ask the one question that proved you were right. Um, and now you're getting mad that I didn't play into your game because I know the game, dude. I know, I know the flowchart, and I'm not playing it. Is it is it hard to understand that like I've been through this before, and the narrative techniques you're using are actually pretty basic, and because you've seen them work on the internet, you think it's going to work here? Hold on, stop! I need you to break outside of the flowchart. Also, I did answer your question. Both of you, covering the world. Oh, I'm mad. I couldn't talk to you. Well, suffering. Again, I'm like, when it all comes apart if you, you got silenced. Well, you silenced yourself. Round and round it goes. Connect, re you were warned. It's not that simple. You kept doing all it. All right, all right, Sam. Just take it easy. You I can't it. claim that it's not fair if you were you warned. Don't have to commit to anything now. Right? I get some rest. Good idea. We all need our sleep. Leave it too long, and you're liable to reconnect with the other side. The necessary. You ever see Hard Man's face? Completed. Various adjustments and can't spoil anything for your benefit. You can use it again. For once, it would seem that dooms and BBs are a good. This is what I'm talking about. I know what you're talking about. So this is the other thing that that I had a problem with. I'm not saying you have a problem with it. A lot of people do. It's possible that someone can understand your point and still disagree with you. And it's because it. I can't even talk to you. Well, you are. We are talking. I'm just not agreeing with you. Um, and I'm trying to point out the ways that I think your 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 points are not working. Um, just because you're not winning me over to your way of thinking doesn't mean we're not talking, you know? I'm back on the beach again. Sam. 
I would just I would just consider that like in the case of the why aren't there more conservatives at creative outlets re the point of all of that is to get hired it's to get work listen um you are Sam Stryker. or to, to to create your own mob so no, that you have some no, pressure behind you but not anymore My just just try to consider one that when somebody tells you the state of something they might be telling you that because it's in their interest to tell you that is part of and two that people who well, prop themselves up as conservative talking heads may not actually sure. be conservative. They may just be media personalities saying what works. Is when you can't um, true, true of liberal people too. Just the media you consume is a product. And I would caution heavily against using it to form your belief system and your world values. Um, to some degree, we have to. You know, we live in America. Um, we, we live in a media saturated society. But our bond still holds. You'd be surprised how many opinionated talking heads don't believe what they say. Yeah, I've, and some of them will even tip their hand. I've seen a lot of like gaming YouTubers who will put up a video with an opinion in it, and then when it gets downvoted, they take it down. Don't tell um, me why not. They're like, well, the audience didn't like this, so I removed it. And it's like, okay, so you are just literally in the business of telling the audience what they want to hear. Um, and it works. No one cares. Like, that. that's not even a... A qualification anymore. It's not that you believe what you're saying or that you're presenting a well-formed argument. It's that you're telling me what I want to hear. Um, so, you know, just... It's not a bad thing to to want to live in media that, that validates your worldview. Just, just be aware that sometimes it can get its tendrils in you. Hard to argue that an echo chamber isn't forming. Uh, so, uh, mud, mud blood. What, Mike? I'll just call you Mike, because, you know, um, an echo chamber is a term that's thrown around a lot. But just because everyone agrees doesn't mean it's an echo chamber. You know, is it an echo chamber for everyone to agree that the world is round? Does that need an insurgent in the room? Uh, Wait. Is it a social good, always, to contradict on a first-name basis? No. I, uh, absolutely not. You just can't deny the racist overtones of your goddamn username, <laughs> please. There is evidence for a round earth. Well... As someone, again, with a decade of experience in YouTube, I ha I'm presenting evidence that certain things that are said to happen, maybe aren't really happening. Toilet, etc. Drop in when you need to rest. Inspect your gear, review info, or whatever else. Same as a red handprint from Emily. Yeah. Feel free to ask our staff. But before you do, why not check things out for yourself? See how Bridges operates these days. Oh, it's a Harry Potter reference? Okay. <laughs> Yay! I don't know, the 3D Raymans were never very good, right? Uh, so somebody mentioned uh, Easter eggs in this room. I quite remember those. Dude, Deadly Premonition's so good, Kala. I'm glad you're enjoying it. To your suit. Uh, speaking of suits, mm. blue is for delivery personnel. Red for medical, orange for corpse disposal, and black for security. Let's try not to call names if we can avoid it. Sam, this is Deadman. I calibrated yeah. your BB based on physiological data we collected from you earlier. It's still just the best guess, though. After you take it out for a spin, we can check if you're in sync and tweak the BB sensitivity as needed. Hey there. Believe we've met. I oh, the mirror? Every operations as huh. Well as I, I stopped using the mirror at a certain point. Nice to have you on board. I'm Mama, in case I didn't mention it before. Yeah, Mama. Those there are strands. Not just used for packing, by the Would way. Would you define as an echo chamber, then? identification, too. Take a closer look. Hmm. I right there. That's your blood. I think the 
I think the term is largely used correctly, but the, my issue with the term is that it's largely used to validate some pretty antisocial behavior. Um, people talk about violating or, or bursting echo chambers as there being some kind of like thought warrior, when really they're just being dicks to a degree. Um, I mean, echo chambers are real. Human beings like cr grouping up of like kind. Um, I think like a, a cult is probably the worst example of that. Um, and certainly there is there is social good in breaking up that belief structure. Um, but a lot of people, a lot of people throw the term around as just like, there are these people over there and they believe a thing that's not right. And we have to go over there and make sure that they know that their belief is wrong. And that's when it gets, that's when, like the way that the term is used is usually used in that context. And I don't like that at all. Also, I, I really don't think that there's just social good in disrupting that. Depending on what the echo chamber is about, I guess. Really, if it's about a protected class. If you're in an echo chamber about bigotry, that's bad. And that's actually pretty easy to, to, de to determine. It's actually pretty easy. Dooms and repatriates. The shower in your room was designed with chiral decontamination in mind. Diversity quotas are a racist and sexist form of white supremacy. Well, that's a hell of a thing. Politics is a flawed unfor or an unfortunate flawed social dynamic. It segregates people into cliques they most identify with. These people are ignorant to others' perspectives. Yeah. Nerd jock, rep, dem, conserve, liberal. Fuck the people they need to identify as anything. I mean, sadly, there will never be an end to infighting with your fellow man. Yeah. Part of that is just part of the human condition. I freely admit a chance to study the unique properties of your physiology, you being a repatriate and all. Hmm. Arguing against a majority isn't necessarily arguing against an echo chamber, but anyone who's in the minority tends to use it that way. Hmm. Well, like anti-vax or whatever? I just want to be able to debate. I hate racism. Well, does anyone else want to, though? Hey, that's uh, uh, not not to read too much into it, um, but I think there are there are times when conversations happen that don't uh, don't acknowledge that the other person is a full, independent, automated thinking individual. They are just uh, you know, an obstacle, a chance for conquest sport that's kind of the annoying thing when one party thinks it's sport and the other party has other things they want to do yeah L bags I'm, I'm dedicating way too much uh, too much time and, and interest to one person you're right this, <laughs> this is the part one. of the dynamic too is that uh, one thing presented in a certain antagonistic way can dominate a conversation yeah uh, Remember the time before I realized I had Asperger's, I would just talk at people? It can be tough. The, there's, there's definitely a phase where you have to figure out how to interact with people and pick up on cues and stuff like that. With that terminal there, you can browse the bridge's database, which has info on a range of subjects. You don't have clearance for everything, but there's still plenty you might find informative. Mm. Mudblood, you're trying real hard, man. Okay. Just stop. I'll ask you to, here's, here's your warning. Just stop or I will ban you. There's your warning. And that's not prejudice, man. Tried the hardest. You're, you're actively inciting, well, you always have been, but you're actively inciting, inciting antagonism now and you're not allowed to say that you're not. So, you know, I will stop. Okay, good. <sighs> yep, nope. Sad about not being able to talk. You lost the right, dude. You're acting like a dick. That's how it goes. I'm calling you out. Missed the old internet. There it is. Okay, well, I asked you to stop and you didn't stop. So, see you later, dude. You had three chances to stop and you didn't use any of them. I knew you would miss the old internet. Yep, where you can just do whatever, you can say whatever you want. And it was just a joke, bro. Yeah, you love Newgrounds, didn't you? Yup. You love making those little jokes that you call jokes, but they're actually racist, and you hate being called out on that because you used to have a cover. I know. I know you. I used to be you. Which is why, like, whatever. I don't know why you thought that shit would work here. Fuck me.
there are less conservative well, people in creative work because yeah, hold on a second conservative pe personality people are less willing to take creative Trump risks and sometimes really are less creative period than a liberal personality to not to say that there's anything That's wrong with being to go forth less or not creative it's just a roll of the genetic dice to make us whole again conservatives are also be better suited to work that requires maintenance and staying their course no care like make sure enough manufactured anything. parts are made and shipped every year hmm we're making knots i remember reading some uh I have to to help Amelie out i remember reading some analysis that like I don't know if this if this counts or not, but um, yeah, got banned. Mission accomplished. Yeah, and then they get to go be a victim. Go go like hold up how all they did was say an opinion. They just got banned, man. These politics, these liberals. Everyone's gonna do that anyway. Um, I do remember reading an analysis that like this is this is heavily stereotyped. So let's Listen do that, up, Sam. Terminals um, that all these people built in the towns and cities they pass through on their good creative work tends to be about empathy knots. about the infrastructure's there but the Cairo network is offline weakness right now it's about uh, transmitting the parts of the human condition that we often I'm don't want to admit to ourselves sometimes wireless and a small amount of data but uh, at the same time it's like that's what makes good art. So is less than necessary data ones that make you think about the human condition in ways other than the ideal which Emily and the other bridges members you've seen around the place are again very stereotypically speaking with local data. tends to be a little more uh, conservative leaning that that image of like the self-made man work hard for rewards enjoy the fruits of your labor kind of thing once you connect it to the terminal, you'll be able to initiate zero time massive data transmission with the UCA network. And just like that, yeah. you we'll reconnect on. us not only to each other, but to our past. We need an emergency break glass in case of bad vibe. Just got a big old anime Almost titty behind it. Minute junk know. data will be compiled and restored, like bringing a dinosaur back to life from a fossil. Yeah, Brickman Brown, I agree. It's not a true. They're focused on different subjects. That that's been my perception too. 4.6 billion years of history on Earth. All the wisdom and knowledge we lost since the Death Stranding will be ours again. Uh, and that, my friend. TS underscore? Is how underscore. Beat this thing. Thanks for the Prime sub. Uh, Professor Panda, thanks for the cheer. Lando, thanks for the Prime. Once you establish Cairo. Sea Shock Hill, thanks for the Prime. And Nutbuster69000, thanks for gifting us up. You'll also be um, able to use Cairo printers. Dr. Levin, I don't mean to call you out specifically, but how you been doing, man? I feel like it's been a while. Last time I heard from you, you had layoffs. Hopefully everything's gotten better since then. I know that's a weird thing to say, but... Or that's got a soul. Nothing real. Just copies. True. Mm. Which is why we'll still need porters like you. Hey, Before TL Josh, we're made how you doing? Whole, doing alright. We'll need men in the middle. Yes. For the wicked, huh? Uh, J. Rivs, thanks for the prime. I yeah, I'm, I I also have to admit I'm not playing, not paying a ton of attention to this part of the game because I've played through the first hour like I want to say three times, so I'm pretty familiar with all this already. These shoes look like they've done some serious miles. Shall I dispose of them? Wait. Hold on. There's something I want you to look into. Oh. My blood seemed to set those things off. Understandable username. <laughs> set them off. Thank you for the five what subs, dude. Mean? I don't know. You took my blood, didn't you? You tell me. It's been really busy. We're down to 50% of the people we had. 68 right. hour weeks, dude. Do. I'm really sorry to hear that. Hmm. Ah. Yeah, you've been you've been grinding it. I have only had. Uh, I want to say like. Maybe four or five crunches like that in my life. 60 to hour, six to 80 hour weeks and that is rough. That's real, real rough. Are you playing any of this off stream? I don't know. I don't know. I'm trying to stay positive. Yeah, it's, it's tough. It's tough when you're getting ground down by work and everything else, man. Well, uh, I don't know what I can do. Let me know if I can do anything to help out though. Pretty much the easiest thing I can do is throw money at things remotely, so. I'll take care of it. Oh, Death Moon? Oh, thank you. 
That's the whole point of streaming on Twitch, is to interact with people, so. Um, tickle my fancy pickle. Thanks for gifting 10 more subs. Jeez. That's an intense pickle. That is a pickle we're tickling. Stal Yeagle, thank you for the cheer. Yeah. Working from home, yeah. I guess you're just in that weird alternate reality where you wake up, go to work, 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 work. Shove things in face, just fall asleep, wake up again, more work. Oh. Hmm. Grandfather used to say that conservatives needed liberals to temper their intolerance and liberals need conservatives to keep people from taking advantage of their kindness. Hmm. Uh, Toe Cutter, thanks, thank you for the sub gift. That is a sort of back and forth, isn't it? Sam, this is Die Hartman. Your current objective is to extend the Cairo network from here to Port Knot City. I don't think you can make a beeline straight forward. Very interesting D&D stuff. Signal won't carry uh, to cover the distance, that's tough in quarantine. Actually, I guess it's not that tough. Think of it like we could just um, to make a long do calls and stuff. I don't know. I tend to like video games more than D&D, but... Take a look at the order. Deliver whatever they need and connect the Cupid. Sam. Order summaries may contain information. I will say the intro of this game can be a little rocky. Make sure to review that They're slamming you with this UI, and then you get a call trying to tell you about it. Uh, thoughts on the Ubisoft event? I actually didn't really watch most of it, uh, which is unfortunate. It was on at a time I was working on something else. I don't know if there's was anything really worth digging into in there. Uh, there was a period where I hadn't left the house for two months, had everything delivered. First time I left the house, it felt weird. Had to get the muscle memory back driving stick. Felt like a caveman. Yeah, those are the scary moments, I think, when you go outside and you realize just how different your life is. I remember there was one day I went outside to, like, take out the trash or something, and, like, the sun hit me, and I got a good burst of wind, and I was just like, oh, that should not feel as foreign and refreshing as it did. And that's that's when it's, when, when that happened, I started just kind of taking walks outside just to kind of absorb some sun, but how's the diet going? Pretty well. I've had a couple of days where I sort of loosened the reins. I kind of wanted to test myself and see if I would go insane. Um, one day I did. I like went over the boundary and just started eating everything I saw. Yeah, vitamin D deficiency. Jeez, yeah. Seasonal affective disorder is probably going to be hitting in. Um, so that was good. I kind of learned where my boundaries were. Another time I did, I had like two cocktails and that was it. And I even had the calorie uh, room for those. So I consider that a success. Um, so kind of I've been experimenting with how to make sure that this diet is more sustainable than ones I've tried to do in the past. We provide you with some rope and a ladder for this run. They should help with the steeper inclines, and the ladder will also make a halfway decent Kind of crazy how your mood instantly changes when you're in the sun and breathing fresh air. Right now, I figure you're thinking about how you want to handle this order. For certain. We're people. Kind of need to be, need to be outside sometimes. Look at all these ladders. I forgot to auto range. Hold on. Bang. Yes. Yeah, we got ladders now. Ladders and a rope, I think. <clears throat> Order assigned. Now my man looks looks like a box boy. Anybody home? Okay. Ah, yes. Ah, this this is a nice easy hike. I don't recall there being anything wacky along the way. This is actually a, a run you got to do a lot. I think they want you to use the a lot of the ladders to cross bodies of water here. Yeah, it seems like it. What body fat percent are you going for? That's tough to say. I don't really have a good way to measure body fat percent right now. But uh, I'm mostly just going for, you know, the look. Trying to get lean for the first time in my entire life. I'd like to see my abs. That'd be cool. Ever. Yeah, a lot of where I'm at right now is just kind of... I'm in my mid-30s. I feel like I want to have a period of my life where I'm in really good physical condition. And that window may be closing. 
Um, we'll see. Trying to diet for a while and not having much luck. Decided to go vegetarian for a month, though, and it's really working for me. Dropped 13 pounds. Nice, Square Sama. Congratulations. Oh, that's right. You have to do this to see the... See the glowing, glowing points, I think. What's your ideal weight? I don't know, because I've never found it. I've been overweight since I've been 12 years old. So, yeah, mostly right now I'm, I just want to, like, see where I can push it, you know? See what I look like, see how I feel, because it's all just so different to me. Sam, see that sign someone left over there? This one? You can leave some of your own, but... Yeah. Messages, warnings, words... Good job, Nick Easton. <laughs> um, Joxel, thank you for gifting five subs. Saw my ads one, then go they got scared and went into hiding for the last ten years. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah. Likers get liked. Just started my second cut. First one, I lost 18 pounds, which was my goal. Gonna try to lose 10 again. Woo! Nice. And I guess this is technically my first cut ever. <laughs> if I can... Act no! I had one in college that was pretty successful. Just ate, like, chicken and salad all day. That worked, shockingly. But that fell apart once I graduated and got a job that I hated. I definitely use, uh... Definitely use food as a as a coping mechanism. Hit high intensity interval training got me in the best shape of my life. Can't do it every day though. I need time to recover. I yeah, I was probably in the best shape. I was doing insanity for about a month and a half, and I was getting in pretty good physical shape. But I still had just a lot of body fat on. I wasn't super tracking calories at the time. I was just kind of eating enough to not be hungry. And I was trying to get calories from the right sources, you know, like chicken and rice and stuff like that, but... The wheat didn't really... or the fat didn't really fall off. Once you can see the week-to-week -week progress, oh man. That's what I'm excited about. My first week, I lost like 10 pounds. It was awesome. And I knew that it wasn't going to be like that. Um, second week, uh, at the end of the week, is when I did my splurge. So when I, when I weighed the next day, I didn't really, uh... Didn't really lose much because I was probably, uh. Sam, remember that God, you guys are talking a lot. Cargo uh, probably retaining a lot of water, but. Oh, hey, Pop Tart. Are you feeling better today? Pop Tart? Oh, God damn it. My weightlifter friends. Uh, hold on a second. I'll say you have to cut the fat first and build a bunch of muscle if you care about losing fat. Yeah. Um, my intention was to do both. Like, I wanted to lift weights on a slight calorie deficit and then build muscle mass that would eventually make my calorie deficit bigger and lose body fat that way, but that did not work out. Uh, because again, I just keep eating. I love eating so much. And it's so easy to overeat. It's so, so easy. Mmm. Before I met him, my husband had a job he hated in QA and he gained a bunch of weight. Ate a lot of fast food. I think being him being unhappy made him gravitate to comfort foods. That was for sure the case with me. Um, and a lot of my days, uh, that's... I can get that on the way back. Or wait, do you come back to Capital Knot after this? I can't remember. I will come back to Capital Knot eventually, so fuck it. I'll just pick it up, even though it's a big boy. I definitely, yeah, for a lot of days, uh... Like, my lunch break was the happiest time of my day. Because I got to be away from the coworkers I didn't really get along with. And I got to do something that was pleasurable for me, which is eat delicious food. And again, for me at the time, delicious food was fast food. I think I just needed something familiar and calming. What? Oh, come on. Once they, once they trigger on you like that, can you, like... I think you can sneak away still, yeah. They'll send out pulses to where you were. Oh, damn it, there's one right in front of me. Hey!
if I sleep all day and miss lunch and dinner and the chicken and fries is so wonderful. Yeah. What I eventually learned was it was like... It, it wasn't about um, being in that moment and having the willpower to say no. It was about not being in the moment in the first place. Um, for a long time, I kind of treated fitness like a, a willpower problem. Um, again, it's that, that notion that like, if I try hard enough and work hard enough, I can do anything. I think it was definitely a work smarter situation of changing my, changing, changing my life circumstance and my behavior patterns to not put me in the place where I make bad decisions in the first place. In a weird way, it's almost like talking about addiction, kind of. Uh, you know, removing your triggers for behavior you don't want to repeat. It's, uh, it's, it's humbling to think about your own life that way. It does kind of acknowledge, it, I think it in increases, or it involves some kind of acknowledgement that you're not in complete control. I've been watching you play this game and I still have no clue what's happening. I can try and walk you through it, yeah. I mean, at this point in the game, you're not supposed to know what's going on. Um, so, if you're cool with uh, if you're cool with just rolling with it, I'll keep going. But if you actually want a breakdown of what of what this game is, oh, being able to see the sensor through your pack, yeah, I didn't even notice that. I always thought that was part of the intended gameplay is that you had to rotate the camera. There we go. Good to see this running above. Oh, he waved at me. I got an explanation and I still don't get it. That's Kojima. Womp, 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 womp. Anime. I will say I was, I was waiting for a majority of the game for Die Hard Man to turn out to be like... Well, I shouldn't spoil anything. Never mind. Last diet I was on gave me kidney stones and most of the diets I've seen that involve fruits or veggies have you starve your body of something and it sucks. I've... The diet that I'm on now, the Nutrisystem thing, it's pretty nutritionally complete. It's just about basically removing um, processed carbohydrates from your diet, really. Making your calories come from like lean protein sources like nuts and eggs and meat. And then um, having like fruits and maybe some whole grain breads, but definitely not the, st uh, the, the staple of the diet. And it, I found it actually pretty, pretty nice to, uh, or much more doable to reduce down to like 1500 calories, um, especially when you can eat all the vegetables you want. Is Nutrisystem still dry as hell? Um, you mean like physically dry? Uh, the foods that I have haven't been dry, no. Like keto? Not necessarily like keto. Like you can still have carbohydrates. They just have to be of a particular kind. Bang. I'm almost at weight limit already? Shoot. Oh, you're fine. Ah, uh, ooh, 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 ooh. So, now the mechanics are starting to click in a little bit. It actually wasn't that hard to run across rivers when I wasn't overloaded, but now that I am, I have to use tools. I'm not that far, but then again, I'm not delivering these here. You are over encumbered and cannot run. Oh, crap. Okay, well, might need a couple ladders then. After two hours, I got KOTOR 1 to run at 1366 by 768. How goes the Kojima weirdness? Well, uh, this game at least ran right off the bat. No issues there. Would you recommend picking this game up? Got mixed reviews and at least kind of scared me away. Cams Rams, that's a, unfortunately a pretty complicated question. Um... I think, I think more than anything, this is one game that cannot get a blanket yes-no uh, recommendation. Uh, I think it really depends on what kind of games you like and what you're prepared to do as a video game. No! No! Crap. I hope I can climb up this. You can do it! Okay, whew. Crap, there's another... Did you tumble at all? Oh yeah, I uh, I mean I had to get gameplay capture, so I did a couple of forced 
forced spills, but I did, I did one where I like I fell down a uh, I fell down a like a stairwell when I was holding like a max load, and I even had like a I even had like an exosuit on, so there was a lot of a lot of shit sprayed everywhere. It was pretty funny. Uh oh, that's weird. Okay. Yeah. Ooh. That's the Kojima magic right there, baby. Does it actually control like quap? No, you I mean you don't hit buttons to place your legs individually, but you do you do get quappy legs when you start stumbling, which is when you could start dropping cargo and damaging them. I think this game will get a sequel. I I don't think it needs one. I hope it's not a franchise. I would like to see more just unrestrained unrestrained creativity out of uh out of Kojima. So, I'm hoping he doesn't slip into another sequel nightmare. Hey Steven Barr, I did it. Death Stranding Goatee 2 years running. Yeah. Begin Death Stranding is the last video game we'll ever need. I watched recently watched a well-researched video on the idea that willpower is a finite resource and that relying on it for personal betterment doesn't work. Removing the option at all for bad behavior works really well. Something like locking cookies in a timer jar to keep you from eating them or making sure the house has no bad foods at all. Increase the odds you make better choices. Booski, you're absolutely right. I've read similar research that willpower and mostly decision making, the power to make decisions, is something that goes away. You actually burn it off. Which is why, like, it's it's a really interesting and I think it's it's a cycle we've all fallen into, but doesn't really get a lot of discussion is that when you're at work, you're spending all day making decisions. You're you're burning that mental willpower. That's why when you come home and you like you have a conversation with your girlfriend or friend, like, what do you want to eat? That's another decision, and your brain is done making decisions. It's also like the uh, decision paralysis of staring at Netflix. You have a wall of thumbnails, and all you want to do is just watch something. And what you don't want to do, especially again after doing it all day, is weigh the pros and cons of all of these these things. <laughs> JC, gaze upon my gay bits. I did, but in a very safer work way. That's why I exercise in the morning. Same here, Kebiche, yeah. Delivering cargo. DMC3 is better than 5. I'd agree with that, Ian. DMC3 is very Thank choice. You. Solid oh, game. Feeling the loss of Central Knot City. No one seemed to know what it meant for the organization. Or the UCA. Or us. And the Oxytocin will take the edge off and that'll be a big help. Won't be long before we're back on track. We may have a luck. Yeah, that's why your entire wardrobe is just tight leather black jumpsuits. Takes out the decision. This is great. Just open the closet. Thank you again. It's the black. It's the jumpsuit today. To be in good order. Exercise in the morning got me to kick, kick coffee addiction. Oh man, bat conquer. I have my coffee before I exercise. Lately, I've been I've been using cold brew that I make and then putting. Um, Nutrisystem sent me some like protein powder. And I put that in there. So I have my my coffee swole drink in the morning. Get my go juice going. Do my ring fits. You're with the second team, right? Ooh. Where are the others? Had quite a scare with a yeah. chunk of dark, hard ribbed blood mixed with mucus fall out during my medical rinse. Thought it was my splint. Called my doctor today. Said it should be fine. See them for post op tomorrow. Still feel stuffy. Animal Crossing stole your soul? Okay. The second team was meant to bring the Cupid. They were going to connect us up. Three years we've been waiting for help. Three years. Oh, you work in concerts? It's an old crew shirt and probably black, yeah. Black t-shirts with a logo. That's the gamer... Hey, that's the gamer wardrobe too. I'm doing white today, but... I'm trying to branch out a little bit. So it's true. I finally got it working. Well, then you just might be the answer to my prayers. I am so excited to get trim because there's so many... Shirts, jackets, and just like... Fashions I want to wear that don't fit on a wobbly... Lumpy frame. That's... Honestly, more than anything... There's particular t-shirt designs that I really like that I just want to look super good in. And I remember, like, No More Heroes is kind of what started that infatuation with me. There were so many good t-shirt designs in that game. Capcom really bounced back, yeah. Capcom's back! Wish that was possible with Konami. Uh, yeah, I mean, Konami's been doing some stuff. Mostly re-releases. 
Uh, I guess Metal Gear Survive that nobody liked. Um, so, I'm not saying they're doing good, but there's been some signs of life. I, I assumed Konami was getting out of, getting out of traditional games at all. Um, but, uh, they seem to still be in it, or still trying at least. I mean, for, for my money, they still, uh, they still make Beat Mania. That's all, that's the biggest thing I care about. So, Konami's, Konami's good with me, but only me. Confirmed. It's really happening. What? Just like Amelie promised, we can finally do what we came here to do. Hey, you're headed west, right? Gonna be a lot of people happy to see you. I guess you'll keep on till you hit the coast, huh? Which means you'll get to see Amelie in person. Oh, that's. Are they were gonna originally, and then they backpedaled? Me, I've never met her. That was all the circumstances. Konami leaving gaming. That was my read. They actually said specifically when they when they dropped. Kojima and basically his entire staff. They said specifically they were not getting out of gaming. Um, they're increasing their pachinko presence. Yeah, it's working by the way. Konami's doing very well. I know no one wants to hear that, but they're actually doing extremely well as a company. They're earning shitloads of money. Um, and there's honestly not that much difference between pachinko and some other video games that are widely played. I'm throwing that out there too. Um, so it's not illegitimate. It's still gaming. Um, but I do remember there was a there was an interview with a. Uh, an executive at Konami that was like, no, we're still in games, we're not getting out. But I think all they make really now is Pro Evolution Soccer. And various re-releases of Castlevania games. Yeah, Konami, like every Japanese dev, got slaughtered in Gen 7. Konami's Gen 7 was not good. Put out like Never Dead and some other games no one cared about that were really bad. A lot of a lot of Japanese devs struggled transitioning into HD era games. I think it's because Japanese companies. This, it's extremely suppositional on my part, but uh, so much, God, so much talking. Um, it seems like a lot of Japanese companies like to develop their own engines and their own tools, whereas American developers, at the advent of the PS3 and 360, very quickly had to learn how to use other tools and engines to stay ahead of the curve and develop games with any kind of expediency. So, Japanese developers went from taking two years to making games to like four to five years. And a lot of them got stuck. Like, Polyphony didn't make a Gran Turismo for like ten years, because I think they couldn't f they couldn't just wrap their head around the, the workload. Is my, is my exterior completely uninformed theory. I'd imagine physical gambling machines and video games would be completely separate in terms of licensing. It seems odd they don't just keep making those while licensing other properties to other game studios. Uh, you mean like continue to make pachinko games while licensing Metal Gear to someone else? They could, but I'm sure I'm, I can guarantee Konami has taken pitches. And for all we know, they've accepted one and just haven't announced it yet. Um... Gran Turismo 6 came out on PS3 a week after PS4 launched. Yeah. Jerry PC controls it all. No, I'm just I'm just playing on a controller. Uh is it worth a repurchase? I mean, for me, yes, because one, I can stream it. Two, uh, I have disposable income, and three, I really like the game. So there's a lot that I can say about it that applies to only me. You can use that PCC to build a post box. Um, but it's it's, uh, for me, it's worth it to play at a high resolution and high frame rate. Um, possible. I worked in a Japanese company. Boy, they liked in-house shit. That, that was my vibe. There were very few Japanese companies that, one, would even start to work on things like Unreal. And two, could actually handle, you know, the, the cultural and language barrier of getting support from an American company. So the, I think the shift from home building your engine and all your tools and all your dev to requiring external tools in the HD era really scuttled a lot of Japanese devs. Konami seems like, or sorry, Capcom seems like they're they're back on track. Um, but, uh, yeah, not everyone was able to navigate that. Um, and, and man, Konami does seem like a company that likes to keep everything under their, under their, under their ownership. I'm going back to not, so I don't want to take that one. You'll need to use a PCC. 
It goes without saying, but if you're not already carrying a PCC, you'll want to fabricate one. Yeah, that's right. I forgot the, uh, there's certainly an adjustment time to, uh, for figuring out the, uh, ooh, ah, uh, ah, uh, figuring out the UI for this game. A friend of mine does tech support for his company's Japanese clients, and he said a lot of it can be run around. Like, they'll make him fly there for something he could have done remotely, just so that he's seen there doing it. Huh. Yeah. I, again... Despite being a complete expert on Japanese uh, culture, um, I will admit that I don't know anything about Japanese work culture. I do. I mean, I think there's there's quite an quite an element of that, of like they just value different things, and do work in a different way sometimes than we here in the land of the free do. I think we're very results oriented, very cost oriented. I think part of that is like. Elements of that kind of production line mentality. We're all about produce. We're about making that product and earning revenue. They still use fax machines? Oh, man. To be fair, I think fax machines have an element of uh, data integrity. Like, I know, I know that some legal professions still use fax because it's, you, it's really hard to fake a fax. And you can, like, digitally alter a document and all that stuff. But also, I'm sure a lot of it is, you know, this is how we do it here. This is just how we do it. Uh, although Brandon Blackmore, I agree. The, the UI chirps and the UI design of this game is really good. Granted, there are there are crossovers with uh, with Metal Gear, just because there are aspects of like inventory management and item management that uh, I think they they figured out some best solutions with Metal Gear, so it only makes sense to carry those over. But Konami really dropped the ball not supporting Igarashi and his desire to make more Castlevania. But then we got Bloodstained, which shows creative intent free from publisher interference. Yeah, I agree with that. But, um, consider that also it may not have been worth Konami's time. At that time, they may have already been looking at revenues from Pachinko games. And then looking at revenues from a Castlevania game. Looking at the cost to make these two. You know, it's not always a company's goal to make the best video game, or to, to serve every audience they can. It's a, it's a company's goal to, like, keep costs down, and keep revenue up. Sometimes that's done by making products people want. Sometimes it's not. Or, or rather, sometimes it's done by making products that we think they should make. Anyway, I don't... I'm also not a business major, so I'm just, I'm just postulating here. Crap. Alright, through the water we go. Oh, I didn't know your- man, your canteen fills up really fast if you step in water. Oh, so tired. Some PC? Yes, it is. Has to do with the insular culture, no matter how good an external stuff is good, if it's external, we don't trust it, let's redo it. I mean, I've worked for American companies where that's the case too. It's, the thing is, culturally, if, if a company has found its success building its own tools, it's, um, Sam. and that's, that's how they've operated and it's worked Inside. until that point. Good. You're not going to convince them that that's not how it should be, your or that it's it's not wise to, to build do things any other way. Need to switch tactics and pitch Konami to make good games for it to boost the brand recognition of their pachinko brands. I think I think they understand that that's why they they're enjoying the revenues they have now, is that. Uh, the boomers roll through a casino, you know, and they see Metal Gear and they're like, Oh, I remember that! Brand, like... I am I am no casino expert, but holy crap, brand recognition is everything. If you're walking through a casino and you see, like, Mystic Diamonds slot machine, and right next to it is Golden Girl slot machine, I know which one I'm gonna play. Uh, so I feel like that recognition of Konami brand has worked its way into that aspect of the consciousness. If, you, if anyone in this chat, myself included, walked into a casino and saw a Metal Gear fucking video poker machine. Hell yeah. I'd step up to that for a little bit. 
I dropped five bucks on that. So I can gamble and listen to work, Harry Gregson Williams. That's a fine looking post box. If you access it and select share locker, you can share cargo and equipment with your fellow porters. Deposit a ladder and a climbing anchor, and I'm sure someone will eventually come along who could use it. If you've got enough to Why not leave some behind? You know what? You're right. Sam. You just you told me this! Exchange cargo with other porters. My one time in a casino, I picked purely on brand recognition. It's not a bad thing. It's not bad. But I also think that might be why Konami doesn't want to go too license happy with their products. So like, you license Metal Gear out to somebody who had a good pitch. And again, you get into that situation where five years later and you don't have a game, Kojima. Um, it may also be that Konami just got burned by a lot of game releases, so they don't want to dive back into it too hard. I think that's an aspect too. I think Konami lost a lot of money on Metal Gear Solid 5. I think they probably lost money on Metal Gear Solid 4. Um, I think. You know what? Why not? Oh, I have another pair of boots. That's right. Getting those Chivos, though. Those Steam Chivables. Get those likes, baby! Uh, seems like it might be a little easier to cross where there's rocks and take breaks. Oh, Konami also lost a lot of their Western fans because of their treatment of Kojima. Uh, you know what? That's how it feels now. I would wager extensively if Konami... Well, I guess Konami did release a new Contra and it wasn't very good, but... If Konami, um, if Konami put out a gameplay demo for a game that looked good, people would get over their anger real quick. I've seen that happen so many times, man. Gamers are such fucking pushovers. Um, it sounds, it sounds like a cliche, but it really is all about the games. I can't think of a single, one single instance of gamers being mad about something and it actually translating into, like, real-world market effects. One. I can't think of one. Like, there's that legendary image of, like, the, the boycott group of Mo Modern Warfare 2. The day after launch. That's always fun. People get over shit real fast. Oop. Oh! That was a little deep. That was a little deep. Oh, I gotta pick up all my shit. No! Back up fuel! Hopefully it catches on the rocks here. Oh, burp, burp, burp. Oh, it's too deep! Shit. Shit. If only I hadn't left that ladder. <sighs> hmm. People boycotted Modern Warfare 2. Well, they didn't. They just said they were going to, and then they didn't. Um, they wanted dedicated servers. That's what they were mad about. Then. How did the Activision Blizzard boycott go for that pro Hong Kong dude that, that got banned? Nothing happened. Absolutely nothing. People were snarky on Reddit. That's it. Um, I was even at that BlizzCon because Stephanie worked for Blizzard at the time. And, uh, there really wasn't anything. Really wasn't anything. Yeah, the Modern Warfare 2 boycott was the, f the first time I remember gamers trying to, like, form a group and do something involving collective action. And it was just such a, such a dumb, sad, uh, expression. And really, it, it's just... It's been that the whole time. I boycotted it, but I just learned now that I did. Oh, yeah. That's how effective the boycott was, huh? Okay. Yeah, I forgot about the scanner. Thank you. Someone in chat was like, Left 4 Dead 2 boycott? There was a Left 4 Dead 2 boycott? I think most recently, like, all the... All the angry boys about Last of Us Part 2, it's like, yeah, you didn't actually do anything, though. Actually, you don't matter. That's kind of, uh, unfortunately, that's that's the, the real the real crux of it, is that, damn it, the gamers like to think they're, they're at the center of everything, the core gamers, and they're kind of not. They're really kind of not. For maybe for an indie game, where they have to, they have to like, talk directly to a, a player base of maybe, like, 10,000, then maybe, but for mass market AAA stuff, which... 
ironically, is, is where a lot of the gamers focus a lot of their energy, a lot of their anger. Nah, sorry, Anat. It, it was it was contextual. I'm not I'm not going out of my way to do it. Oh, the Mass Effect Three. Yeah, people were mad about that. I patched it. All right, hold on. You believe The Last of Us Two sold more because more people were talking about it? Maybe. I don't think. I think a lot of the noise that that the gamers like to make is really for themselves. Damn it, the BTs are still here. Um, I don't think a lot of that reaches, um, I don't think a lot of that reaches broader audiences. It was interesting though, I did see attempts with uh, The Last of Us campaign to try and reach broader audiences, namely like people blasting tweets at randos on Twitter, people jumping into Twitch chats and spamming spoilers, like there was more of an organized campaign that time to try and to try and damage the game's market presence and market value, um, but it also appeared to not work. So, this the kind of scary thing is though is that the uh, the attempts are getting a little a little more, uh, what's the word? Getting a little more um, nuanced, a little more mature. Oh, Doom Eternal anti cheat? Yeah, I mean. I don't know that I would put controversy in the realm of like one Reddit thread that gets some gets gets some angry comments. Oh, hey, uh, got to go to work, pickle. Well, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for thanks for your extreme generosity. I really appreciate that. The shoes wear out. They do. Yes, there's a shoe meter down there. Shoes wear out variably depending on the terrain you're going over. I have not played Rain World yet, Eli. That game looks fascinating, but... Shit. Shit. Somebody... Somebody threw out their underwear? Oh, this is probably where somebody got grabbed by a BT, huh? Oh, shit. Fuck. I will say the, the baby noise is not coming out of the controller. It is a bit different. That does give it a different texture. Oh, the reason anti-cheat was so looked down upon was because it was a root kit. I know, I'm aware. Um, I don't know. I think, not saying this is you or not, but a lot of people who throw that term around don't know what root kits are. And, like, there's there's really no other way to do anti-cheat. There really isn't. Um, so, I don't, I'm not sure exactly what the, what the complaint there is. That's every anti-cheat ever. So, they added anti-cheat. That's it. That's what people got mad about. And it, it was like it was like a red, Reddit thread written by somebody who had just done their A-plus training on... Or I think it was like, no, I'm, I'm being a little dismissive. Um, but I do think... Uh, You're clear of BG territory. The Ooh. To blame for all of this. The gazers I do think a lot, of, a lot of Reddit outrage is generated by one pretty well-written post. Same with Valorant's anti-cheat, it's a rootkit. Yes, again, that's what anti-cheat is. That's how anti-cheat works. There are ways to anti-cheat without making it so invasive. Punkbuster comes to mind. Yeah, but also Punkbuster gets circumvented. So, yeah, people are trying to find more secure ways of installing anti-cheat. Um, I feel like... I don't know. I feel like uh, it's, it's a reasonable thing to do in a way that makes sense. And, uh, and people got really alarmist about it, but... You know, the gamers are upset. So, it's it's funny you bring that up, Steven. Stadia is actually the ultimate anti-cheat. Um, when you can't control the source code at all. And all the processing is done somewhere else. I heard Valorant's anti-cheat messes with your mouse input and feeling. Ugh, maybe? That's theoretically possible, but... I, I'd also chalk that up on, like, the wood. It is also a kind of a, hey, I heard that. I heard a lot of stuff thrown around about uh, Doom's implementation of anti-cheat, too, that... Like, everyone ascribed it to anti-cheat when it was really just some some performance patching they did. I was serious? Yeah, me too. Uh, 
I think that's that's a reason. And like Google Now and basically any streaming service, it's a uh, it's pretty superior on the developer publisher. Uh, platform holder side of things. There's a lot of things you don't have to worry about if everyone's just streaming your game. Like deploying patches, anti-cheat, um, hacking, cheating. All these things disappear immediately. And you also get to track every last thing a player does. Uh, which is the thing that I'm, I'm a little creeped out about. Swagger Dragon? Thanks for gifting a couple of subs. Except they're playing on Stadia Park, yeah. They had their con conference today, right? They actually have some exclusives now? That's something, you know? Too close. So yeah, I don't know, I don't, I don't want to be like, dismissive of, uh, of, of concerns about computer safety and computer privacy. I think that stuff's important to talk about and important to know. It just seems to me suspect when Principles that are have been going around for a long time suddenly get exploded. Like suddenly everyone's aware of uh, of OS of the way operating systems handle access. Suddenly everyone's an expert on it, and that wasn't the case before. You know, a few Reddit threads bubble to the top. Cheaters will always be ahead of anti-cheat because it's more or less impossible to prevent a code you've never seen before. The only effective, ineffective, or the only effective anti-cheat is being quick to respond. Having something so invasive and abusable isn't okay for the average gamer who downloads anything they think is neat off the internet. So how is it? In, how is it abusable? Because it hasn't been abused before. There's actually zero circumstance of de novo or a system level anti-cheat being a, a security flaw or a, a security exploit. Um, as far as I know. Uh, it could have happened, but to me, it's it's concern based on uh, it's concern that arose well after the fact, after all these things were industry standard, and arose with like no real evidence that it's the issue. Again. I think it's good. I think it's good to be um, skeptical and aware. Beginning scan. Scanning bridges ID. Verifying ID. Clear. Uh, All weapons. Makes me hit that. Oh no! Am I old? Feel game stuff used to happening and being talked to about in detail. I'm like, that's not time to play a game. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Welcome to capital. The thing that, like, when it comes to security shouldn't people be hand wringing a lot more about free to play games and how it's harvesting kids user data no okay that's fine then you know you do your thing i don't know i just i feel like there are so many more pressing and concerning issues in gaming than worrying about your system integrity being compromised because of an anti-cheat um i i do get that like and, and I, on that note, I do appreciate the hubbub about loot boxes, although I suspect it's much more for people being like, I hate loot boxes, and less actual motivation to protect the kids. Um, can you play this with an Xbox controller? Yes, you can. It's actually weird to see the game with Xbox prompts, um, but they are there. Oh, hey, McClippy. Thank you for gifting five more subs. Try playing with a mouse and keyboard. No, I haven't. I don't think I want to. Um, some people have asked about WAS control. I don't know, did, do any PC gamers out there not have a controller? It's possible. I just can't imagine it. Wasn't Bethesda's anti-piracy issues the reason why Doom Eternal got pirated on its first week? Oh, I, I didn't follow that. That's possible, though. Most games don't last more than a week without being cracked. Uh, same people who shit on Denuvo will look for the best free VPN service thing, thinking they're cheating the system. Eh, you're giving your data to someone else. I don't know. Yeah, they could be the same people. Come on, Sam, we're almost there, buddy! Oh, we're almost there! Come on! Ooh, right there! There it is. Good work, Sam. I see you brought in some lost cargo. Feel free to submit it here for processing. If you come across any more while out on a run and- Oh, they forgot to put DRM in Doom and it got shared on torrent sites. Uh -huh. Okay. It'll be safe and secure until another porter comes along to finish the job. 
even if it has to pass through a dozen more. They released the game with DRM free EXE. That's all. I didn't know that Anthrax. You did your part. You know, hopefully it didn't impact sales too much. I do like that game a lot. And and for real though, like the thing that bums me out is they've tried to do the right thing with Eternal at every step. Under Bethesda, which everyone wants to hate now for some reason. Uh Fallout 76, I guess, but that earned them no credit, man. Earned them no credit. They made a long single player game that was real gamery, like it's real hard, you gotta hit all the buttons. Free multiplayer, free content updates. Um not a not an ounce of DLC in the game. And they got no credit. None. When it came to like lighting them on fire because de nouveau or whatever. That bums me out. To me, that's like, gosh, come on, guys. You gotta like give credit where credit's due if you want the system to work and not only scream at the things you don't like. Oh. That bummed me out. I'm like, come on, guys, can't we just like give them the benefit of the doubt for trying to do the right thing here? And even then, Marty Stratton had to like take time out of his day to write a four page thing about, okay, all right, guys, sorry, like, we'll. Meh. Bums me out. I'm gonna get all these likes, though. The publishers certainly were there. That, we like to think that everything we like comes from the developers and everything we don't like comes from the publishers, but I don't know that that's necessarily the way it works. Oh, hey, it's Nick. I know you. I liked your tower. I really appreciate you going the extra mile. Look at all this stuff I picked up. Yeah. Ooh. Good work, Sam. I forgot about connection levels. Seems your connection level is increasing. Right. As your connection level increases, larger quantities of resources will be made available to you at our facilities. Once a company's on the shit list for gamers, they tend to stay there. It could probably end world hunger and some people giving them shit for Anthem. Yeah, people just love the dunk. People love the dunk. And that that's just something that's not going to change, unfortunately. It, I, I was a little disheartened to see people, like, guffawing at, like, Deadly Premonition 2's frame rate. I'm like, yeah, the frame rate's bad. But, like, do you have to point and laugh with such joy? I don't know. That, that's the vibe I got. And maybe that's me. That's probably me assuming too much. Um, ooh. Okay. That's right. You get lore. You get lore for delivering stuff. I can't remember what miscellaneous levels get you. Huh. Oh, receive more likes. Great. Actually, that, that is helpful. I think... I can't remember what getting likes slots into. Hey, I got something. Oh, also, there was a particular part of that diagram that never leveled up. I think it was, like, delivery time. I don't understand that stat at all. I think it was broken. She thick, you're off? Alright. Thanks for hanging out. Thank you for uh, thank you for joining the stream. Hopefully you have a good day. All right. Until next time. People need to get over this anti-corporation, anti-company sentiment and the rule of hate and scream first without any real evaluation of content or product or work put in. Yeah. Um, I could do with a, a more like just more general acknowledgement and appreciation, but I can't. You know, that's not something you can command people to do, you know? Uh, just this does look really nice. This game's really pretty. It's, uh, it's... It's about the upscale I expected for PC, which is awesome. Yeah, Ian, thank you. Dunks are fun, but let people have fun. Uh, Deadly Premonition 2 is probably one of the most intriguing releases out there, and it's done by a relatively small studio. I think that's the thing, um, is, is also understanding, like, team size. Everyone expects everything to be polished and perfect, because that's largely what it is. Uh, but, um... I wonder if it's still going to be an ad for Norman Reedus's ride. Do your peeps and poops, Norman. It is, alright. Do I get a poo bomb? No, that doesn't happen yet. Okay, never mind. Kind of reminds me of the UI Seven remake. Yeah, it's that kind of glowing blue. Huh. Oh. It's 
where I can put on my glasses, I think. Did that kill me in the game? Yeah. Kojima is not shy. Gotta wear a Make Bridges Great Again hat, right? Can't believe that... Wait, no, hold on. Pur purple looks stupid. That looks alright. Being mistrustful of companies is fine. Yeah, but when it becomes like... When it becomes a philosophy, that's I guess when it gets a little weird. Again, skepticism I think is 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 good and well warranted, but when it, when everything like starts to warp to fit the narrative of that, that's when I think it gets a little weird for me. And certainly there's a lot of that. There are uh, entire YouTube channels built on creating and reinforcing the narrative that uh, companies are bad and that you're being taken advantage of and you got to fight back and this is unacceptable and you know all that. One to order Chinese food, two to cook for myself. I'm always going to tell you to cook for yourself. Unless it's a special occasion. Alright. Do you get anything special unless you're playing Metal Gear Solid 5 or Ground Zeroes? I don't think so. It's not a Konami game. And those were Konami games. Alright. Time for some... Whew, time for some big lore. Don't worry though. I'll read it to you. Um, but yeah, you get, you get these big ass emails from... Uh, the roster of the game which you don't even know yet but this is where all of the lore of this game resides or most of it i would say jim sterling is the only youtuber who does that well i agree actually i really like his content i he does often fan the flames but he does it he gives credit where credit's due he's one of the few who does that and i appreciate that a lot <clears throat> this is from hartman uh egyptian mummies pyramids etc at what point can it be said that man truly understood what it meant to die? It would seem reasonable to suggest that it was when he began to bury his dead, a practice which originated with the Neanderthals. Neanderthal, it's not Thal, right? That's the happy way to say it. Or the, sorry, the smart way to say it. Like for Ed. Oi. Encyclopedia. Uh, in, in a way, one might say that our growing understanding of death drove our development as a species our fear of it, our attempts to conquer it. Why? It could be argued that our entire history revolves around these obsessions. Take the Great Pyramids of Egypt or the tombs of the ancient emperors in China. The more powerful the person, the bigger and grander their final resting place. Or, to posit a more radical theory, could the very concepts of power and society themselves have emerged solely to facilitate the creation of such monuments, such challenges to the finality of death? Either way, and leaving behind something that they hoped might endure through the ages, the builders of these edifices believed that they too might live on forever. The mummies of the Egyptians are another means by which man sought to fulfill this desire to escape the finality of death. Uh, they were create. let's see here. They were created that the spiritual self, the Ka, that's going to be more important later, would have a physical vessel, or Ha, to which it could return. Um... A lot of a lot of the real core uh, rules of the world revolve around separating your spirit from your body. Something you've actually already seen. Um, the the swimming through water to get back to Sam's body kind of thing. The Soku Shinbutsu or mummified monks of Buddhism are similar in this respect. However, the monks in question aimed to transition straight from life to Buddhahood. In other words, to forego death altogether. But now that the beach has brought us into direct contact with the world beyond. Our relationship with death must ah, our relationship with death must further evolve. The next stage in our understanding is upon us. This was all written in voice to text. Oh, really? Is that sort of the lore of the game? I never remember that that getting spelled out, but that makes sense. The ancient Egyptians had an entire sector of their economy based around death and burial. There were whole businesses about preparing your tomb for your death. Weird. Not a whole lot's changed, huh? When are you going to narrate an audiobook so I can hear more of your voice? Well, I already I already read the Batman Forever book. Pretty soon I'm going to be starting the cyberpunk book that's really schlocky and cheesy, but I'm excited for that. <clears throat> Another letter, letter from Hartman, The Corals of the Seam. Life began in the oceans, and as it evolved, it graduated to the land. At least this is what we believed until recently. To creatures of the sea, the land is, harsh, is a harsh and unforgiving place. Given this, what could possibly have compelled these organisms to make such a drastic transition? Consider that fossils of the first fish to or consider that fossils of the first fish to adapt themselves to land have been found in regions with unusually large tidal range. Could it be that these creatures developed legs in order to more swiftly return to the safety of the sea when stranded? 
Could their evolutionarily le nah. could their evolutionary leap have been triggered by this traumatic experience? If so, could similar circumstances have shaped the evolution of the coral-like organisms that inhabit the seam and driven themselves to develop an ability to live between life and death, between time and timelessness? Coral is, after all, older than any organism of the land, and hardly and hardly enough to have weathered the mass extinction of 540 million years ago. And hardy enough, excuse me. Hardy enough to have weathered the mass extinction of 450 million. 540 million years ago, good lord. Uh, and it is a life form upon which many other organisms rely for survival. Bearing all this in mind, one could argue that the ability to survive in the seam is indicative of a profound evolutionary leap. Hmm. Hmm. And then Fragile writing about cryptobites. Boy, she loves these things. We call these bugs cryptobiotes. They were, rec they were recorded in reference books and databases back before the Death Stranding. But nobody ever really thought to give them proper classification, so cryptobite cryptobiotes, they stayed. Oh, I always thought it's cryptobites. It's cryptobiotes. Never mind. They're named for the process of cryptobiosis, which means hidden life. When environmental conditions get too harsh or resources too scarce, cryptobiotes can shut down their metabolic processes and enter an almost death-like state in order to survive. Tardigrades and sleeping chironomids are capable of this too, but cryptobiotes are on a whole other level. They can survive anything and anywhere, even on the beach or in the seam, and they aren't capable of prolonging their wait, and they aren't capable of prolonging only their own lives. Humans who eat them acquire a limited resistance to time fall, too. You won't find them lying around just anywhere, though. You need to know where to look. Not many people even knew they existed until recently, so next to no research has been done. But now that their beneficial properties have been recognized, I'm willing to bet they'll play an important role in helping us understand the beach, the Death Stranding, and everything else. Uh, the DLSS, DLSS is really good. I am super, super enjoying this game so far. I think it looks great. Yeah, tardigrades are very cool. If you ever if you ever feel like this world doesn't have any any spice or interest in it, read about tardigrades for a little bit. Um so one of my, one of my interpretations of this uh talking about like the the land of the dead or the reality of the dead and how that can parallel the water and the land. How those are two completely different biomes and people who are meant to live in one die in the other. Um, I think, uh, that that's his sort of insinuation that our movement to an online presence and an online reality, I think the parallel is there that online and internet is the realm of death. That is the realm where connected human beings are not meant to live. And if we try to live there, it's going to either change us or destroy our current way of living. I don't think that that's like him passing judgment on it i think it's just him presenting ideas you know i miss games reading you lore like the mass effect 3 codex yeah it would be nice to queue up some of these emails i guess and have the voice actors read them to you while you're tromping through the wilderness that'd be a really good way to get the lore i don't know why they don't do it that way um i don't know maybe there's lore reasons that uh you can't get the emails and audio logs you have to just sit here and read them yeah, there's a there's a whole lot of downtime when you're just trip tromping through the through the wilds. You play Ghost of Tsushima? Yeah, I am. Yep. This Friday. What was the Death Stranding? Um, it was a, a mass extinction event that happened in in the backstory of this world. Um, they're they're vague about it because it's hard to tell what it was. Um, because it did destroy a lot of the world and kill a lot of people. So, people talk about the Death Stranding... Oh wait, hold on, let me pick up another delivery. People talk about the Death Stranding without a lot of specificity because they don't know. Um, it's kind of interesting because as much as you're confused playing this game, the people in the world are confused too because they don't know what's going on either. So that, uh, that aspect of like... Of uh... There's, there's an element of unity there between you as the player not knowing what the hell's going on and the characters being like, we don't know either. Yeah, third impact, basically, yeah. This game has some Evangelion vibes uh, because it does deal with, like, religion, the end of all things, extinction, stuff like that. Uh, Crushy, thanks for the sub, by the way. 
What percentage of humanity did the Death Stranding kill and how many people are left? Doesn't seem like too many. Um, I don't remember off the top of my head, but yeah, it's, it's not many. <laughs> it was like... It w it's assumed, I think, that... It, I, I guess, no, I should be specific. It is my interpretation that everyone moving into an online society and dropping their human connections weakened the barrier between the realm of the living and the realm of the dead. Once people's humanity and life and love started to disappear, then it's like our environment lost whatever metaphysical boundary that it had. And then death started to bleed over, and then boom, uh, a, a death stranding happened. Weapons restrictions lifted. Where, uh, like, theoretically the barrier between the world of the living and the world of the dead eroded to the point where uh, God, I have to go through BTs again. Maybe I'll just go around the long way. I wrote it to the point where the, uh, the, the, the dimension of dead just crossed over and started messing, messing with it. There are cities with large populations, but in the wilderness, it's singles of couples alone in bunkers. Yeah, there's supposed to be people in Central Knot, but you don't go into the city and you don't interact with them. Um, I mean, because Sam is just not that kind of character, he wouldn't, um, I think is, is the justification. But also, it's nice to not have to render a whole city you don't need to. Death Stranding is, is humanity post-Cthulhu waking up. That's that's a way to think about it. That there there is a there are unifying forces to this world that we've never seen or understood. And that, uh... God damn it. I just got back from Central Knot. Yes, uh, Brandon. That is, that is one of the plot points of the game, although... Try not to spell it out too much, but yeah. In the... Oops! <laughs> oh, a little trip. Oh god, now I get to deal with a baby crying. I'm trying to remember how to... Soothe BB. Can I do that yet? Maybe I can't do that yet. I can't put on a hat, though. Bang. Oh, there it is. Left bumper, down... X. Jesus. Also, there's no six axis now, so. Or dual sense or whatever the heck. Oh, L is L back and forth. Anyone, real talk, anyone actually think about an actual Thanos scenario? Most people don't know it's happening. You just kind of lost people in the rest of your life. Is, but what happened? Yeah. It's, uh... I feel like I feel like at least there were scenes in, um... You know, Endgame, and then also, uh, Far From Home. That tried to at least touch on the fact that that would leave a psychological scar that runs pretty deep. I mean, I, I think that's gonna be true of quarantine and COVID. Also, I'm gonna throw this out there. I remember at some point in this game, you are like it tells you that your relationship with BB levels up, but it like only does it once, and it never ends up meaning anything that I could tell. I don't know. Uh, John's life. Thanks for the resub and the kind words. Nick Easton dropped some shit. I shouldn't be picking up all this stuff or not. I should just pick this up and return it. Or should I? Ugh. Let me toss one up for Russian brother. Oh, come on. We can we can like it, I promise. Come on. Oh hey! There was a there was an echo. Today's a good day. Uh, 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 this one's uh. for you. There you go. Alright, let me take all this shit back, because I'm right here. How did the game end for you? Well I can't I'm not gonna spoil that. Does leveling up actually affect gameplay difficulty or hardness? The game gets more complicated as you go on. Um, the more you interact with BB, the higher it goes. When resting, you can whistle and eventually play the harmonica for him. That never happened to me. And I, I would like interact with BB a lot. 
I uh, I would like always I always interact with him in the safe room. Whenever he was upset, I would like wiggle him around. I never even found a harmonica. Maybe um, I don't know. Maybe that's like side or post game content I never got to. I'm excited to see that stuff. I had to play through it pretty pretty directly. The same level up as his Porter Grade goes. Yeah, he does. Yeah, sorry, Ross Arena, you. I was kind of shocked at how Kojima kind of predicted the outbreak and the problems that came with regarding human relationships. Well, I think I think we have yet to really see the depth of his his future vision. I think I think Kojima was imagining a world that was like 200 years into the internet. Uh, I think that's largely what this is a parable for. I think seeing it as a as a I think certainly it's applicable to uh, to COVID and isolationism, but. Um, I don't know that that's uh, what he was going for. Kind of like how it, when Metal Gear Solid 2 came out, the internet was just starting, and the dynamics that, that the end of that game rant about didn't really hit in for another 15 years. I have a theory this game takes place in 2048. Yeah, I guess it could. The tech seems a little, a little advanced for 2048, though. But, it's, you know, why not? Apparently, the discoverer of the chiral dimension uh, advanced technology quickly. So, for all I know, it could be. I wanted Wipeout to be in 2048. Yeah. Yeah. The now the division is pretty dead on with what what COVID is. Thanks for the delivery. Gotta say, I really appreciate you going the extra mile. Yeah, because they were your boxes, dude. That's what. Hey, team effort, you know. Bang. Oh yeah, these these are the, like the little goodies you get. As you can put up holograms of people. New interview data though. We'll wait to read that for a while. But yeah, when you level up your connections, then you get more resources that you can use to help build structures in the world. So it's kind of a cool. It actually is a cool functioning interconnected gameplay system. That uh, I didn't see a whole lot of adequate credit really get get thrown into, but. Movie Shutters from 2008 is very similar in some themes. Huh. I don't think I saw that one. I'm curious now. I'll have to check that out. Why is it human. Is this sort of robot ones? Oh, human cu human couriers? Gotcha, Pistastic. Uh, they do actually have robot couriers. They're just not very good. Um, yeah, there, there are like some Metal Gear Solid 4 looking uh, walker bots that. Uh, do you have to build holograms, or do you place them like signs? Place marker, check on BB, create sign. I think you have to build the holograms. They take resources. And I think you need like a second le- You need like a level 2 building kit or something? Ugh, I can't remember. Alright, yeah, let's go over the rocks this time. Avoid the BTs. I think holograms are tied to structures. I think so too. It's a very, very American looking landscape, Kappa. Yeah, I mean, in the lore of the game, America's been jumbled up pretty hard. <laughs> this game seems to fall into the same category as Detroit Become Human. I love the underlying systems involved in the game. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but the story is both so... The story in both is so ham-fisted. It would be interesting to see the systems being used in different stories. Cranberg, all right. Uh, ham... Calling calling uh, Death Stranding ham-fisted is... I wouldn't use that word. Um, it's It comes on real strong at the beginning. Um, and it's very off-putting, I'll say. Like, I'll, I'll admit all those things, but I think the story is actually pretty, pretty obscure, pretty opaque. There's a good baby. Shoes are running low. Yeah, I'll swap them out when they break. Uh, 
Oh, I think America's one of the last bastions that I remember reading that Japan was completely completely wiped out by a void out. Hmm. I would say, but for the, the shape of the country, it would be interesting if, like, well, you can't really see it here, but the bridge's logo. It would be pretty cool if, like, it was in America, but people that lived there thought they were in America, just for whatever reason. Maybe because of, like, uh, American exceptionalism or something. The last nation on Earth has to be America, but yeah, it's actually in Greenland or something like that. Yep! And we're moving now. You can really cruise when you're not not holding anything. Capital not city, god! None of this shit is going anywhere that I need it to. Get it all on the way back next time I come to Capital. Yeah, this game in, in over 60 FPS is real nice. For me, at least, that's worth price of admission. But. Neither event, yeah, not Cran Burglar. I, I was being a little literal, but I, I get what you mean. Namely, that the stories are, are kind of putting. Detroit is very ham fisted. I don't agree with that. Also, I just like that phrase. Just imagine using a ham fist. Yeah, Boomer, this is this is a literal walking simulator. Uh... Look at all this stuff. Jeez. Hey! hey what? <laughs> yeah, somebody said something. That's crazy. Today's a good day. Thanks for the help. <laughs> yeah, okay, I can just cross right over. Bust a nut city. <laughs> I do like how it auto likes everything you use. Yeah, I wish my fist was a ham. I'm getting hungry. I gotta take a I gotta take a lunch break soon. Oh, why me, why not? Thank you for the prime. Come on again. Good job, Nick. Lunch this late. Yeah, I'm, I try to push my, like, meal times back. I try to, like, push it back by 30 minutes or an hour or something like that so I can get to the end of the day without being really hungry or using up all my calories. It works, you know? Just momentary distraction tactics. I know that, like, your body works in aggregate, so... Technically, if I ate 1,500 calories in one meal at the beginning of the day and ate nothing else, it should be the same as eating it all spread out or delayed over the day. But, uh, this, this is a better mental management technique for me, so. Old habit, thanks for gifting a sub. What's a BT? Ah, a beached thing. That's actually what it's called. And it actually makes sense, given what they are and the understanding of them in this, in this game world, really. An old habit, thank you for the sub. Gifting and subbing, man's got it all. How many calories are you on this week? 1,500. I think it's going to be 1,500 going forward, I'm pretty sure. Where are you going? Yeah. Okay, Way Station West, I can take that. I think there were some deliveries I could pick up in, uh... Is this Way Station West? Anyone? It is, well that's easy. David Cage is up there with Peter Molyneux when it comes to pretension. French white dude attempted to tell a story about systemic oppression. Felt so on the nose. You could probably smell the baguette and cheese. Um, 
Yeah, I don't know. That that feels a little a little harsh, but I agree. Today's a good day. I think. Thanks for the help. Lately, I've been thinking a lot about the exchange between subtlety in storytelling and and mass market storytelling. Come on. I think a lot of the. I think a lot of people will call out storytelling in games as bad when it's just trying to be popular. There's not a lot of room for being being subtle about your point if you're trying to make a game or a story for everyone. Um, so I wouldn't read that as, as like cultural ignorance as much as trying to make pop, enter pop entertainment. Like making pop entertainment with a message is not easy. You typically got to trick people. Press X to end racism. Yeah, we all want it to be that easy, right? Subtlety is the cost of accessibility. Man, Ark Revenant, well said. Very succinct. Somebody put that letter there for you. Yeah, you can see a name on it. Metal Johan Solid did this one. Which is much better place than mine, so... Let me drop some links. A good day. Got a little what? Thanks for the help. Yeah, there are actually players in the game now. It's starting to seed other other people's uh, items. So that's that's nice. I I it's almost like uh, it does have that sort of Demon Souls vibe where someone left something for you that was helpful. Any tips for first time players? Hmm. I guess, I guess, don't, don't judge what the experience is, uh, but also be willing to walk away from it if you're not, if you're not enjoying it. I guess that's weird. I guess have an open mind, but don't judge yourself too harshly for not liking it if you don't like it. Also, the main focus of a game is gameplay, so story really isn't that important in video games unless it's primarily narrative focus. I tend to agree, Nutbuster, which is the most... Like the most Twitch thing I think I've said in a long time. Uh, wait, wasn't there another package I was going to pick up? Wait, hold on. There was another one. I didn't get it. Let me go get it. Get to chapter three. Yeah, I'm I'm doing optional deliveries right now for no reason. Yeah, there it is. Why did I not pick that up? That's 40, 40 likes, baby! Weapons restrictions lifted. No Halo 3 MPC later? Eh. I don't have I don't have a fondness for the Halo series that other people do. There we go. That's better. Oh, take Disco Elysium, phenomenal story, but I don't see a lot of people making it past the first thirty minutes of the game. Yeah, um, I'm probably included in that, but I am gonna go back to it. I promise. Do your shoes just snap off at some point? They explode off your feet, right? I want them to. Uh, thank you for gifting five anonymous subs, whoever did that. Super kind of you. Anonymously, no less. Alright. Now I can do this. Get my damn likes! Think it's the nostalgia? Yeah, that's fine. Nothing wrong with that. I playing Halo 2 last night, and that's when I started to understand so the hype of the series. Gotta say, you truly are incredible. It's a good game. Especially, like, the multiplayer and the Forge stuff. I think it was, like, for a lot of people, that was, like, Minecraft before Minecraft. Alright, then. Thanks for everything. Oh, that's right. I would usually, like, I would usually throw my almost busted shoes into, like, shared storage. Looks like some cargo has been transported to its destination on your behalf. You can access the share locker to collect it. What the fuck? Oh! These are things that were supposed to go somewhere else, but then people left them. Yeah, these are all going to Capital Not! Oi. I mean, that's a lot of likes, but... Oh my gosh, these are all going to Capital Not. If I could, like, take these... Jesus Christ. Sherlock Lost Cargo 2. Wait. 
This one's coming here. Why didn't you... Somebody didn't deliver it? They put it in lost cargo? Alright, sure. I mean, the, the UI is not easy to figure out. Um, so I... Uh, oh, wait, that's me. Yeah. Come back with the truck. Yeah, good call. Okay, I'll just move it over here. Sure, thanks for the likes. Thanks for the likes, Pops. They don't affect your star rating. Um, you mean the likes? I guess I'm mostly doing it for the bridge link. Yeah, delivery time. Delivery time, I didn't level up once. I think I got it to like two, but I never did any missions that impacted delivery time. It's weird. I don't, that's one mechanic that I, fu I fully never understood. All right, that's what we need. I can't remember what PCCs can make, but I don't think I need them right now. Only the extra optional deliveries have most of the timed ones. Ah, that's why I didn't do a lot of the side stuff. Okay, I'm actually gonna take a quick break. I gotta eat something and use the restroom. So I'll be back in a bit. I wanna say like 10 to 15 minutes. Shouldn't take too long to, to figure out what to eat. See you guys soon. And then more hot deliveries. Oh yeah. Okay, we're back. Oh, it's never been more back than this. Some of my controller. Oh. There we are. That's it's weird seeing this game with like PC prompts and stuff. Oh, uh, look at that mouse. <laughs> I'm so used to seeing this as a as a PlayStation game and it feels wrong. I think I still have a, a ladder, uh, a two ladders and a climbing package. Pretty good set to start with. Head west, young man. Head west. Hello. 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 Yeah, uh, I missed out on a Bruce raid too, so don't feel bad. But that's okay. Gooses are more than welcome here. I think at some point they they really try to goad you into crossing over the river. I think there's a like maybe there's BTs on this side of the bank. I can't remember. We'll find out. Zip. Zip. Can you pick up old ladders? Yes, you can. As long as you're the one who placed them, I think. I think before I just crossed over and used the other bank, so we'll mix it up. Hey, being, buying games twice, but I really want to play this game on PC. Am I a mindless consumer? No. Absolutely not. Also, where would our economy be if you couldn't sell things multiple times? Like, unironically, I know that a, a lot of... Uh, restrictions lifted. Sometimes a lot of the value of a movie or a game is not in in your like monetary return as soon as you release it, but it's in its value to be released, licensed, and uh, used after the fact. So, nah. If you want to buy something twice? Do it. It's like uh, it's like buying enhanced graphics. What's more gamer than that? Surprised how little Go Bruce's gooses poop. I guess you're right, gooses do just shit everywhere. Like it's going out of style sometimes. Oh, wait, what? Why'd that happen? I don't, oh, there's mules, okay. I was like, I don't like it when Sam gets a, uh... I don't like it when he gets an adrenaline spike before I know what's going on. When are my shoes gonna fall off? Do shoes break off your body or are they just zero percent? Um, I mean, that meter is all the way empty. Hmm. 99% damaged. Alright, fine. I'll put on stupid shoes. Oh, wait. About Oblivion five times, yeah? Canadian can confirm Goose's shit a lot. Was that? Oh, that's that's. Oh, that's right. The spikes scan you. Ah, and then you get pinged. Yep. Heads up, Sam. Forgot about that. Your cargo's been pinged. Move. Yeah. Now, the yellow. The yellow eyes. posts. Get to your destination ASAP if you don't want to get caught. I'll mark you. This is a pretty generous way to, to like tutorialize you about AI enemies. I think. Oh, 
Look at these idiots. Yeah, it's geeses, not geese. Breeze's geeses. That's right, you can also do like the counter scan. I forgot about that. I also like how the only thing that pings on them is their gear. It's not them, it's people. It's their equipment. Do we have a path they can follow? I don't think so. I think it just pings where they thought you were. And then they go and investigate that area. What's up, swell guy? How you doing? Well, hold on. Shit. I don't think I scanned fast enough. Nope, they got me. So the thing is, I think when... Yeah, when they don't know where you are, then they'll do the ping that you can do. Find you again. So you have to use that time, the delay between them going to where you were to get far enough away or break line of sight or something. If you jump off a cliff, they will follow you. Are you telling me to jump off a cliff right now? That's okay, we got the video game mandated high grass. Oh! Speaking of falling off cliffs. Does it have difficulty levels? It does. I chose very hard. But I don't know how this game can scale at difficulty. Aside from maybe making you fall a little more, which doesn't sound like a fun way to enhance difficulty in this game. Uh, maybe like making vision cones and, and stealth requirements a little more restrictive for evading BTs. Like there's a number of ways they could twiddle the knobs to make the game harder, but I, I think those would just make the game more annoying. So I don't know. I'm curious to see. I am playing on very hard, so I'm curious to see how this will this will this will go in the long run. God damn it. Packages degrade faster in timefall? Could be. But honestly, like, most of my packages degraded completely in timefall anyway. It's weird. There's like there's the container that degrades, and then there's the article itself. So what would typically happen is I would move through Timefall slowly enough that all my sh all my can- What? Oh. That was a really weird camera cut. Holy crap. Okay, yeah, BT's chased the mules away. Shit. Hold on a second. I just got a little drip on my shirt, and this is a white shirt, so... <laughs> I'll be right back, sorry. I gotta scrub this out in the sink like a monster. Okay, good news. Shirt has been saved. Like, there was, there was a little bit of soy sauce in this prep, which is why I was terrified of it getting on my shirt. Yeah, some of the clips are quiet. I, uh, I've tried to catch all the ones. I've gotten better at balancing audio since I started making those clips. I think I have, can have a nice refreshing swig of G Fuel energy drink. TM. Fight clips are better than the loud clips. Yeah, there's some in there, like it's so weird. There are some that are overblown a little bit, either due to like VHS conversion or that's just how it was intended to sound. Um, what am I eating? Uh, so yeah, volume leveling of those clips has been weird, but I'm getting better at it. Um, I am eating a weird mixture of green beans, sauteed mushrooms, and scallops. Uh, because on the diet I am on, green beans and mushrooms do basically don't count. Um, and I, I basically pan sauteed them. And, uh, scallops are a, what is known as a power fuel, which is to say like a low carb protein. So, and the scallops I roasted with a little bit of cooking spray. So yeah, corn dog, uh, a lot of, a lot of the, a lot of the food I make nowadays is like combinations of pre-prepared vegetables. Tossed in with like a protein or or something. Maybe just a bowl of vegetables. I've been doing a lot of that lately. Of just uh, roasting vegetables and 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 mass, like at the beginning of the week. And then just having them in little Tupperware tubs in my fridge. So I can just scoop out some like um, some broccoli or some carrots or something. 
have that be a snack. Something to just fill my stomach with. <laughs> Roasted them with insults. Piece of shit scallops. Central not. What are you doing out here? It's not up. Up is like is like the information pulse in so many games. All right, I'm gonna pick these up here. Do you feel better eating healthy? Yes, I do. Um, my stomach is feels just generally a lot more a lot healthier. Then again, um, before I would have like large large cold brews prepared by restaurants, which I don't know what it is. The cold brew I make at home doesn't tear my stomach stomach open nearly as bad as cold brew that I get from either Starbucks or restaurants or something. Shit. But yeah, veggies are OP. Um, I'm spending less money, for sure. I'm generating less trash. Like, um, having vegetables as my main dietary staple uh, is cheap. Uh, it's it's pretty fast. I'm getting better at roasting them. They're not. They're never gonna taste as good as a Dorito, but that's just how. That's the the nightmare I live in. Cold brew is a scam. It's overpriced. Um, <clears throat> it's not hard to make, but I don't know that I call it a scam. Uh, but now that I started making it myself, you know, it's it's just a lot, a lot less acidic, and I probably have it in smaller portions. But uh, it's actually it's been pretty great. Um, my stomach feels good. I am. I can tell when I'm working out that I'm a lot lower energy. That's just part of being on a, at a calorie deficit, I think. I used to eat out a lot. I can tell you food safety is a joke and I got sick a lot. Ah. Yeah. I... Shit. Oh, okay. I think I, uh... It's, it's been a good process, really, of just basically cooking most, if not all, of the food that I make. Is cold brew exactly what it sounds like? Cold coffee? Not necessarily, because iced coffee is cold as well. Uh, cold brew is... I mean, it is exactly what it sounds like. It is cold brewed coffee. Um, a lot of the times, coffee is, is drip brewed, which is to say it's put in a filter and then hot water is poured on it. Whoa, that was weird. To sort of, uh, to brew it, basically. Cold brew, instead, you put coffee grounds in water and let it sit for like 24 hours. So it brews cold. Um, as I think it's less acidic, has a rounder flavor. Kind of a softer flavor, which pairs really well with more, I would say, more like coffee type, uh, or sorry, chocolate type coffees. Right now, I'm using I'm using a, a French roast in this batch of cold brew that I've been working on, and it's not the best. Before that, I had a really sort of earthy and chocolatey roast from a local cafe that was sublime. I need to get that again. I just I'm using this because it was in the cabinet, and uh, I don't know I'm still pretty new at, at making cold brew and making my own coffee and stuff like that, so I'm experimenting. Some coffee shops cheat. They brew coffee hot and then stick it in the fridge to cool it and call it cold brew. Yeah, I mean it's much faster that way. But that's technically just iced coffee, and iced coffee kind of tastes like battery acid. Yeah, nitro cold brew. Uh, I actually have a nitrogen infuser because if you infuse nitrogen into a cold brew, it, it make, gives it like a fluffier, more aerated mouthfeel. It makes it taste like it has cream in it, even though it doesn't. Um, so I need to. I need to use that. I need to bust that out. Does cold brew require a specialized setup? No, but it does. Like you'd be, you'd be wise to get the right tools. All you have to do is put grounds in water and then take them out later. Um, the thing that I have is Stephanie got it for me for Christmas because she loves me. Um, the one that I use is just like a water pitcher. And it has a reservoir in the middle that you can put coffee grounds in. So that makes it easy to put the coffee grounds in and out. That's basically it. Hmm. Huh. It's in the fridge. That's it. You can brew tea that way, too. You can cold brew tea. Same effect, too. It makes it more mellow. Not as acidic.
Oh yeah, when BB goes to sleep. You have a list of the videos that have been on Media Share. No, I do not. Wrong, Sam? Oh, no. There's not an easy way to back that up either. The Media Share app is not that robust. Its functions are temporarily suspended, but they can be restored. I can perform the necessary maintenance at a distribution center. Hmm. Hurry though. Generally, that type of cold brew for tea is done with very strong tea. Huh. I always use filtered water when you brew coffee, trust me. I have not. I've just been using tap to uh, to brew, but when the I'll, I'll graduate to that eventually. Uh, this is not where to do this, is it? It's cargo, that's right. There we go. It triggers the production of harmful compounds. And the body, in essence, begins to attack itself. Oh, yeah. It's called autotoxemia. If your BB's not performing to spec, drop by your private room and see if the incubator helps. Like, when the baby gets too much in the death dimension, it starts to eat itself or some shit. The lore behind bridge babies is really sad. It's like, it's like one of the most metal, tragic things in a game that I think I've seen. Get a tap water filter. Yeah. That wouldn't be that hard. It's just more steps in the process. I guess I could get one of the... Well, no, we have one of those gooseneck uh, kitchen faucets that, like, you can pull it out and spray it places, so... Yeah, it's inhumane, but that's the state of the world, right? I, I always found the bridge baby aspect of the game really fascinating in the, the kinds of inhuman shit that people will get used to to stay alive. Wait, autotoxemia is real? Scarlet Pirate? I had no idea. Just get a pitcher? Well, yeah, I mean, I already have a pitcher for cold brew, so now it's like a multi-step process. Uh-oh. That's probably a bad idea. I mean, I'm right there. Oh, shit. Okay, never mind. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay, yeah, I gotta take those off. Still 127. Okay, fine. 122. Eh! I mean, I could use one of these ladders. I mean, I'm going to use the ladder to cross this, but screw it. No! Oh, I guess I could carry it, yeah. Stop it! Ah! I don't want him to keep doing that. Put it down! Okay. I want him to hold the straps, but he keeps picking that shit up. All right. Stop it! Fucking Christ! Put it down! Sam! I have to hold left trigger to put this ladder out. Can you not do that? Oh, maybe when you're overloaded, he's... He's double-handing handsing it all the time. Okay, fine. Jeez. I don't think I ever actually overloaded myself before. Legitin can lead to sepsis. I'll have to, man, I'll have to I'll have to look into that. I had no idea it was a real phenomenon. So it's just the body starts attacking itself or eating? Like it's like an extreme version of allergies or something. Bloop. I feel like this game is designed for people like me who spend uh, wait, hold on. Ten minutes trying to figure out how to carry all the groceries in one trip? Yeah, that's the game. Like, that's that's the video game, and I like that. I don't know, I think I think that's a... That's a fun gameplay type. I remember there was, like, Bag It. There were a couple of games that sort of tried to lean into those things. There were, like, uh, like Inventory Management and Diablo and Resident Evil 4 have, have aspects of that, but, uh... This game is the first, really the first one I can think of, but that's the whole game. Is uh is uh it's being efficient. All right, here we go. I just had to use those. We're good. I like the vibe of your stream. It's always really cozy. That's what I try for. Ah, your digestive tract 
fa fails to properly filter out toxins and you start to get poisoned. Oh, wow. All right, let's see if I can... I don't think I'll be able to cross that tiny little bit of bit of water. They really don't want you to do this. Yeah, you can't turn. I mean, you can. Okay, here we go. It's not worth it for the metals either. It's 100% not worth it. There's no reason to do this. Hold on. <laughs> there we go. Also, because of the tight, because of the time fall, a lot of my packages have uh, deteriorated containers. A lot of them are rusted through, so if they uh, if they hit the ground, they might get destroyed. Can you chuck the metal across? That's a good idea. That's a really good idea, actually. Hmm. Um, yeah, good thinking. Okay, so let me see if I can remember how to throw things. Hold it, and then... Well, one of these has, a, has an intact container, so I could probably huck this thing. Also, this is not the delivery... This is not the delivery item, so... I can't remember how to throw. Uh, you hold something, and then you... Oh boy. Maybe I have to hold it with my right hand. A bit heavy. Does anyone remember? It used to be O? That's crouch. Jump. Hit. Okay. Well, not what I wanted, but that's fine. I'm at weight. Across the river in separate trips. It's. The metal is so useless. I was just curious what the fallout would be if I tried to stomp stomp over here overloaded. Ooh. Okay. I feel like the sound effects of the pack straining and popping and stuff is louder. Oh, it's when he swings. That's right. You have to swing and then let go. Yeah. Gosh, I forgot. Okay, well... Yeah, you can always return for the things. Again, it's just construction materials. It's not absolutely not worth the effort or the time. Clear. All weapons will remain Cargo verified. Thank you. Hmm. Oh, Jess, you got a kitchen scale? Oh my gosh. Kitchen scale, like there's there's some tools that are inv invaluable. For like kitchen work, I guess. And the scale is so important. I've used mine so much. Decontaminating suit. That's the other thing about diet. Like if you never weighed your food, you really don't know what a portion size is. Maybe you do, but Jesus Christ, man. I had no idea. It took so much adjustment to be like, this is a normal This is a normal meal of normal portion sizes. It's so tiny. Hello, Jotunheim. Wake station folks told me all about you. Sam Bridges. We're the second expedition, right? The guy expanding the chiral network on his lonesome. Like he's not out making deliveries. So what'd you bring us? Let's see it. Talk about above and beyond. <laughs> Thanks. Must have had to pass through B2 territory to get here too, did you? Oh, thank you, Scarlet Pirate. Yeah, I got very lucky with this chair. I said you were a legend. Um, Ark Revenant and Swag Ceratops. Thank you guys for the subs, by the way. Ooh. So close. 
I love my French press, but now that I'm making it every morning, I'm strongly considering an AeroPress just to cut down on the cleaning time. Yeah! French presses make amazing, delicious coffee, but... Oh my gosh. The last time I used French press, I destroyed my stomach. Although now you put the idea in my head. I have French roast. I have a French press. I think I might just go make some French press coffee. It's pretty hot today, though. Um... Maybe I'll make some French press and do a pour over ice or something. It's gonna feel different on PC. Mm. It plays the same, but I'll admit, I like this controller a lot better than a PlayStation controller. And the game runs so good. Sam, as always, thanks for bringing more folks into the UCA. You're welcome, Die Hard Man. Oh, baby. Oh, I can check mail on the go now? Well, all right. All right. Looks like we're on the chiral network. And with those materials you brought for our chiral printer, we can produce supplies for you here as needed. Think of it as our way of returning the favor. Now head west and keep on doing what you do. Good. The distro center is on the network. Sam, do me a favor. Take your BP to a private room and connect it to the incubator. Good work. Yeah, it's an Elite controller. An Elite version 2. I was very... I was lucky enough to have Microsoft send me one. Wait. Wait, Station West? Oh, no. That's where I came from. Damn it. Alright, I might just store that shit here. I can't remember if they send me back or if I keep going west from here. Yes, Polkin. It is really called a BB. Do you know what BB stands for? Bridge baby. There's a reason for that. It is literally a bridge and it's a baby. Dead man, you there? Yeah, fourth house. Hello. The baby crying through the controller, I actually the liked. Connected to that incubator. It's the one thing about the DualShock controller that I liked. Was the baby like yelling at you while you were in a stressful situation? I think that hits way different for parents and non-parents though. It's in. <laughs> Good. Uh, yeah, I wonder about like... Easily addressed if we return it to its mother's womb. What was the reason? Oh, you'll mother. you'll see soon. I think I just unlocked the email about bridge babies, and they're going to talk about it Located now. Located in the capital, not city, ICU. Brain dead, of course. Ah, uh, you mean still mother? Correct. A still mother's womb facilitates a connection between the world of the dead and the BB, and you, in turn, connect yourself to a BB, granting you the ability to sense BTs. These pods were designed to simulate the conditions inside a still mother's womb. Babies need to believe they're in one at all times to function properly. Function. However, we can only maintain this deception for so long, which is why we must periodically update the environmental data by synchronizing it with a still mother via the chiral network. There. The update is in progress. Right now, the pod is synchronizing with the Steel Mother in Capital Knot City and reconfiguring its settings based on the latest data. Returning your BB hmm. to the womb in this manner will temporarily reduce its. He's also levels. Bridges Baby now. That being where it's Sam Bridges the Porter, you mean? Everything has interpretations and none of the wrong. Yeah, seven interpretations and none of the wrong. Happy. I just like that he carries the baby in a womb. A literal womb and also a figurative one, because it's exactly where a womb would be. I guess it's a little high, but... Uh, yeah, this is the PC version. That BBs are just equipment. Try not to get attached. Each one has been physically removed from its steel mother's womb. 
A process that renders them unpredictable. No, oh, Sam Porter Bridges. Wrong. Yep, you're right, Scarlet. Sorry about that. No BB on record has remained in service for over a year. Uh, it may need to be retired. Isn't that same as literally Bridges? Yeah, I got it mixed. Expedition is over. And then? For some reason, I thought Bridges was his nickname. No. You must understand. There is still a great deal we don't know about BB. This is also such a weird side plot for the game. The BB and, and what happens with BB. Data. Like, Perhaps we'll find our it, it stands to be the only approachable storyline that you can actually grasp on as a normal human. Look into why the BTs which is like be reacting. recognizing that BBs are people and trying to save them, but with that does not happen we in this should game. Have your results soon. That does not happen. It almost does. Uh, no spoilers, but... Get some rest. You and your BB are both exhausted. I actually kind of liked it. This game is never predictable, which is something I can give for it. Even the most predictable of, like, storyline punches it could take, it just doesn't. It just doesn't. Did I ever mention the ages of the BB? Well, they haven't been born. So, zero? the only thing that allows us to really relate to Sam. You're right, Brandon. London Sam, and for that matter, basically every character in Death Stranding comes from a background and a world that is so unknowable to us. And that makes it a very weird and ethereal game. How are things over there? Why does he handcuff himself to the bed? I think to make sure his body doesn't go Still anywhere. Still not under guard. Still not chained up. But he may also just be used Still to it. can't leave. After doing it once, uh, that's something that that because they explicitly show him doing that. Making connections. If you can get to me, we can go back east, back home. Thank you. I mean that. Gamer Goblin, thank you for the reset. <sighs> it's bad. <laughs> there are fewer and fewer people in the cities these days. No one's having children anymore. But humans aren't made for living alone. They're supposed to come together to help one another. Oh, London Bridges and is a reference to the myth that London Bridge was built on graves of children. We can't much to how they're building the chiral network of the graves of BBs. Hmm. Well, it's like Bridget said. I did not know that. Extinction. Come on. Rebuilding America isn't going to get rid of the BTs. Who's she supposed to be to Sam? We don't know yet. As long as they're still around, there's no escaping it. But at least we'll have hope. That That is something that is kind of literally spelled out by the plot eventually. But the implications are also very I'll weird. I'll be waiting, Sam. Waiting for you. Come and find me. That's not true. We know she's his sister right now. Oh, that's true. You're right. My bad. She is his sister. Sure. There's more to it than that, but yeah. Hello, Sam. <laughs> this is Hartman. Since you're awake, it might behoove you to freshen up. Was well, this when I get poo bombs? Attend. Why not take a shower? It's good for the body and so, and also my research as it happens. <laughs> Wish you could customize your character. I mean, yeah, you get some suits and hats and stuff. It's not very deep, but it, it's there in a little bit. Study other people with dooms? Everyone in Bridges, myself and Mama. Results thus far are inconclusive. Hmm. But you possess other singular qualities, being a repatriate as well. I 
No, I'm I'm very much a uh, poo then shower gang. I want to make sure I'm full clean as long as I can be. There, take the sample with you. Should the opportunity arise, try using it. Weaponizing gamer bathwater. Finally, to see how they react. Who knows? It may even prove beneficial to you. There was an old research paper detailing the effects of bodily fluids from individuals like us on BTs. It is only by recovering these materials yeah. that we Nikolai, can the knowledge of I did get a cyberpunk chair, but I did not earn it not just or deserve it. Thank you, though. But also the mystery um, of your body's unique properties and even our... I apologize for over-pushing this narrative, but I just want to make it sure, make it seem like I didn't get any hope for humanity. untoward back, uh, yeah. back handshakes. No in Stephanie America. actually got this chair. I want to recover the um, past. And she oh. gave it to me because there's another chair she wants more. So I got very, very lucky. Oh yeah, his heart comes out. you make your connections and nothing happens, then what? I said, then what? Scarlet, I never tried that. Peeing on BTs, but it makes sense. It should, it should push them away, right? Sam. Sorry to bother you while you're taking a break, but I figured you'd want to hear this. Oh, maybe it'll help you rest easier. I have not taken a single break. You received a number of messages addressed to you. I've not taken a look Yeah. Myself, but the I emails. From your clients. God. You should see if they contain any useful information. This is how you get follow-ups on, like, the side quests you do. As well as Anon, I'm going to read I every email. There's something else I'd I will like try to share it. with you. Yeah, the, these chairs are pretty now rare. The they sold out nearly immediately. <clears throat> Data once thought lost forever from every corner of America can be pieced back together from fragmented records. Our archives are still a work in progress, of course. But as we expand the network and integrate more way stations and cities, we'll be able to recover more and more information, <coughs> such as the previous expedition. Oh, excuse me. Ports. That's fine. I sneezed directly into my hands. Back was lost Ugh. When Central Knot City was destroyed. I actually have to. Now, we've managed to I can't pause right now because he's talking. Impact. You can access them from a I need to go floss. Or your cufflinks by selecting archives. Eating fibrous uh, vegetables like just gets reading. vegetable shit all in my teeth, and I have to wash my hands. So, okay. Don't look at me like that. Come on now. Um, yeah, I know you want to go. Chill. Uh, I will be right back. I'm going to wash my hands and floss some, floss some green beans out of my teeth. See you soon. Okay. Time to read Death Stranding the novel. Emails. That's two. Get out of here. But my boy Sam, first, I got to duty up that butt a little bit. Got to give my boy the old duty butt. Got to give him the old mud butt. Stupid. I never understood when and how much of the bombs it chooses to generate. Sam, we've received a distress call from the distro center All staff. All I did was poo. Check the order on the delivery terminal as soon as you're ready. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna ting my baby real quick. How's it going, baby? Soothe. I like how soothe is basically bop it with your finger. You okay? But yeah, I remember I would, I would interact. I would interact with BB all the time. I'd give him little shakes when he was upset. I never leveled up my BB meter. And like, I couldn't find any tutorial messages about it either. I just saw it pop up once in the game and I went insane thinking that it was a mechanic that I couldn't tell if it was or not. All right. Oh, fact, the board is okay. Mail! So oh, you get likes for reading people's emails? Sorry, Sam, bad news. Thanks for delivering those rare medals, Sam. Everyone at the Distro Center really appreciates you coming through for us. Thumbs up emoji. I'm afraid I got some bad news for you, though. The bike you saw outside, its battery's dead. You'll have to give it some juice if you want to use it. Only need to do one only need to do it once, though. Auto charger should kick in after. High five emoji. Sorry if we got your hopes up. And uh, I have some more bad for news for you too. Crying emoji. God, I forgot how emoji laden these emails are. You see, different facilities have to work together, sharing materials so everyone gets what they need, and to make sure that everything that's produced gets put to proper use. That's why guys like you were so important. Without porters, the whole system falls apart. Whole world, even. 
Thumbs up emoji. Anyway, there's this guy, George Baton, over at the way station. He used to be a reliable porter, but lately it's like pulling teeth getting him to make even the simplest delivery. Keeps bitching about being scared or not having enough oxy or whatever. Always some excuse. Like, the drug. Like, I feel like another thing that's sort of casually thrown around is that prescription. Now, prescription painkillers are used pretty freely. Uh, drugs and. I mean, they're called smart drugs of, of various kinds, but. Uh, they're, they're used pretty openly all the time. <clears throat> uh, always some excuse. Even when he does agree to make a run, he's liable to lose half his load en route, squirt. Or sweat, really. Uh, so yeah, that's why we're a bit short on materials at the moment. I'm sure you'll help us put that to rights. We're counting on you, Sam. A load of thumbs ups. This is from George, the guy who was just getting shit talked. More than Oxy, thumbs up. <laughs> Sam the man, our savior. Things are looking up here at the way station. Everything feels better somehow. We were all bright-eyed and bushy-tailed when we set ourselves up, but three years of isolation and loneliness will change anyone's tune. Hell, when we first got here, we were putting up signs for porters and whatnot, but after a while, some guys got too scared to even set foot outside. Skull emoji. When Central went up, I told myself this was it. America's done. Everyone was feeling it too. The mood was just bleak. And then you waltzed on in. I know what you're thinking. At first, I thought it was just the oxytocin too. That's right, it's not oxycontin, it's oxytocin. That's not it, not all of it anyhow. You gave us a glimmer of hope that we've been needing to bring us back into the chiral network. We've been back in, the, we're back in the game now. Been thinking of putting up signs again, even watchtowers too. Before long we'll be opening up new delivery routes, mark my words. It's scary out there though. All the oxy in the world won't help us deal with mules, let alone BTs. We shit ourselves every time we catch sight of one and end up dropping half our equipment. <laughs> Just like the other email said. Honestly, a part of me is still a little worried we won't be able to keep up. Keep it up. That's why we need you, Sam. You're not scared of anything, right? So go show us how it's done. Again. Need the gamers to save us. Dang it. It's under data. There we go. Oh, all right, die hard man. Thinking about mules and drone syndrome. Oh yeah, this is fun. Drone syndrome is a real fun concept. And the mules themselves are pretty fascinating. And I think another one of those prescient uh, glimpses at what humankind's going to do uh, when we run out of normal work. <laughs> uh, terror bills. Thanks for the sub, by the way. Bridges' primary objective is to rebuild America. And in order to rebuild, one of our main tasks is to reconnect cities and other settlements by reestablishing a delivery network. Back before the Death Stranding, the comms and delivery networks were what held society together. The whole thing was automized. Automated. Automated. Uh, AI-managed deliveries were carried out by drone. The belief was that taking people out of the equation would revolutionize the entire system, but things didn't quite pan out that way. Instead, we started seeing cases of what would eventually be dubbed drone syndrome. It was too much for some folks to accept, leaving everything to machines and nothing for the common man. And indeed, the oxytocin deficiency and horm hormonal imbalances we confirmed seemed to back up that assessment. Humanity needed to be part of, that, of the process. So laws were put in place and we stepped back into the picture again. And what happened? All the people put out of work by machines who got called up again convinced themselves society couldn't survive without them. And that brought on a whole new disorder. Delivery dependence syndrome, they called it. When the death stranding tore us apart, the delivery program the, the delivery problem spiraled even further. It wasn't helped by the fact that chiral clouds prevented planes and drones from flying, which meant we had to go back to relying completely on human couriers whether we liked it or not. Eventually, delivering goods became all some lived for. They were obsessed, addicted, and consumed by the desire to deliver. Over time, they turned into mules we know and love today. So, that's pretty fun. I feel like... I feel like it's easy in my head to draw a parallel between this like mindless need to accomplish objectives and what video games do to people. Um, or rather how video games sort of establish an expectation of a reward loop when you're doing a task. Uh, but I like the idea that even in a reality where people don't have to work, they actually mentally do have to. And then the only way that they can reconcile this need or emotional belief with their reality is by doubling down on the belief is that I must be vital. Um, I just love the idea that the bad guys in the game are just mindless uh, FedEx like delivery guys who need to steal your shit and deliver it so they get that rush um, and validate their existence. It's pretty crazy, man. Man, so good. 
plot looking more and more like a ploy to get people to get jobs at the post office i mean being a courier these days is kind of the, kind of that's what it is completely agree with that i got so into trophy hunting and games that it lost all enjoyment it became work yeah uh it's i think it does satisfy a primal need for some people especially if that's not getting satisfied any other way that's when you start to compulsively do that stuff pretty cool all right, more about bridge babies. This is going to be fun. Really uplifting stuff. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, who's interviewing these people? I don't know. Um, look, I'm kind of new here at Bridges, so I don't know if this will be any, or if this, if any of this will be useful to you. Still, I'm happy to talk about BBs if that's what you want. They call me Dead Man on account of my familiarity with the dead. Get it? We've always been on good terms, you see. Used to have regular little chats back when I worked in the morgue. Anyway, that's also the reason I work on BB maintenance and research, to learn more about those who are no longer with us. <clears throat> but I digress. Fact is, BBs were already being issued to our forces in the field before I joined Bridges. What's more, research into the little guys had already been conducted long, long ago, but no one took the plunge and put what they discovered into practical use. Still, what that did mean is that when Bridges wanted us to build our own BBs, most of the work has already been done for us. We just needed to follow the instruction manual, so to speak. Which isn't to say that we have any idea how they work, not how they can detect BTs or how they can connect this world to the other side. We still have much to learn about our little friends, but one thing is certain. Their continued study will lead us into greater understanding of the stranding and of life and death itself. That much I can assure you. Well, I think that's about all I have to tell you today. Hopefully I'll have something new to share with you next time we chew the fat. See you around, I guess. So I do appreciate how the game is careful to reinforce that even in the game there are things they don't know. And they can't really tell you about those things. A BB echolocation? Ooh. Oh, I realized I had that with games in general. Mm. Still haven't had time to play Last of Us 2 yet, and it was legit stressing me out. Ah. And I reminded myself it's just a video game. I don't need to be part of the conversation. Yeah. That's a compulsion, I think, that drives most people's media consumption. Which is... Uh, some marketing companies try to lean on that, but they didn't invent it. People invented that all on their own. I think it's the idea that being listened to is valuable. Uh, in the way that, in the world of Death Stranding, likes are currency. Certainly having a following and having people listen to what you say is uh, it's leverage that you can turn into money or other things. What's up, boy with tech? <clears throat> uh, let's learn more about BBs. FOMO, sort of. Maybe. What, what bums me out is the, is the concept that you will miss out on living in culture if you're not consuming the right media at the right time. Do you have an opinion on V YouTubers where it's a fake anime that's face mapped onto the streamer? None really. I feel like that was, uh, that's been coming for a while. Just a ne next step in the process. God. Sorry. Uh, post eating, my sinuses are like draining into my throat. I'm trying to make sure that I don't cough while I'm talking. Dolphins use a sensory mechanism known as echolocation to keep track of both their fellow pod members and any potential prey. As the name suggests, they produce sounds which bounce off objects and return as echoes, allowing them to get an idea of their surroundings. Interesting in and of itself, of course, but what I find far more interesting is the recent research suggesting that BBs use a similar method to detect BTs. As you know, BB pods are designed to mimic the conditions inside a human womb and are key to preserving the BB's connections with this world and the next. Well, recent research now suggests that BBs are capable of producing something not unlike a dolphin's sound waves. These pulses travel through the amniotic fluid and out the other side, bounce off BTs and return as echoes, allowing a BT to ascertain the location of threats. Pretty cool, right? That's pretty cool. Uh, this is from Hartman, who I guess knows more about, like he seems to be more about the, uh, the theology of what's going on. <laughs> YouTube personalities, but with an extra step. Yeah, they're more packaged, more commodified. <clears throat> I mean, that to, to a degree, that was already sort of happening with, like, big thinkers on YouTube that would just represent themselves as an image. 
Um, they would just use their voice and kind of be an avatar. It's that, but now in real time. <clears throat> Timefall was first recorded when the Death Stranding occurred. And despite all the years that have passed since then, we are no closer to understanding how or why it accelerates the passage of time for the objects and organisms it touches or why it immediately turns into water after having done so. <coughs> Some researchers have gone so far as to posit their process, this process as stealing time. God, I'm stuttering, sorry. <coughs> as for why time falls observed only in certain places, all that we know for certain is that it's somehow affected by local chiral concentrations. This is merely a hunch, but something in me su er, suspects that the Death Stranding may have warped our perception of the passage of time. Not that that's necessarily a bad thing, you understand. We humans can conceive of our own deaths and even the possibility of a place beyond death, yeah? We have the capacity to conceptualize the future, an evolutionary, evolutionary advantage which aided our development as a species. Well, what if Timefall has given us a new supercharged vi version of this essential ability? One that will take us to the next stage of our evolution. Perhaps we wouldn't need to hold ourselves up in the not cities. Perhaps in time, the Death Stranding will come to be seen as the phenomenon that saved our species. Exciting thoughts, I'm sure you'll agree. I, for one, can't wait to set out on our journey. Who knows what awaits us? Yeah, a lot of deep thoughts in here. In this day and age, I feel more disconnected from general culture due to social media and the importance society seems to be putting on it. Considering just deleting my Facebook, Twitter, Insta, but that makes my negative feelings worse. Yeah, cor corpse nothing. I think the scary thing is when that's the only... That's the only thread you have. I, I certainly have been disappointed lately that American culture is so paper thin that all it relies on is the output of, of an entertainment medium, you know? When arguments about Star Wars... I mean, at least we've moved on. Like, there's there's important arguments happening now that are that are have broad cultural ramifications happening in, in the American zeitgeist now, but like pre-2020, there was not a, not about American culture to be proud of for me when it comes to the way that it's expressed and circulated on social media. And uh, I'll admit that like a lot of my work contributed to, contributed to that fatigue. Um, it's fun to monetize your opinions about pop media uh, for a while, but that is not, it was far more satisfying to me to like work a hard day's work and see my, see my output do something. Um, getting paid to talk about toys is fun, but I respect nothing about American culture. Yeah, we're young, you know, we're a young country and we're infatuated with toys right now. I, I feel like, uh, on the world stage, we're kind of a teenager, you know? We're infatuated with toys and big, bright, shiny, stupid things. And we're going through a weird identity crisis. And we're acting out. We're, uh, we're doing the opposite of what wiser cultures are maybe doing. So, you know, I feel like uh, every teen puts their, their hand on the stove for a number of times, makes a number of bad life decisions. So, McDonald's military and money. Hmm. I mean, media, I would put in. America's pretty good about that. Uh, but yeah, we're, we're good about business. We're good about capitalism. Um, those are not the most human aspects, though. It's just wake me up when it's the future. What I would recommend, Corpse, and what I have stri striven to do is, is find cultural significance that has nothing to do with pop media. Uh, that's hard to do, considering the the, the fear and the, the value on it. Um, Lemongrass, come on. It wasn't intended to be that personal, I don't think. And it's a, it's a rough a rough statement, but let's let's acknowledge that America doesn't look so hot right now. Um but uh my 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 approach is to try to find things that have meaning and value to me. And I don't really need uh United States culture at large to validate those things. It's nice, um but I think I'm aging out of that desire. So, my advice to you would, yeah, delete your social media. Just find something else that matters to you and try to find the people like you can use social media to connect with those people. But if you have a group of tight homies you get along with, you know, you don't need to be screaming about Star Wars. You don't need people to pay attention to you. None of these things are necessary. I feel like it's just all kind of assumed, um, given that that's that's the rules that we're playing by and the people who tell us they're successful. That's what they're doing. 
Uh, so yeah, I, I can empathize with that quite a bit about feeling a little a little uh, disaffected by the the state of the state of life. <laughs> There's so many reasons to feel that way right now. So for sure, don't don't be hard on yourself if you're feeling a little disconnected. American culture is being the British Empire while pretending to be better than the British Empire. It was that for a while. Um, I think World War II, uh, the Industrial Revolution, like these are the things that for real changed America. And then lately, I think we're, we're kind of in the late game of what started happening in the 70s and 80s. I'm not a political scholar. I shouldn't be talking about this shit. Um, mostly, it's, I'd, I'd just be regurgitating ideas I absorbed off other people, so... I'll, I'll just leave that alone. I, I do encourage you, though, if you are maybe getting older and, and tr hoping to find your way into a life of more cultural and emotional fulfillment, I can validate for you that that doesn't come from consuming pop, pop media, even though that seems to be what everyone cares about all the time. <clears throat> I'm curious about this, though, hearing more about Dooms. Astrologers like me are used to having our work dismissed, incorrectly of course, as unscientific mumbo-jumbo. But since the Death Stranding, more and more people have started to take an interest in what's known as astropsychology, a discipline that combines astrology and various forms of psychology. The fact that each person has a beach to which they are spiritually connected has doubtless contributed to this trend. Now we're getting lore. Yeah, uh, Chupachuro. American culture is, is hella infantile compared to most world cultures, Canada too. Yeah. Ah, uh, my girlfriend had been having issues and was diagnosed with depression. Deleting Instagram and Twitter from her phone helped because it cut down on the use and need to access it. You want to feel connected, but yes, these days those are, those are wellsprings of negativity. Unless you very carefully curate what you're looking at. Uh, these days there were even psychotherapists who use astrological techniques in their counseling sessions. Perhaps the most interesting recent development of all, however, is the discovery that the alignment of celestial bodies at the moment of one's birth can influence one's relationship with the condition known as dooms. Sorry, soda burps. Of course, chiralium in the Earth's atmosphere means that it's difficult, dare I say impossible, to actually observe the constellations at any point. To come to the conclusion that they were that they therefore have no effect upon human lives, however, would be a foolish error indeed. I like how that's with an astrologer, and I think you find him later. And he's kind of a weirdo, but maybe yeah, that's life. Uh, IMO, too much of Canadian culture comes across, comes from trying to distinguish ourselves from the states. I mean, I, that makes sense to me. If I live live next to the U.S., I would it'd be impossible to not be affected by that somehow. How loud and exceptional America likes to think it is. Sometimes I can't tell if you're telling us something deep or if you're just reading the interview. Yeah, I, I try to I try to segue back and forth because I know that I'm kind of all over the place. What do you mean by pop media? Like celeb gossip and shit? No. I just mean like the output from American entertainment companies. Big budget video games, big budget movies, big budget music. And then, of course, all the culture that surrounds that, the, you know, the gossip, the, the, the endless parade of, like, YouTube videos and podcasts that are based around the consumption and, and regurgitation of that media. Sam, out of curiosity, how's it doing at the moment? Uh, before I answer that... Something wrong? I do have DLSS on, BB, yeah. I see things. What kind of things? Like a face, someone I don't know, calling to me. One time in a vid, you said the moment you stop caring about pop media is the moment you become talking, old. I can't make so do I just have to become okay with being old to be more fulfilled Please culturally? You can still enjoy it. You just don't have to... It doesn't have to be the narrative of your life. But yeah. Let me explain. I think you, you also become old when you find something to live for aside from the next... The next big thing. This is before it's even born. That makes sense. The procedure halts its development, but even at 28 weeks, its sensory systems have matured enough to process external stimuli. It is more than capable of encoding this information into memories, which can bleed into yours via your connection. Got a lot of wisdom. So, mm, I think a lot. 
So, I don't know. A lot of the stuff has yet to be tested in my own life. I think that's matter. when that's when wisdom happens. Maybe has been in circulation for a while now. It's been handled by a lot of people. Uh, should I know which one? Hey, what's up, Scott Jesse? Welcome. Because you're the expert. No one's an expert, Sam. BBs were developed decades ago in secret. There Enjoying pop culture from the sidelines is actually quite a treat. Yeah. I this was all predicated on somebody like trying to liberate themselves from the obligation of media consumption to be part of the conversation. That, that's the phrase that can make my skin crawl sometimes. Sam, check the delivery terminal and review the list of orders. My culture is going out for a rip to get poutine and a donair. That sounds nice. I do think, too, to some degree, the way that we in the United States lionize our great people um, sets a weird and unattainable goalpost for for cultural meaning, you know? If uh, we spend our youth hearing about great actors, great business leaders, we want to be those people. We're, to we're like, it's implied through context that that's who we should aspire to be. And, you know, these these are like edgy junior high thoughts, right? Why don't, why don't our doctors celebrities, why aren't teachers celebrities? Like, all right, I get it. Human nature is human nature. We love stories of the rich and popular all the way back to the, you know, the Greek, Greek pantheon. But it never arrived. Richard needs it to communicate with the chiral network. But I do think other cultures are not quite so fixated on their their big people. Um, there's always local celebrities, of course, but I imagine in a I I could never for a second tell other people what what their history was like, but in my house, you know what what were the values in my home? Um, frugality, hard work, doing well in school, and uh, basically staying out of the way when my dad was upset. Um, so those are sort of, that's the culture I grew up in. And also, you know, conservative Christianity, which at its core is not bad, but often becomes bad. Uh, so, you know, that's how I got my, my, my morality, but nowhere in there was like how to become a well-adjusted, happy person, you know? <laughs> and that's, that's, I may be typical actually now that I think about it. But, uh, when you're, when you're left for, for like a media to give you the template of how to live, it often becomes, it's weird and wrong. And uh, leads to some some very strange reconciliations later, when like teens and preteens who grew up on on film to teach you how to live in reality, and what's what's important to you, they carry all those like nice notions that popular movies tell you, take them into the real world, and suddenly it doesn't measure up to that, and then you get this weird disconnect. It's that nice guy problem, you know. Um, very amateur analysis, mostly coming from where I came from, but I grew up watching movies where the nice guy gets the girl in the end. That's your payoff. It's a, you know, it's the reward. It's the same thing everyone's always said. So the first couple of times that I thought I did the nice thing and wasn't rewarded with a date or an opportunity or romantic interest, whether they were like frustrating to me, I didn't get it. I go, what's wrong with me? What did I do wrong? Uh, oh yes. Shoot. Okay, so I have all this crap. Um, I think I'm gonna go back and then collect the crystals, or I could just I could just drop everything off. Hold on, I think I'm gonna do that. Yeah, whatever. Somebody else can deal with it. Were you me in middle school? I think you were me. This is a this is a common common problem. Having every girl you have a crush on friends on you is frustrating, but it helps build character. I mean, yeah. I guess I guess that's a way to say it. I would say hopefully that process would teach you that you don't get to choose who likes you. Like it's it is a two way street. Um. Mama's added a watchtower schematic to your PCC. If you don't have it on you, consider fabricating one. Never Scott here and I have no idea what the core gameplay area. even is. Hmm. Uh, I'm about to do a core gameplay, so there's that. How many PCs? They give me three? Why do I need that many? 
Oh yeah, and this I can... There's also the... Wait, I need to drop these resources off. That thing you're holding is a crystal collector. Now, as the name suggests, it provides secure storage for any crystals you gather. <laughs> See, Flynn. This game has gameplay? Boom! I love it. Vault, thank you for the sub. Deep combos and introspective thoughts. Boy, that's all, that's all I got. Got that in spades. Are you making more now with Twitch vs. Funhouse? Yes. Significantly. Like, enough that I can start to do things with that money. Um, that's what the YouTube channel is. I'm basically, like, overpaying for edits just to get stuff flowing. floating rocks, golden handprints. That's your trifecta. Look for these three things and you'll find the crystals. If you've been especially observant, then perhaps... If anything, that type of mentality and having been in performance arts through school has taught me how to handle rejection, but I have absolutely no idea how to be in a relationship. Yeah, that, that, can, get, that can get tricky because... So wait, how do you... Your private locker can be used to store cargo and the like. Hold on, here's some. I heard a weird sound. There's a reason so many YouTubers are joining Twitch now. Uh, yeah, I wonder about that. Ooh, I'm gonna bring a poo grenade. I can't remember if the materials and stuff, isn't there a way to place it so that everybody can use it? Is it just in share? Is that what you have to do? Maybe. Oh yeah, here we go. Come here. Take my busted boots. Take them. They're yours. Wait. Wait, are they like... Oh, that was those. Okay. You miss working in an office-like environment with people? Or do you prefer streaming on Twitch with interaction with viewers? Um, I, I mean, I do miss working with a team. Um, but I don't think that that phase of my work life is over. Um, Have a pleasant journey. Ah! Give that some likes. Yeah, baby. I will say the, uh, the, the benefit and the charge that I got from working with a team definitely fell off because I did not I, my workload got to the point where I wasn't even able to enjoy that aspect of it just pee on them you got it can't wait to pee on everything I will say that this method of interacting with uh, with viewers is is far preferable to something like YouTube the the direct engagement I think both has a different texture. Chiral crystals are pretty small and can be difficult to uh, and also I think I'd advise encourages you people to be a little you in the right direction. a little nicer. If you want to survey a wider area, a little more a little more uh, a human, I think, a little more empathetic. Oh yeah, I didn't almost there. Oh, that was fast. I didn't even have to go. Screw it. Oh, wait. Hold on. What was... There's. That's probably like a partial delivery thing. Uh, 100 CG. Okay. Pieces of cargo currently carried zero. Yeah? Hold on a second. How do you... S oh, I have 74. Okay. Almost there. Also, you can speak your mind and not have to worry about someone applying it to all your coworkers. That's true. That that was a weird thing to like push back against multiple times. The the, the idea that as a group we moved, we like agreed on everything and and had a common common thing. But you know that that didn't really bother me that much. Um, a lot easier, a lot harder to hide when you can just get banned immediately. That's true. And also, I just think the, uh, I think the dynamic on Twitch is different. Um, I feel like, to some degree, people went to YouTube 
Just a monster. Just to talk shit. And that's how some people just, like, they treated it like a dunk contest. They tried to flame, or tried to, what is it? Uh, tried to roast everyone they saw on screen. And to some degree it was fun, but I think a lot of people went a little too far with it. Yeah, James, James has absolutely ripped his fucking person. That's a good sign. It's supposed to be more chiral shit here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I need, I need them hands. I need them priestess. You also focus a lot of your energy on chat, whereas other streamers seem to place the game in priority. Yeah, I wonder if that... I wonder if I should pivot about that. I don't know. It seems like... It seems like nobody really... People say it over and over, and, and they, they're demonstrated through data to be correct. That people don't come to streams for the game. I think to some degree... I think it's a 50-50, really. But, uh... I think the ideal content strategy is to pick a game that has appeal, but then also try to be the kind of enter entertainer is a tough word because I don't I don't consider what I do here entertainment. Um, but uh, I all right then to be somebody that can like at least they might come for the game, but at least maybe they'll come back later for you kind of deal. Gonna head out. Photoshop actually worked today. Got a nice desktop background and design done. Hope you have have a good night. All right. I'm glad it didn't didn't sap your life away again. That is the worst. Making an environment. Yeah. Thank you both just here for the, the hot G Fuel sponsorship. Glad to hear that. Also, I feel like sometimes Sam mutters to you, the player. Which I was to some degree I was waiting for that to be like a a Kojima-esque ruse. Thought he was going to have a, a little raff at us. I'm here for the anime titties? I mean, there's that too. Where else can I get paid to stare at some big jangly-ass anime titties? Which I'm gonna throw this out- I'm gonna throw this out there. Um, I know for a fact that everyone on the planet likes to look at anime titties, but if for some reason you don't, um, or maybe there's another kind of Twitch appropriate smut that you like. Let me know. I'll look into it. Unfortunately, once you reach a certain chat size, an erection takes an unavoidable dive. Yeah, I've been very curious about that. Um, hasn't been uh, an issue that I've had to deal with personally, but um, I don't. I don't think I'm that big, and I don't know that I will be. Hey, thanks, bud. Uh, that's fine. But. Uh, I've wondered about that, like, if, if I streamed enough that, yeah, Twatch, Twatch, Twitch chat, it's Twatch now. Twitch chat just became, like, emoji spam and copy pasta. I think I would enjoy it less. But that's okay. Merely playing games is more than enough. Uh... Interesting. I feel like the UI... I can see the UI a little cleaner, too. I can actually see when my max stamina is going down. Through. Did you check out Doro Hedoro? No. What's that? Hold on a second. This is some good smut. Ooh. Oh, manga series. Ah, huh, interesting. Oh, I'm not familiar with it. I just wanted to put one out there for, like, if anyone wanted to see some pretty boy visual novels or anything like that. I guess that's what Danganronpa is. I should get back to that. Not going there yet. It seems like that might be a little... Nah. Yeah. Does it show you... Wait, it shows you other players' paths, too? I don't think I went up here. Oh, it's a mule camp. Oh. oh. That's pretty easy to do. You ever get a gun? Yes, sort of. I mean, you get a literal gun, but, uh... This is one of those, like, non-gun kind of games, if that makes sense. It's not that kind of game. 
Ah, oh, Night Sentinel, you gonna go play video games with your boy? Oh, hopefully you guys have a nice time. Being that, being that good dad, good dad energy. I want this chat to be filled with good dad energy. Probably gonna watch it when my boyfriend leaves for vacation. Oh, okay. Just finished Doom Eternal, and I was curious in your opinion on the final boss. Can they make the flow of combat seem off? Mm. Always bring stolen shipments home with them. Find the post box, steal back the cargo. Simple as that. I thought the final boss it took a it took a bit a bit of adjustment. But I think be ready to fight. I think once once you kinda get that like in the last fight, the the crucible tokens come back. So it's it's really just a question of like running routes, avoiding damage, and getting in damage when you can and it's safe. That makes sense to me. It feels like a boss fight. But it is different than the rest of the game, because it's a boss fight. Um, I guess there's three, and they're all, they all have different mechanics? I don't know, final final bosses are hard. Quick a strand. Oh, that's right. That's how you... That's right. I forgot about that. That's how you, like, tie people up. <sighs> Oh, you just started Food Wars? That show is delightful. At least at the beginning it is. Remember, Sam, also, Food Wars does that thing where they'll, the they'll show a... You use a, watchtower to confirm the location of the post box. Use a hornified big titty lady whose clothes are exploded off by ham. And then, like, an old dude will eat it, and his clothes will explode off too. So I'm like, hey, you know what? All right. I, oh, shit. Again, that's what it's all about. Get them get them big donkey ass anime titties, but you also gotta put one up for the old fellas, you know? Maybe they like having their clothes exploded off too. I'm just saying big titty anime ladies. Your time is still here, but you gotta make way for some other people sometimes. So remaining undetected is key. Keep a low profile and move slowly to minimize noise. Yeah, it shows what food porn should mean, kinda. Of. Um, I've been really liking Isakaya Zakaya though. It's not it's not horny at all, but it's a, it's a fun show. It reminds me, I gotta I gotta get back to sweetness and lightning too. So that's kind of interesting, like a difference in ground texture quality there. Huh? Kind of unique. I had a girlfriend who was a closet perv. Hmm. I don't know about that. Not really, no. I think everybody's everybody's into their own thing. I don't know about, like, just crazy-ass perverted shit. Never got hit with the stuff this in my butt, or let me stuff this in your butt kind of thing. It's always been pretty vanilla. Maybe, but then again, maybe I don't... Maybe I don't open the door to those kinds of conversations. Oh, Austin, uh, Isakai Isakaya. It is a, uh... It's following the, uh, the anime trend of, of saying literally what the show is. What do you think Kojima's trying to say with this game? You know what's weird? I don't know that he was really trying to say anything. I think he had a lot of thoughts and a lot of concerns about the human experience, about gaming, and I think a lot of those, a lot of those, a lot of those thoughts are explored with this game, but I don't get the I don't get the impression that he was trying to like make a, pro, a powerful and profound statement really. Aside from just trying to make a game that was more about collaboration and connectivity than it was about conflict and a conquest, I guess. Oh, and this guy can get behind. Yeah, Baker Badger. That show's great, and it, I'll. That's weird. Okay, sure. It's uh, the 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 runway for for that show start is a little strange because it took me a few episodes to kind of get what it was doing and how it was doing it. Whoa! So, be prepared for to be a little confused tonally in the first couple episodes, but man, it's good. I also, I'm a huge fan of the uh, 
the like they have live action sequences at the end of every episode where they'll censored I'm right here, I'm right here. shit well, that is not what I wanted to do at all thanks for not dropping the like like you were supposed to it's fine though it's fine <sighs> shit no it's not fine that's okay everything's fine Oh, Distribution Center West? Okay. Yeah, that's a whoopsie. We'll call it whoopsie on that one. Free boots, though. Can't turn over that. Also, don't mind climbing anchors, either. Okay. I just, uh... Loaded up. Fully loaded now. This man is right here. Let's go. Oh! Come on. Let's move. Whoop! Oop! Too heavy. Let's pick it up. Alright. Let's, let's grab that piss grenade again. Never mind. You can have it. Oh dear. Oh, Sam. Yeah! Here we go. Let's sprint. Here we go. Here we go. Ooh. Oop, oop, oop. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> oh, he's coming. He's coming for me. No, oh, don't hit me. Ah. Yeah, they knock off shit. Come on, Sam. Let's move it. I don't even know what that was. That sounded real bad, though. Ooh. Oh, that's right. Oh, yeah. You, you, you pass out. If... Fuck. Ow. I think they're gonna get me, actually. I'd have to just ditch all my cargo. Ha! Ooh. This will be interesting. I don't think I ever lost it at this point in the game. Stop it! Sam! Okay. Everything's fine. Are they just gonna let me go? No, they're not. Okay. So heavy. It's like the least interesting escape ever. Huh. They really letting me off the hook there? It's so tuckered out. This is what we need. Monster energy. You can probably catch that P uh, PCC down the river. Probably. I'll try it, but uh, I don't think I lost anything really important. Uh, I'm Sam. Stop doing that. <laughs> yeah, I still have the cargo. I still have the... Uh, I still have the uh, delivery things. See, Midnight Gospel on Netflix. Same dude who did Adventure Time, but they talk about some heavy topics, having Damn, some really trippy animations. No. Oh. That sounds cool. I'm into that. For some reason, Kojima's team always makes engines that run incredibly well on their hardware. Yeah, the internal uh, internal tools 
made at Kojima Production Studios are always really impressive. Very good checkout. Very good checkout vibe for a late night. Oh, the stream or? Oh, you mean the, the show. Name's Sam. 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 This game any good so far? Hmm? It's well made. I don't know if that means you're gonna like it, but I do. Beginning scan. Scanning bridge. Yeah, I'm, I'm playing on very hard. Sam. Which I think made Sam move slower. And maybe. The process is pretty simple, though. Uh, Access made my health go down faster. Terminal. I'm not sure. Drop off any chiral crystals you're carrying. Yeah, this is on the Decima engine. and then I think how cool it would be to not have to work once production is basically unlimited. And I remember what unemployment was like. Hmm. I've wondered a lot about that. How if if wealth were, really were redistributed and most, a number of jobs could probably be obsoleted. Would people actually like that? Or would they uh, rebel against the concept? Ooh, macho. I think a lot of people would uh, try to try to pursue their ideal source of revenue, which is frankly probably this for a lot of people. Um, you could sit at home and play games all day. Yeah, I wonder. I wonder what that would do to your he your mental health long term. Yeah, when work becomes a choice, what would people choose to do? Um, I think there was a small. A small amount of that happening at the beginning of quarantine. Um, people working out of the home, their jobs were disrupted. There was a run on, like, Elgato cam links and streaming hardware, because like, why not? Why not try to start doing that now? I think you'd probably see that in mass for a while. And then I think a lot of people would get tired of streaming to, like, three people. And, uh... Never doubted you'd come through for us. Have a bit of a, have a, bit of a crisis, I think. Dang it. Sam, got better boots now. How are your shoes holding up? Not too well, I imagine. Conditions being what they are out there. Nothing ruins your day like shoes. I think streaming long hours every day job. can be worse than Carry working nine to five. Like you think, Omi? Matter of time before you injure yourself. Yeah, I guess it really just depends on I if you love what you do. It doesn't feel like any supplies. like you're losing anything Bridges to it. Standard issue, so they ought I'm to a social fine. being, and I re require human interaction. Extra pair. Oh yeah, I don't think but people would just hole up inside. Run into trouble. Um, fabricate another by a terminal at one of our many facilities. I think it would require people re-examining their motivational foundation, you know? I think a lot of people just sort of kind of absorb, and I do too, I'm not, this is, it's normal. I'm not saying this is a bad thing. I'm trying to di distance myself from deep teenage thoughts as much as I possibly can. Um, but I think uh, a lot of people kind of absorb their life goals and their life trajectory from their environment makes total sense to do so when your environment tells you that you have to work to earn money and that the scale is the better you work or the smarter you are the more valuable you are as a person the more money you'll get paid what or it's more like the more the more your work is valuable to society the more the more money it's worth what happens when that dynamic disappears you know when i think then people would invent their own hierarchical systems to climb and I think that would be this. It'd be influencing. How many people listen to me? Um, the problem is I think people would get to the end of that. Like somebody somebody would have thousands of people baying for their opinion about Star Wars. And they would suddenly realize, oh my god. I don't need people to like listen to me anymore. Because I, I've, I've achieved a level of comfort and validation with myself. And I don't need people to do it for me anymore. And that's when it gets weird, I think. That's when it gets weird. When you can just exist and, and basically write your own story. Not literally, I mean, in terms of life. See you around. <laughs> Lord of the Moles, yeah, that... Ancient history. Congratulations, Sam. I understand you now have access to a Chiron printer. 
Being essentially unemployed, I'm bored, depressed, no drive, etc. I think that's a phase a lot of people would have to wrestle with. to transfer massive volumes of data instantaneously. Since under normal circumstances, such transfers were taken mm. hours, if not Lots days. of people really do enjoy working. Some I agree 100%, Culver. The chiral network might, in essence, be a time machine. That it is transmitting data into the past. Suffice it to say, we have yet to fully grasp the fundamental nature of Stuff the network so cool. and the beach, which we have come to rely on. There would also be much higher demand for me mechanic scientists and engineers to help improve and maintain the world. Is it useful? <clears throat> I think there'd be that, in addition to a natural selection of speakers, influencers, media types that can entertain or distract, or most scarily provide direction. Um, I've wondered about that. How like, if, especially if you're a teen, you know, and all your all of your all of your needs are provided for and you have the internet you have access to unlimited media and entertainment um it can be very tempting then to turn to a youtuber a popular one no less to tell you what's important in life and there's big numbers in doing that my mom always said if you don't have a job you don't have a soul yeah i guess i guess in relation to just like being a productive person with drive and purpose. I don't know that you need a literal job, but yeah, I can agree with that. More like having a task and drive. Hmm. Uh, I think that person depends on... I think that it depends on the person and their type of stream. Take the models I worked with. It tore their relationships apart after having to work strenuous hours together and not having time apart from each other. Also, some suffered humiliation and cruelty from the fan base, which was hard to bear. Just hard to deal with the demand for a while. Wow. That not not to not to find a parallel where there is none, but I've definitely heard people that have to grind their way into Twitch streaming talk about similar things. How they've lost friendships and relationships that they had to turn down because they had to be at home, you know, online. Scraping up all them viewers and yeah, uh squires. Uh you you essentially hit the nail on the head, the David Kaluya episode of Black Mirror. I think, I think uh, right now, providing mental clarity and direction is a pretty viable business model. I think it will become a fully legitimized, explicit one in the near future. Hmm. Think about leaving my current job and be unemployed for just a little while so I can really figure out what I want to do and how I want to do it. I don't want to be unemployed, but I think it's a fair trade-off that it, I take that time to make at least a five-year plan. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, I don't know if you're American, Corpse Nothing, but... Yeah, there's there's no time <laughs> for that built into our system. You're supposed to figure that out while you're in high school, which is just it's stupid. It's just so dumb. That not only in addition to the course load and a lot of, like, maybe having a job for the first time or uh, getting in a, a romantic relationship for the first... Like, all these firsts. And then also you're expected to decide the course of your entire career. American at 28, yeah. Uh, Good morning. Uh, I never, like, I spend a lot of time on my own thinking about it, but I also just happen to be a very introspective person. So I feel like I kind of lucked out uh, in that regard. And, and I was also lucky that I found my passion in life pretty early, which is video games. So I was able to find my passion and also uh, developed a work ethic that I think allowed me to kind of push through a lot of that. Uh, something else I think we might see is the rise of local club-like organizations. I think people would look more intensely for communal interactions, which I think would greatly affect how much influence this is what the world looked like. Uh, influencers might have, given the hive mind mentality you probably find in local groups. I think that's happening just in Discord. People form discords around everything, and they, they find a way to group of like kind through the internet, though. But yeah, don't feel guilty about taking some time for yourself. This is your life. You don't, uh, you don't owe a job or anyone else your time, aside from needing to contribute to society at large to stay alive. That's just fair. <laughs> like, um, but if you have the money and you can take time off, don't feel guilty about doing it. Especially if, if you feel like you need distance. 
Oh, J yeah, JC, the oh, command has to be at the front of the chat message. You'll be able to go wherever you want. Even the moon. Took me seven years and five different uni attempts as well as a global pandemic to realize I want to do social work. Figuring it out on high school is insane. Yeah. I mean, I didn't figure it out in high school. I just didn't close off paths. And really, it's like, you have to pay a tax, really, on changing your mind, so... I had to work two jobs for a really long time. Basically only until recently. <laughs> I feel like when I switched to Twitch streaming is when I switched to only having one job. And let me think, man. This is the first time I've really thought about this. In high school I worked, so being a student and having a job. College I worked. Uh, shortly after graduating, I had one job for a while, but then I picked up a side job. Actually, I was working a nine to five in an office and then I would go work a shift at GameStop because I was just bored and directionless. Um, shortly after that, that's also when I started writing, uh, like volunteer writing. So I would work and then come home and then like work on a, a blog or write articles or edit other people's work for a couple of hours. <sighs> I'm trying to think, man. Shinamai. That's when I started streaming, like in 2013. Hmm. Welcome to the Gilded Age 2.0. People of that time had a very similar complaints and problems that younger people today are dealing with. Ah. Trying to find a direction and purpose kind of deal? I don't know. I've, I felt that that's, that's part of the human experience. That doesn't... I never thought that that was a new thing. So this is interesting. Oh, wait. Hold on. Recycling. Hold on. Sorry, hold on. Delivery terminal recycle. Okay. Oh, that's right. Chiral crystals power the sleds and stuff, don't they? That's a damn good grind, though. Oh, what? Like Twitch streaming and writing about games? Yeah. That's the thing. It was never difficult because I enjoyed doing it. Got some chiral crystals for us? These crystals only form in places with elevated chirillium levels. Which makes me wonder if expanding the network had something to do with it. <laughs> Damn, son. That is a lot of crystals. Maintenance and R&D will both get their fill, looks like. Ooh. I never used... Uh... Oh, bridges, yeah. Clay materials, recycling. Okay, those were the things. Any facility. All right. They'll be added to the stores held on site. These local stores include materials that you can draw upon to fabricate equipment. As I'm currently a GameStop store manager. I do love my job though. <coughs> I really liked working at GameStop too. Ian's Cult Gaming. Thank you for the sub. It can be a really fun job, especially if you, if you have good customers and good employees. Oh, it's the best. I have I have very fond uh, memories of. Like, it was work, you know, I would help people out, I'd ring them up, I'd offer them Game Informer subscriptions, but uh, some of the best memories I had were just hanging out, like, when I was working shifts with other people, just hanging out, talking about video games, and like, just helping people find the games they wanted. Um, however, shortly after, uh, or basically during the time I was working there, which was mid-2000s, oh, that's when they really started to like try and squeeze money out of every portion. I guess they were always doing that, but um, they started cutting our shifts, so it was just one person on shift. So working alone sucked. Up cargo containers. Good for yeah. Useful stuff if you and your cargo have been through the ringer. We've added it to your Get them to buy warranties. I mean, there was that too. Yeah. If and when you need I did not push the warranties very, very, uh, very hard. <sighs> Um, I'm just gonna recycle these right away. Where you dryer pen came? Nice. I actually I bought a I bought a dryer a dry herb vape. There is a uh, recently. I'm curious to try it out. Increased crystal formation. I've been very lucky in my career there, but yeah, COVID screwed our hours. I can only imagine. You need to worry though. I can only Local imagine. Density is still within an acceptable range. No, I I loved that job. Sure to collect it. Um, it let me do a lot of the things that I found personally rewarding, like 
if somebody traded in a game, like, I was still shrink wrapping them and putting the stickers on the outside and, like, cleaning them up and stuff. I enjoyed taking controllers into the back and, like, spraying them down with our, uh, what we, don't use we had this like industrial cleaner and it was nice to just get these horrible, horrible controllers from kids and like clean them up, get them looking good, coil the cords all neat, put them back on the shelf. It helped me kind of express my reverence of video games in a, in a practical setting. And I also, I genuinely enjoyed the process of somebody coming in and being like, hey, I'm looking for a game like this. And then I get to be like, oh, well, if you like that, then you might like this or this. And it, uh, it was actually really good too, as being a gaming nerd to being around dudes who just didn't care much, you know? They wanted they wanted quick takes. They didn't need me like dissecting a game's mechanics. It was just like, yo, this game has good shooting. And they'd be like, cool, and that was it. It was cool to be able to figure out how to interact with people on the wavelength they needed and not the one that I needed, uh, which is just retail in, in, in general, really. Uh. We've added a bridge schematic to your PCC. The first step is laying the foundation. After which, you'll have to supply additional materials to finish the job. Plenty of rivers and canyons could do with a good bridge, you know. Take a stroll across one you built yourself, and I guarantee you'll be glad you made the effort. Give it a try. Uh, I can't remember how much metal you need to make a bridge. Because the... Oh, was it part of the PCC? All the metal, yeah. Just pour all metal. I mean, luckily I have some metals on me, but I don't think it's nearly. Oh, wait, that was. All right, that was this metal. I think I put some in the shared locker, which I just realized I can't get back. So, hmm. enjoyed at Nintendo is being able to help people and interact with others who enjoy games. I always got the shock, but you're a girl and you know video games. Really? Thank you for your continued support. I would like to believe that when, uh, when, when did you, when did you hold that job? Because, gosh, I actually had an amazing assistant manager at the store that I worked at, and she was, she was, uh, she was like in her 30s and a woman, um, but played games, played the hell out of games, and she was really fun to work with, because she was just super nice, very knowledgeable. Oh wait, hold on. Another delivery to make and another to up. They're gonna send me on the terminal when you have a moment. Okay. Oh, okay, bridge construction? Ah. I'll take this one for now. Well I guess I can take them both. I banked up as much cash as possible working as a server and bartending t up till I was 30. I'm in the privilege to go to post-secondary twice and change careers three times before I found what I really enjoyed. That seems to be... Yeah, that seems to be the way to do it. Uh, oh, they, they give you metal. Okay, excellent. Um, is, yeah, get your education, get a job um, that pays the bills, like pay your rent, buy some food, st stack up some money, and then use that money to find freedom to explore what you really want to do. That's essentially what I did too. I uh, I worked I worked my like nine to five coding job. I was earning more money than like a 20 year old knew how to spend because I was just into video game shit. Like I wasn't buying houses or good clothes. Okay, Sam. Um, Make your way to the designated construction And then, yeah, use use that, like, bed of money to switch careers, basically. Your help? Um, the thing finished in no time. Cashed out my 401k and got a job contracting as a web developer, and then that way I could work, like, five to six hours a day and then use the rest of my time sort of... Uh, writing about video game stuff and trying to get that off the ground, so... Seems like a pretty viable strategy. Rather, it worked for me. Okay. Ah, oh wait, it's already there. Okay, I guess I don't need to, uh... Oh, 
I wish I got jumped into a serving job when I was younger. Can't imagine taking a waiting job now. It's way too stressful. Oh, man. Especially during quarantine. I can't imagine. Because it's just like an extra stressor. There's one thing I know working like retail for years is that people make all the difference. And they take it out of you, man. Somebody comes in with a bad attitude and they got a chip on their shoulder. It's like, you found the site. It's like, it's like they're withdrawing from your emotional bank. And it can be hard to deal with too many of, too many of those types. I think it's, it's one of those things where you very much do get better at it. But, uh... Okay. I think every person should work in hospitality at some point in their life. Humbles you and teaches you to not be an asshole to servers. Yes. I kind of agree. I kind of agree. I don't think it's necessary if, like, people are raised the right way. But they are often not. Work as a servant in a dining movie theater. It's so fucking stressful. I can't wait to leave that job. I'm sorry. I think I think to make it in professions like that, you do have to develop a sort of healthy sense of, like, eh. Like, I'll deal with your stuff, but I'm not going to take it. I can't take any of this personally. Bravo, Sam. Which sucks, because... That bridge should make life easier for a lot of people. You want to get invested sure in your work. traveler in Porter who passes that way will put it to good use. Oh, that's right. I need you to make a... a spot that could do I need to make a tower for the, uh, the bike. I got punched in the face working customer service. Really? Ugh. That's... The fact that somebody would resort to physical violence, it's its sad, too, because it's never about the thing. It's never about the thing. It's always that somebody feels like they're downtrodden or not being respected. or so. It's just, it's so tough when the issue at hand is not the issue at hand. We're there in 2018. Oh. I would even get a lot from male consumers instantly as I answered. I want to speak to a man because they generalize that I don't know video games right off the bat because I was female. Hear them instantly wrong by solving their issues, especially young kids were the rude ones. Usually most were nice. I did get hit on a lot too. It was funny or get in trouble because I talked too long about video games with consumers. I do that. Uh, that last part, talking too much. I'm really sorry to hear that though. That sucks. Okay, so yeah, bridges are... Wait, I thought... Oh, I guess I can't make... Uh, I can't make towers yet. Okay. Or uh, charging towers. Beginning scan. Scanning bridges. I find a similar experience to your GameStop one with miniature painting and really just any hobby you're passionate about. I find, at least for me personally, being able to help someone improve their skills or being able to share pieces that we poured our hearts and hours into is deeply satisfying. It's something we want to share with others. Weapons restrictions yeah. lifted. I think everybody's just looking for someone to uh to bond with. And uh it seems easiest to do that around the things that you're passionate about, for obvious reasons. Is it weird that I hated retail and thinking waiting tables would be too stressful, but I'm also taking an ENT class and find the idea of that stress personally more manageable? No, I, I think that makes sense. At least... At least it makes sense that you'd be stressed as an EMT. That's the weirdest thing to... Like, I feel like, I feel like it cuts both ways, because on... Oh boy, Benjamin, what are you saying? Um, I feel on one one hand that like, yeah, when somebody comes in and just like gets in your face and is just real nasty and aggressive, it stresses you out. And then for me at least, I was always like, why is this guy stressing me out? Like, it would frustrate me that it, it did affect my uh, demeanor. Hey, hey. Um, when I knew it was just a stupid job and it was just some asshole who's mad about video games, but I'm like oh, That seems like a really annoying thing to go to over the power supply unit. Okay. I'm gonna guess there's BTs in here Rough going don't give up Never give up All right. Oh, there's BTs here. Okay. Well in that case. Yeah, let me I'll go up here and then here and then here so just oh, it's just really rocky. Boof. I mean, I guess I could try to go over. I don't think I have any ladders, though. I didn't think I'd need them. I thought it was mostly flat around here. Let me check. I have a climbing anchor. It's good for going down, not up. Shit. I have no, no ladders. All right. 
I like spicy food. Um, I've been... I like spicy food more than I used to. Dasik. Uh, spicy food is a dieter's best friend. Adds a lot of flavor to things with no calories. It's great. Expectations play a huge role in stress. If you're in a situation you know will be stressful, it seems much easier to deal with. That's an interesting point, Cranberg Lair. Yeah, I guess it was just the extreme volatility. Like, you never knew. A customer walking in could be the nicest, most pleasant person in the world, or they could be a goddamn time bomb. And I guess it's that, it's, yeah, it's it's just out of nowhere. Now you've got this fucking guy yelling at you. Um, that, I guess, really didn't make it hit or sting a lot more. Is not being able to mentally prepare. Ah, screw it, I'm just gonna walk through it. I'll see you, Jess. Have a good dinner. Yeah. It's easier to get past people screaming if you don't take it personally. So it's tough. It's tough to manage because you have to you have to put on your sort of like your work persona and you have to care to some degree, otherwise people are just gonna get more angry if they can tell you don't care. But it is sort of being that being that robot. Being like, I understand you're very upset, allow me to address this right away, kind of thing. As opposed to uh like letting your actual cares and worries uh, slip through. But again, at that point it is just a job. And it would be nice if work could be more than that. Paper Mario's out early physically? Oh no. I wonder if I wonder if any game stores around here have it. That would be awesome. The professional attitude is key. Yeah. I, to be frank, given, or I say that a lot, uh, I guess, I guess on reflection I am, it was probably the best thing for me, working food service and retail when I did, because I, I had no social skills really before that to speak of. Um, so, invaluable to learn how to communicate with and deal with people who are actively antagonizing you. Ends up being pretty good, uh, pretty good tool on the internet too. Worked a few retail and customer service things in the UK. Told customers to piss off and never had any repercussions. Maybe not literally, but basically the same thing. And the US is so different, you can't do anything. Yeah. The way it works in the US is... Keep on keeping on. You get shit on. And if people are mad at you, they'll just go over your head to the person who didn't have to deal with them. I've had people Always like the quiet. be horrible with me. And all I'm doing is, like, telling them that I, I, like, fundamentally, it's impossible for me to, to, uh, to accommodate their requests. Like, they want the, they literally want the impossible. Or they're just being so nasty that, like, I could do them a favor, but I'm choosing not to. Um, because I don't, like, they didn't approach the situation properly. Um, and in my mind, I want to at least do my part to try and reinforce some justice in the world. Um... The people who came into my store and were like, look, I'm sorry, dude, but, like, this is messing up. I, I exchanged, like, a PS3 for a guy, like, three times because he was just real nice about it. Um, and we weren't supposed to do exchanges. Like, we weren't supposed to. We were told not to. Um, but I was like, man, fuck it. I'll, I'll take the heat for this if I need to. But there were times where somebody would come in and, like, I remember I worked for the Xbox 360 launch, and that was horrible. That was just awful. Um, people were so nasty for that. But... Like, people would demand Xboxes and I just didn't have any. And I would try to tell them as curt and, and like, polite as possible. They'd demand to see my manager. They would then immediately switch demeanor, right? Because they got to be the good guy now. So they'd talk to my manager and be really calm and collected or whatever. And then my manager would tell them the exact same thing. And they'd be like, thank you. And then shoot me, like, dirty looks and stuff. And it's just like, oh, my God. People know that if they go over your head and talk to somebody who didn't have to deal with their shit, they can write the narrative, and they do. And then I would get reprimanded or whatever, just talk to, whatever. The fun part is when you work retail and you realize they're not paying you enough to deal with that bullshit. And if you show up on time and do a, de a decent job, they're not going to fire you because that's already way more than most, like, re retail workers do. So. Uh, I came to that realization at some point. that I was like, hey, you know what I just realized? Especially when I, I had a manager when I worked at GameStop when I started that was awesome. Loved him and do anything for him. And then it swapped around to somebody else who was nice, but like more corporate, I guess. More, more of a. Oh shoot, that's a lot of that's an XL. 
I'll get that on the way back. Oh wait, that's distribution center? West, okay. Wait, distribution center west is not... Oh, it is there, okay. The square means there's cargo in that facility share locker. I actually didn't know that, okay. I guess I'll have to check it on the way back. There's so many post boxes and they all have cargo. Um, yeah, once, once you hit that point of, of true non-shit giving at a retail job where you realize that, like, management might chew you out, but it actually doesn't matter because you're not going to get promoted anyway, so who cares? That was another, that was another realm of freedom that I experienced working a shitty job I didn't care about. It's like, I don't care what my boss thinks. I don't care what the customers think. I'm going to do what I think is right and just collect my paychecks. And that's that. Oh, that's great, T. Wood. Manager says she will always have my back because I'm not paid enough to deal with people's shit. That's that's amazing. I I had so many like, well, I had like regional managers. I hated when like regional managers would visit because they would like interact with one customer and then and then be like, there, I did it. I know what this is like, and I'm like, boy, you do not. Blech. Having a manager that doesn't have your back is really discouraging. Yeah. I mean, in any circumstance, really. Um, you can have a corporate job where you know management doesn't care. And that hurts, too. I think just, just working in a hierarchy and feeling... Um, pick up. What were you telling me to pick up? Oh, there's Cairo there. I didn't see it. There we go. I think a lot of that carries over into the corporate world. Everything is customer service. Just rethink other departments as customers. That's a good point. Man, yeah. Man managers messing with you, other departments messing with you. That That's the stuff that would damage my, like, morale the most. When in a company um, like Machinima and other more recent companies, when even departments wouldn't get each other's back. Like, wouldn't, couldn't even return a damn email and would treat it like a huge inconvenience just to talk to you. God damn it. That, uh... Or would treat you like the enemy because you're trying to explain your conditions and you're not just doing what they want. Bleh. Worked six years in a rental shop at Ski Hill and was the manager for my last three. I was only 19 to 21 at the time. Long story short, I got pretty good at dealing with people. It's, it's a pretty vital skill to have. Um, and yeah, you can you can for sure tell when... Uh, holy crap, this is so much. Oh, there's so many rocks. Yeah, you can for sure tell when uh, when somebody doesn't. That's right. I learned partially, partially through this game that I need to only pick up stuff that is on the way to where I'm going. Because otherwise you end up carrying a bunch of junk around for no reason. It's been a, de a decade working in the tattoo industry. Let me tell you, nothing like the stress of a service industry where the results of every client are not just extremely personal, but permanent for life. Mess anything up and it could ruin someone's life at least temporarily. I had not thought about that. Yeah, the, the stress of uh, giving tattoos. Good lord. That's a lot. That's a lot. If you want to be a people person that don't have a job that involves dealing with people, I don't know. I think I think it it gets easier the more you do it. All right, here we go. Gotta trudge through all these rocks. Bring at least two sprays. Kill a... I found... In my, in my gameplay experience, which is not absolute... I found that, like, even though the containers would get destroyed... I very rarely, almost never, actually damaged the items themselves. Because I just didn't drop stuff. Uh, most of the time. So... Yeah, repair spray is nice, but you can still get 100% if you don't knock it around even after the container's destroyed. My biggest accomplishment working retail was dodging a robbery because I took my break two minutes prior. Oh my god. Yeah, there was a rash of GameStop robberies back when I worked there, but our store never got hit. I mean, it almost literally got hit. 
I was working the closing shift and I think a drunk driver like jumped a median and crashed into the strip mall we were working in. But it was like it was like one it was one store down, basically. So Woo! Hello boys. That's a lot. Okay, I think I can thread through over here. Yeah, it's more about the chance they get damaged, yeah. I guess that, we were kind of discussing earlier how the game seems to not really have fail states. Um, but I guess damaging... Fuck. Shit, man. Destroying mission critical cargo, I guess, would be a fail state. What happens then? Do you just redo the delivery? Oh. I thought I was holding my breath there. I wasn't. Oi! Quiet, dumbass. Like, it's, it seems like he's talking to you. Uh. When he says that. How were Black, how bad were Black Fridays? It could have been, it could have been worse. I did not, I did not work in a mall GameStop. So, uh, I think I dodged the worst of it. Um. Like, I think on a black like the worst was there was a year I had to work a Black Friday open to close by myself. Um, that's that's how cheap GameStop was getting at the time, or how how lean they were trying to cut it. For all I know, there were other there were other circumstances involved with that. But uh, boy, did I feel fucked. I actually worked a lot of open to close shifts by myself that that winter, which is the worst, man. Getting up at like 6 a.m. and it it gets cold in Texas. Um, getting up at 6 a.m. and opening a store by yourself, which involves like inventory counts and a bunch of tedious shit that they don't give you time to do, by the way. Um, and then like, the worst part was they would load you down with all these responsibilities to like count this shit and do this shit and move this stuff and clean this. And you had to get all this done before opening, which wasn't possible if you were by yourself. So I was doing opening tasks while the store was open. And I would be in the middle of like doing console counts of the day or whatever. And then I had to help somebody. And if, like, I was not primed uh, to to be a helpful employee then. Um, especially if that employee had an a or that, that customer had an attitude, which happened a couple times. I was busy doing all of my dumb menial task bullshit that I just wanted to get out of the way. And then somebody would come in with a snippy attitude and I'd be like, boy, do I not have time for you right now. Um, ah, there's so many. Ah! That's a whole goddamn wall! I... Maybe I can climb up this. I wonder if- I wonder if difficulty influences the density of BTs. Whoop! Okay, you're not- okay. I wanted you to climb, but I guess I was holding the- wait, what? Oh. Nope, he's got me. Fuck! Uh, my stuff! Oh, X. Fuck. I was hitting A. <laughs> Controllers. Okay, well, didn't shake them off. I got fucked. Pee on them. Unfortunately, didn't get there fast enough. Okay, now I can pee on them. Hold on a second. I don't have any... Well, I have... I was like, I don't have any tools to fight this thing. They're actually not unlocked in the game yet. Oh, change page. Wait, there it is. That's what we need. Use it. Okay. Just got it. Sit faster. Eat it! Drink it! Drink my piss! Ooh! Well, the car goes trashed. It didn't quite work. But I also wasn't aiming correctly. Interesting. Okay, I have never seen that screen before. Okay. So yeah, that's what uh that's what repair spray is for. Ping on him is a tactic. I mean, it's clearly not. Um although uh 
lore wise it it absolutely is all right i'm gonna here here's what i'm gonna do i don't think you get a you don't get a private locker do you no i can't use this at all wait a minute can you fight bts yes Oh, an online post box, okay. Wait, I have my own. I could build my own post box. Loot box you can eventually. Um, that's part of like the power curve of the game. You eventually do get abilities that help you manage BTs. Um, but at the beginning of the game, avoidance is pretty much all you got. Sam, if you stumble across any memory chips on the road, be sure to submit them via the nearest terminal. I forgot about memory There's chips. No telling what kind of rare and valuable data they Is there a reason contain? vehicles aren't used very You're often? Sure to make um, very, terrain. Very happy with your contribution. You held the wrong button? Yeah. I did, that's true. Um, oh, one lets you upgrade the box, one lets you use it. Oh, sorry. I thought you were talking about... Um, when I was trying to... Uh, okay, here, I'll... Stuff's all going to different places, actually, so. Okay. Um, that's what you need roads for. The paths we walk become roads, Sam. See the tracks you left behind? They tell a story. If you were a spy on a mission, you'd have failed. But you're not. So be proud of those tracks. They're proof that you exist. Keep leaving that proof. Let people know you're out there. Give them the courage to come together again. As you expand the network and aid your fellow Americans, you strengthen the bonds between us all and blaze a trail for them to follow. I feel like that that is one of the... That literally is them basically telling you sort of the design thrust of the game. If this were Metal Gear, that would have been a fail state. But we don't want to think about it like that for this game. You're out there and you're doing stuff. And just because you failed doesn't mean your activities were a failure. You learned... Your, your, you know, activities resonate in the world and they linger. I feel like, I feel like that is so much more of a constructive mentality to just be in as a human being. Um, that if you don't achieve these arbitrary success and fail states, that that doesn't mean your time is invalidated. <laughs> Hell yeah. Where, where do these avatars pull from, I wonder? Is it just Steam? We're going to be getting some, probably some spicy avatars then. Okay, well. I will grab that stuff on the way back. Despite how crazy the trailers were, the game itself is not really that subtle or confusing. Mm, I think it can be. I think it's, uh, I think the game, the game can be explicit about some things and very inexplicit or very subtle about other things. Maybe subtlety is the wrong word. Obtuse. That's the word I would use. Oh! God damn it. Yeah, I feel like I feel like I'm already kind of feeling this. The very hard clicking in a little bit. Oh yeah, you can make you can make like sandals. There we go. Yeah, sandal weed. In case you accidentally burn your feet out and have none. The game relies on its community to help you. Yeah. The idea that, that, like, most video games are so much about, like I said before, the, the power and the victory of the self. You are a Doom guy. You are BJ Blazkowicz. I don't know why I'm only bringing up id shooters, but, you know, Master Chief. You are the, the powerful, strong protagonist that, through the force of their will and their will and their power, save the day, change the world, complete the story. This game sort of forces you to acknowledge that it's not all just you. And that's not bad. It's actually good. It's actually a good thing that it's not all about you. That way you can both accept the help and communal benefit of others while also contributing to it yourself. You don't have to save the whole world. You just have to be one of the 40,000 trying to do it. I, I, I don't know. There was a point in the game where I was like, 
I was I was helping people build roads and I was driving on those roads and delivering stuff and it really did feel like yeah, this is nice. As someone who maybe in conjunction with video games, but certainly because I didn't necessarily have uh, strong support networks, um, over rely on self. Uh, this game this game was a fun experience and a, an important one to have. A little like Dark Souls, a little bit Sithic. I, uh, yeah, the the implicit nature of, of community and collaboration with the Souls games is, I think, sort of reflected here. Um, not only in design intent, but also in literal implementation. Like, the asynchronous co-op, big part of it. I don't think any, did any game do that before Demon Souls? You can build roads? Yes, you can. You can build highways, which really makes the texture of the game so different. Having a big-ass fat road to go through areas like this instead of trudging through it on foot, oh my god. It's so different. But it does require the collective action of a whole group of players. Just try to do things. You'll heck it up, but use that to do better things. Yeah. I agree. That's why I, I, to some degree, get a little annoyed at the people who talk about like preser preserving the vision of games and preserving the like de difficulties as often discussed in those things of like this is this is like deep territory, but or deep deep in conspiracy territory, but the notion that like games journalists are pushing for games to be easier so that they can beat them. It's like, come on, man. I think once you get there, you're starting to overvalue the the act of playing video games. I do enjoy joking about that stuff, though. I like literalizing the mindset. On this stream, every time I play a video game, I am in active and open combat with the game developers. Because the only reason a, good, a game developer makes a game is to try and humiliate gamers. That's the only reason. There's no other reason. So by coming out here and beating these games, I'm telling these fat cat game developers, they can't hold us down. They can't. I'm out here accomplishing miracles, and they can't stop me by beating these, beating these video games. <laughs> Hideo Kojima's watching right now. I bet, I bet Hideo Kojima was was smug as hell when I got BT'd up like that. I saw a game over screen and he laughed. He laughed. Ooh. That's probably not how he laughs, but I like to imagine it. He's sitting back with like a really tiny cappuccino, like one of those really tiny cappuccino cups. He's laughing. Ooh. He's reading his Japanese poetry. He's sipping his fucking cappuccino and he's laughing. God damn you, Kojima. Just you wait until I deliver this package like you intended me to. That'll show you. <laughs> yeah, you can't stop a gamer from gaming, baby. He laughs like Jabba the Hutt? Yes, that, that's exactly Lord Huar. That's exactly what I was... I think that's exactly what is unconsciously going towards. That, like, hedonistic, self-assured belly laugh. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh my god, dude. I just had the best mental image. Uh, Kojima's Job of the Hut with Jeff Keighley wearing Slave Leia bikini. Uh, no slight to Jeff. I would love to be Kojima's Slave Leia. Oh, 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 oh. Omar of a Salacious Crumb? Um, we'll say that that's Jeff Keighley's laughter. We're mixing up a lot of archetypes in Jabba's Palace now, but... Ah, <laughs> uh, Salacious Crumb is so good. When Stephanie, uh, when we went to Galaxy's Edge, Stephanie got one of those shoulder salacious crumbs. Oh. It's amazing because there's like, there's like a little uh, shoulder pad that has a magnet on it, and then salacious sits on that, so he just stays on your shoulder. Um, but there's also a little like, whoop! There's a little like hand thing you can do with like a little thumb trigger to move his head back and forth and talk. So, she was she was basically incapacitated for a few hours making Salacious look around and laugh at stuff. It was delightful. Yeah. Darny boy, it's 
It's you can get as like world weary and jaded about about Disney as a property in Disneyland, but sometimes you do feel like even as an adult you can feel that joy of like a well engineered, well made toy that lets you live something, lets you be somewhere for a while. What is Salacious Crumb? Oh, it's it's the tiny guy sitting in the that like picked out three PO's eye in a Return of the Jedi, Star Wars. All weapons will remain locked until departure. Cargo verified. Death Stranding didn't do as well as Sony had hoped. I already said his next idea was scrapped. I think he'll be forced to do something a little smaller and lower budget. I don't think that's the case. I think I think he'll have to do something a little less, a little less um, risky. This is a risky game. If he made a if he made a, a big beefy man dude shoot game, it probably would have sold really well because he's very good at making those. He's good at making mass market action games. He chose not to. And Sony allowed him to because they've actually had a lot of success being pretty risky with their bets. Um, but I think this game was just too foreign. Also, it wasn't a sequel. So I think there's a lot of things to, to kind of look at in regards to the game's performance. It also just released on PC. And that is that is a uh, like a double dip that Sony's never really taken before. So would you consider it self-indulgent? Yes, but in the right way. You know? This game is clearly the the brainchild of somebody with a particular imagination. So I think to some degree the self-indulgence is like, we're going to make it this way. And this is this is what I wanted to say and how to say it. But I don't think it's about him, you know? I don't think he made it to live a fantasy he wants to live. I don't think he made it... I was going to say, I don't, I don't think he made it so that he would be celebrated. Or, or anything like that. I think the, the, the branding and him putting his name on it is more of a career thing. And also I think the, I think it's only natural to want to get recognized for your contributions to something. Plus he earned it. Yeah, Andrew. Delivering. Um, I don't want to go that far because people, people have a knee jerk sometimes, but. Thank you. Kojima's uh, pedigree Other places too, if it works. has existed long before Metal Gear Solid. And even during his production of Metal Gear Solid, he made other games that were also really good. So, I don't know. It bums me out when people talk about Kojima only knowing Metal Gear, only having played Metal Gear, and just have this really weird surface level impression of, of him as a, as a game director. Was this even a AAA budget game? Oh yeah. I mean, on top of them forming an entirely new staff for it. Yeah. Go for it. Artists making his art. Green Cable. I mean, that that happens. There sometimes that is allowed to happen. Is that somebody is given a degree of uh, of trust. ever come out why Kojima was booted out of Konami? Not really. Which is probably for the best. I think I think that might be like industry gossip that most people wouldn't handle properly. People would go into it looking for or looking to validate certain narratives at this point that it may just not even be on that wavelength. I'm going to as you increase your Hold connection on. level, oh, the bandwidth oh. available to you will increase as well. What do you think of Kojima's content that Americas don't get Death Stranding? I think that was unfortunate. Um, and I think Americans do love to knee-jerk react about certain things. I think America, and this is borne out by sales charts, uh, and this, this actually links back to a lot of what I was saying, like, the American sensibility loves the idea of a strong protagonist who grabs power and wins. Open fire! Uh, your Master Chiefs, your John Halos, you know, your any video game protagonist that does well in the West. It's all strong, maybe just like ornamentally flawed characters that uh, exemplify that like, I call it an American ideal, I guess. Gruff military dudes that save the princess, kill the alien leader, and do it with a variety of very large guns. Like that is the American fantasy. And this game is so opposite to that. I think it was a mistranslation. Um, I also think that the, the paraphrase that Americans don't get it um, is a little charged in terms of words. I think 
Death Stranding is not a game that leans into entertainment factors that typically test very well in the United States. Um, and I don't think he's wrong about that. I don't think he's wrong. Especially when it comes to like, yeah, it's hard to sell a AAA where you don't shoot. Yeah, where the game isn't about, isn't about shooting. Um, or destruction, really, of any kind. Um, I mean, even look at The Last of Us. Like, The Last of Us sold pretty well. Um, it's a game about shooting. But gamers didn't super react well to the insinuation that they shouldn't like shooting so much. Um, so Death Stranding kind of went the other tack and made a game that just wasn't about shooting at all. Like, it's not about lecturing you about shooting while you're shooting. It's about, how about not even shooting? And I think because of that, it didn't really grab the... Didn't really take a foothold in... Oh, Generator, great, okay. Didn't really take a foothold in the United States. Which is fine, you know? People come to people come to video games for entertainment, and it's fine for that entertainment to be about shooting. Um, it's about building. Yeah, Hibu, the... the Thanks again. The aggravating thing is you know, that there are a number of non-destructive games that succeed very well in the United States. The, uh, the Sims and uh, uh, like Pokemon Go, as well as you. Minecraft. She made it to Edge Not City yet? These are all games that like are not about destruction or conflict. Interestingly, core gamers tend to not recognize them as real games, which should tell you a lot about gamer culture. When you see her, feel free to tell her I said so. But I think. Because it came from Sony first party, it got the it got the visibility of a lot of people who are kind of used to a certain dynamic with games. After dispersing an aerosolized sample of your blood in BT territory, mm. we observe. I find myself using that they don't get it whenever I read a negative review for this game. I've been trying to stay away from that line of thinking. To whom we can turn for additional testing, it does suggest. Oh, should clarify a red reviews that said it wasn't interesting. I haven't played it. I don't think that's fair. Death Stranding is an endlessly interesting game. That doesn't make it fun for people. Yeah, the marketing was also esoteric. I mean, how would you market a game like this? I think they leaned on that. You've got to reunite the world. Like, that was the tagline of the game. And certainly it's in the game, but ends up not being the whole, like, thrust of it. By the time you arrive... We can give you the completed prototype in person. One other thing. It's not very often porters get out to that wind farm. While you're there, you should pick up any outstanding orders. No sense coming all the way back here empty-handed if there's work to be done. Yeah. Have a look at that delivery terminal. I, I feel like... Good work. New order available. Please access delivery terminal for so tired. Hey, you know what? Take a load off my man. How do you market Deadly Premonition? I mean, there's there's some cultural cultural awareness of stuff like Twin Peaks, but yeah, I don't know. Let's have a let's have a little rub out, my man. Imagining a 90 second trailer that's just Sam walking with epic music playing. I mean, they made that. <laughs> I remember the uh, what is the Apocalyptica trailer? I thought it was amazing, um, and seemed to kind of. Oh, that's nice. Seemed to, to, to grab the mood now that I've played the game, and you know, like... Oh, the trailer that Kojima edited himself. Yeah, that one. Oh. Snooze and soothe. Hungry Guy 11 thanks for the prime sub. Oh, Luigi, thank you for the cheer, by the way. Oh, Ravensay, thank you for the resub. Grandmaster 20, thank you. Johnny Fontaine. What is that name from? Damn. Long production games like this in Last of Us 2 had this mystery and illusion. Gamers built certain expectations on the game and were severely disappointed. Another reason because their mental interpretation is not exactly the same. There's there's certainly an element of that disconnect, yeah. Yeah. There. Nice 20 second rest. Ready to go. Just had a spider climb down a string of the web off the brim of my hat in front of my face. So if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go burn down my house. Yep. Might as well. Take out an insurance policy first. Why not?
I remember not finding... I wanted to find way more of these chips. But they unlock lore, I believe, and... Yeah. I say, I, I don't know what I did to deserve such kindness. What? Thank you for your contribution. Sorry, what? Okay. I can listen to I don't was the God of War soundtrack in Death Stranding PS4? Cleared to take on open orders. While they're not as high priority as the ones specifically assigned to you, if you're already heading a certain way and you have room to spare, it couldn't hurt to do a little more, right? Just because they're not mission critical doesn't mean they're not important to someone. So why not do a good deed or two? Hmm. For the summer, I was going to buy a game to celebrate finishing exams as good as I did. Had one out of three of uh, of lectures prior to... Oh, okay. Prior to COVID, shutting shit down. It's been Death Stranding and Spider-Man. The latter just sold as it better, even though I followed Death Stranding more. Hmm. The shiny things referred to in the emails are the chips locations. Oh! Ah. Oh, it's for your private room. They said you could play it on your, your cuff, though. Okay. This is a somewhat unusual order. Mmm. You're going to want to review the key points in the Right. Summary. This one's timed. Which means you got to go back through the, uh... Hey, great work. That wind farm you've brought into the network is essential for our continued expansion. By way of reward, I've added a little something to your PCC. A generator option. Generators recharge the batteries of all nearby devices. That includes machines, bikes, and other battery-powered vehicles. I don't enjoy open-world games enough to want to play this game, but I could look at the UI and industrial design in this game all day. Yeah, there's there's so much good visual design. It's, um... This game really... There was a lot of work and creativity that went into this game. Just a lot. And I appreciate that so much. That's why I like the... Honestly, one of the big reasons I like the game so much. Okay. Also, let me see about those low-priority orders. Delivery parameters updated. Time. I should probably not stack up on all this stuff. Oi! Double check the order summary. That's it. I mean, they're, I think that one specifically is really heavy, so they were trying to. Oh, jeez. We're trying to warn me a little bit. Did you ever play Snatcher on stream? Yes, actually. That's uh. Leading up to Cyberpunk, I'm planning to play like a month of just Cyberpunk games, and Snatcher is definitely in the list. And Psychonauts. Or sorry, uh, Police Knots. I played a, I played like a little bit of Snatcher. I played like the first five to six hours, and it's it's a fun game. Um, it's definitely a nerdy game. Remember, one foot in front of the other. All there is to it. That's a... Yeah, Man, Kojima's a dork. Uh, yeah. Oh, there's a... Fuck yeah, there's a bridge. Holy shit. How did somebody build a bridge there? Now that it's on the chiral network, I can actually uh, get assistance from other people. So there, there were a lot of moments, a lot of design moments in this game where it would do exactly this. <clears throat> it forces you into an area where the chiral network isn't. So you have to do it on your own the first time. And then once everyone else comes in and helps out, then suddenly it gets so much easier, which is a great way to reinforce to people the value of working together. I always thought that was really, really smart. Rewatching Ghost in the Shell before Cyberpunk? That's a good call. Ghost in the Shell is not quite as, like... Ghost in the Shell can be pretty austere, though. I feel like Cyberpunk's gonna be a little goofier. Someone's happy. Weapons restrictions lifted. Okay, so now that I have a bridge, maybe I can just... Let's see if I can just jaunt right over all these stupid ghosts. What? Oh, that's right, you can, uh... You can change the noise it makes. 
Oh, there's nothing in there. All right, well. Oh, just run a destroyed space filled up with my barbell equipment for my closed down gym and did my first barbell workout in three to four months. My God, it felt so good. Hey, nice. Is it like uh, air cooled? Or it has air conditioning, I guess. Why is there just a star here sometimes? I don't. I thought that only went down if you like placed an item or something. But hey, there, have it. Cairn? Oh, is that where he died? Oh, I guess that other guy, other guy died at the mule camp. The guy that I, I screamed at his little indicator. Air cooled high, wish. Had to walk outside periodically to cool down. I even got a little hologram here. Yeah, let's let's drop some likes for this. Thirty thousand likes. I guess if you're the first guy to put a bridge here, Thanks you're you're on you're on easy liking street for the rest of the game. That's where someone sat to rest. Oh, okay. Oh, maybe there's no rain. There's no time fall here anymore. That's right. You eventually get the option to see like time fall patterns. Mushrooms are where somebody peed. Ah, okay. All right. That's right. It's it's all coming back slowly. Yeah, that, that got me through like half of that stuff that quickly. Dang. Dang. Okay, so I want to go back to these storage containers to pick up the stuff I left, so I can take it back to port, or west of Port Knot. Yeah, way station west of Port Knot. It was small for 100 likes. Gimme. Do likes affect anything? Yes. They level you up as a, uh, as a uh, cargo courier and like fundamentally enhance your abilities. And then, um, likes with specific, uh, Cities and delivery terminals will open up new lore and just like uh, aesthetic upgrades and stuff. Why did people hate this game and why don't you hate it for the same reasons? I don't think anyone hated this game. Um, I think most people just didn't know what to make of it and couldn't figure out how to interact with it. Um, I saw a lot of good commentary. I think I think most people's complaints were that it just doesn't have the same. Uh, same reward loops and combat encounters that you expect from a traditional video game. Like people, I think people played it and it wasn't obvious how to have fun with it. So people, some people didn't know how to have fun with it or just said it wasn't fun. So therefore it must not be a good video game. Like, I don't think games critics by and large. Some, some did. I did actually read some reviews that were pretty insightful and interesting, even though I may have disagreed with some of the conclusions, but I think uh, uh, this game, more than a lot of other games, kind of exposes how... Hmm, how amateur games criticism can be. Um, I can't really speak for, you know, individuals, because I have no idea how this game was actually received. It seemed like most people just decided it wasn't worth worrying about. That's actually almost got me maxed out. That's a lot of likes, though. It's only 2.5? I mean, I'm gonna have to go back there after this. I think it's when I, this is when I start working my way back to, uh, to Port Knot, right? Because, yeah, you get to do that with a, uh, you get to do that with a car. Keep forgetting. Do you feel like there are games that require you to find the fun, but when you do, they're a blast? Never begrudge anyone who doesn't feel like they should have to look too hard. Well said, Mortiport. Pretty, uh... 
pretty, pretty gosh darn reasonable. Nope. Sam, if you'd like someone to take care of a standard delivery for you, you can put the relevant cargo in a share locker. Should a fellow porter decide to lend you a hand, they can deliver the cargo to its destination, where it'll be held in a nearby storage unit. Oh, Red Dog? Love that the other players that were in my world were listed in the end credits, which meant I was in some way responsible for their experiences. That hit me hard. Yeah. I think this game... Um, oh, shoot. That's that's too heavy. Rip. There's some good stuff here, though. That's that's just tools. Like, that is... That's weird. That Standard order. Shoot. Uh, I might be able... Oh, no, wait. That's stuff I'm holding. Never mind. Right. Of course they're all the heaviest things. Of course they are. This is when coming back with like Yeah, I don't have I don't have storage for this. Yeah, whatever. Coming back with like a car is kind of necessary to do deliveries like that, but Uh, Mountain WV. Thanks for the prime. Also, uh, Thumb Ninja, add Observer to your Cyberpunk list. Thumb Ninja, I started playing Observer because I really like Bloober Team, and I was excited to see them do a Cyberpunk thing, but I don't know. Um, I'm sorry to say that, like, as much as as much as much I love Rudger Hauer, oh boy, his VO was getting a little, a little rough in that game. Um, but yeah, I th I'm pretty sure it's on my list. I would like to finish it. Um, if for no other reason than to just finish every game Bloober has put out, because I, I love their output so far. Man, you want to talk about walking simulators. They're perfecting the art. I got burnt out trying to finish roads and took a break, but I've not gone, gone back. You, you don't have to keep doing that, Metallica for life. I, uh... Yeah, when I started playing this, I was like, oh no. Oh no, no, no. I'm gonna get consumed trying to build all these damn roads, but uh, yeah, if you already built some roads, you did your part. That's that's the most comforting thing about this game is that you get you get credit for doing a little bit. I feel like there's so much in this game that tries to reinforce you don't have to do it all, but it uh, it can be hard to, to wean yourself off of that mentality. At least it can be for me. Yeah, every bit counts. It was actually, for me at least, it was it was pretty uh, pretty therapeutic to have a game reinforced that I didn't have to. I don't have to save the world, you know. I don't have to. Uh... Why is there a lambda? Sorry to interrupt the music, but I'm curious. Data, splice, bridge links. A bridge link is another way of describing the connection between you and another porter. If you want to forge a powerful bond, consider a strand contract. Yeah. Let's see here. Interact with... Strand contracts can be formed after reaching bridge link grade 10. Uh, makes their structures and lost cargo easier to see. I see. I thought it also... Gave, didn't it give you some kind of like... I thought it gave you some sort of statistical boost, but maybe not. Yeah, like this dude has a sky high bridge link. Was it because people linked with him a lot? Hmm. Oh my god. Uh God of War was a 2005 action game that made use of the imagery and themes of ancient Greece. Many titles were subsequently released in the series, with the most recent 2018's God of War proving to be a true return to form, featuring an all-new story and settings which range from Greece to Scandinavia. Listening to the soundtrack, it's sure to provide a wind beneath the wings of your imagination, carrying you away to the world of the gods for another epic adventure. Well, that's, that's art from 2018's God of War, right? I thought they said something about you could listen to, or you could see it on your, I guess you can read emails on your wrist. That's what this is about. 
I'm curious about this Lambda, though. You've been working hard, Sam. Your Porter grade ought to go through the roof if you keep this up. I wonder, though, how's your BBs doing? How your BB is doing? Okay. Even if you're feeling fine, it might be a good idea to give the little guy a break from time to time. I don't know. Can't help but empathize with BBs, I guess. Maybe because I'd be one, too, if my last name began with a B. You know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, I guess BB. Look at that. So, yeah. Head down to one of those underground facilities. Private rooms, I mean. Take a load off. That's my advice. Your BB will thank you for it. See you around, Sam. Part of me does appreciate how informal and sometimes weird and goofy... Uh... Those, those character emails can be. Uh, satisfies. That's... Or suffice to say. That's such a great emote. Oh my god. Just wish you could play music freely while traveling. Yeah, I guess, I guess with the power of Xbox Game Bar... Wait, hold on. Oh! I could, I could theoretically, like, use Spotify or something, but I don't have Spotify, so... We'll see, we'll see. I know Google Play is merging into YouTube Music. I'll, I'll try to use YouTube Music, but maybe it's time to switch. Time to get with the program. Yeah, it is weird, considering you could do that in Metal Gear Solid 5. You had like a... You, had a you could do it in 4. I want to like this gun. Hold up. There you go, bud. That's a good bridge? Yeah, it's the tutorial bridge. So I don't think those likes actually go to anyone, but... Is that bridge always there? I mean, it's 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 a it's a mission. Somebody built one over there, too, which is much more useful. Beginning scan. Scanning bridges ID. Verifying ID. Clear. God, I'm so excited to get this shit off my back. Yeah. This is always fun. I like the, I like the sea of, uh... The sea of uh, of inspirational icons you see. Footwear condition poor. Replacement is advised. I decided to switch. Been waiting for them to allow your GPM library to be transferred. Oh boy, that would be great. Um, what what bums me out is the ability to upload your own music. Uh, and I don't think you can do that on Spotify. with an Xbox controller? Yeah. How do you feel about the product placement in the game? It seems incongruous, but it's also a really goofy game at times. And it's also a thing Kojima just likes to do. So, I don't think about it too much. It's one of the few things I don't overanalyze. Don't do things by halves, do you? Hard to believe one man could bring in a hole this big. That again? Oh, they did just recently allow stuff to be transferred. Oh! Like, uploads? Or is it just like libraries and playlists and things like that. Ooh. Oh, new data. That's what we need. Does the controller vibrate? Yes. Delivery time. Sweet, sweet delivery time. It's one of the only times I actually got delivery time rank. Ooh, Cyan, let me click on that. Don't you need to have the MP3 stored locally still for Spotify? I mean, I do. Oh. Wait, hold on. 
Oh, so many dingles. No! Oh, okay. Alright, yeah. Sorry, I thought that was maybe relating to, uh... Maybe relating to Spotify and Google Play Music. Bring people together and get them back on their feet. It's hard to believe you're just one guy. Can't help wondering if the Great Deliverer isn't actually a small army. Because it sure seems like whenever someone's in trouble, you're there to lend a hand. It's weird too because the game does an awful lot of massaging of your ego. Uh, Good luck out there. I think they're just trying to do their best to reinforce the positive sentiment of, of a job well done, you know? As opposed to, again, the, the more video gamey, normal sentiment of uh, punching the heck out of your enemies. Let's see here. These don't go here. Yeah, those don't go over there. Station West. Yeah, that's what I that's what I need. Well, before I do that, let me poke around a little bit. By handing over excess materials to a facility, you can increase the amount stored on site. Now, these materials can then be used later for equipment fabrication and so forth. Just remember that each facility has separate stores, and that the amount on hand differs from site to site. Don't get carried away. Uh, how many hours do I stream a day? I would say usually around eight. Just kind of ends up making sense in my uh, in my schedule. Depends what else I have to do in a given day, but it's been pretty light the past couple of days. Oh, Morford, I agree. Alana's podcast is very good. Um, if you if you actually want more insight into other areas of gaming aside from commentary, which is pretty much everything. Uh, out there. That's a very, very good website. I know a lot of publishers will actually put out their own podcast, which is nice. Or a lot of developers sometimes. But, uh, yeah. It's very good to hear perspectives other than just dudes who have never worked in games recycling ideas with each other. And that includes me, by the way. Let me be very clear about that. I'm actually very blessed that Stephanie also works in, in as a as a game developer because I do get to enjoy learning from her and gaining some insight into to her side of the job. Oh. There, see this this shit, the star meter. I don't think I ever saw that pop up after this part of the game. I don't think I ever ranked up BB's relationship and I didn't know how. <laughs> like it just never happened, and I kept interacting with him. Just love hearing nuanced takes these days, yeah. Something that's not... ...boiled down into its raw essence to make it as digestible as possible. Quality first! How's BB doing, Sam? I hope you've managed to avoid autotoxemia altogether. By the way, I've been wondering, how are your porter grades these days? Getting better and better, I imagine. Or maybe you don't really care about that stuff. Well, in case you do, I thought I might give you a quick primer, since I know it can be confusing. Bridges has developed a unique system to evaluate porter performance, and it focuses on five categories. Cargo condition, delivery volume, speed, bridge link, and miscellaneous. Colon D face. Obviously, the aim of the game is to get high grades in all five categories. If you ask me, though, you should prioritize cargo condition. I mean, what's the point of lugging something halfway across the continent if it's smashed to bits in the process? Thinky, thinky emoji. Sure, some people aren't all that bothered. Some will even let you get away with up to 50% damage or so, but come on. Imagine if you ordered a dozen thingamajigs and half of them were delivered broken. No, it's definitely better to put condition first. Treat your cargo with care and respect and you'll be rewarded with way more likes, trust me. That was my motto back when I was a porter. It wasn't always easy, and you can as you can imagine. Sometimes things got dicey, but I learned to hang in there and deliver my cargo in one piece. You do well to bear that in mind, Sam. After all, you've got the potential to be a way better porter than I ever was. Play yellow box while you read? Oh, good idea. I, I do, do I have that one? I do, okay. I don't think I have it unlocked yet. Please don't block this on YouTube, low roar. It may actually happen. Though. Hey, if it happens, it happens. I'll edit it out. I got other tracks, and I can drop game volume when I need to. Let's see. Oh, yeah. More emails. More. Still alive, new guy. 
Sam, how you doing out there? For a newbie, you're quite the workhorse, huh? Timefall's probably taking its toll on your equipment, am I right? Maybe some of your kit's not even usable anymore. Well, don't jump the gun and throw that stuff away just yet. One thing you can do is take your old equipment to a delivery terminal and recycle it. You can then fabricate yourself a new shiny, uh, shiny new whatever to use instead. Don't know if you're aware, but the whole recycling system is operated by the Budget Strand Foundation. That's right, the president herself set it up as a means to convert busted tools and gear back into usable resources. On the other hand, if your equipment's only halfway broke, but you still want to part ways, you can use a share locker and donate it to another porter whose need is greater than yours. You may well end up getting a like or two for your generosity. Never mind the warm, fuzzy feeling of having helped your fellow man. Uh, of course, the system works both ways, meaning you can snag stuff other porters put in share lockers too. If you're the one who could use with a helping hand. Anyway, both the recycling system and the share lockers have their uses. It's up to you to pick which method suits your needs best at any given moment. Still got hopes and... So you got a lot to learn, I guess. <laughs> but you'll have it all figured out in no time. We've got you a high hopes for you. Yeah, every Squires, it's weird. Everyone's sort of condescending to, to Sam as a new guy, even though, yeah, he has this whole history with Bridges and being a, a delivery one. So, they backseat porters? Kind of, yeah. New to Bridges. It's his damn name! So, sometimes I wonder if that's... It's not, it's not done on accident, you know? I think that's another, like... In this society, people just assume that what they see is face value, I think. Had it unsolicited turn into a link? I guess I guess Isited is a is now a, a web domain. <clears throat> You're doing very well, Sam Bridges. Well yay. I guess I should expect nothing less from the great deliverer though. Yeah, I've heard the stories. Rumor has it that you're a big Half-Life fan. You knew? Once we, once we were united, but now we've been scattered all over. But that's why we've all got to keep working, right? Anyway, I've got a favor to ask. I want you to find some lost cargo for me. You know the river to the north of the distribution center west of Capital Knot City? Just follow it northeast from the center and you should find what you're looking for. It's a cube, so it ought to be easy to spot. You've probably never seen anything like it before, so I wouldn't blame you for being leery. But it's not dangerous. It's really, really important to me. It's important as life itself. This is the companion cube? If you managed to find the cube, it'd be great if you could take it to the di distribution center west of Capital Knot City. I'll chuck a bunch of likes your way in exchange, of course. Plus a little something extra, too. You're the only one who can help me, Sam. I'm counting on you. Ooh. Let's see. River to the north of the distribution center west. Yeah. Follow it northeast from the center, and you should find what you're looking for. Uh, can I see the map here? I don't think I can, but I can read that email later, so that'll work out. Yeah, you can't see a local map. You can only see a national map, which is kind of weird. Okay. Your name is just your given name, your job, and the company you work for? I guess that's a good point. Yeah, Cranburglar. That seems to be how people are named in the future. They're named after their job or their occupation. Which, you know, it's happened in world cultures as the years have gone on. Oh, Krentis, I think I think that's just a PC inclusion in the, in the game. Although I guess it is on Steam. Maybe they could read... Read your play history. Alright, someone was mad about my shoes, so... Hmm. There. That's a Pixel Fox Live. How are you? Hopefully you're doing alright. Oh yeah, I can get the bike now. Oh, this is gonna be easy. Easy. I can probably carry around all those XL deliveries that were in that one thing too. Thank you for your continued support. This game rough on keyboard and mouse. I don't know. I've just I've just been playing on uh, on controller. I've never really, never really wanted to try it on keyboard and mouse. Really. Okay. Pretty sure the music composer said he'll try to get the videos not demonetized automatically. I don't know if he's successful. That's fine. I don't mind demonetization. It's blocks that are more annoying. Um, when I got a, uh, when I can't even publish a video, you know, if if, if the music label wants my five dollars, they can have it. I really don't mind. Let's see. Well, I'm going to all these places. That's a big one, but. Okay. 
Yeah, I imagine it's not great on keyboard and mouse either. I mean, I, most PC gamers these days have a controller. Yeah, I know, Sam. Chill out, dude. We're gonna have a bike soon. We won't have to worry about this shit anymore. I know. It's, it's, it's heavy, my man. You just had you just had a nice little nice little rest. I don't wanna. Beginning scan. I hear this. Pleasant journey. Oh, Dasik, time for bed. All right. Hey, Sam. Have a good night. Thanks you for watching. Probably get that bike running again if you charged it with a generator. Do you think? Why not give it a try? Weapons restrictions lifted. You can lean back to safely ride over smallish rocks. Yeah, Ravens. Ravens, a appreciate the pro tips, but I have I have beaten the game before. Uh, I do rem I do recall that that hot tip. There it is. Thanks. That will. That said, I shouldn't. I shouldn't be so dismissive because there's a lot of people know about this game that I don't. So, yeah. Sorry. Sorry to be snippy. Yeah, the the bike physics are are pretty special in this game. They had to make it work, but also not work perfectly. So. Construction complete. Oop. Oop. Come on. Open cargo menu. Oh, it's X, right? Not X. Jeez. Uh, okay, so let's put the heaviest stuff on the bike. How am I doing on weight? Thirty-five. Easy. <laughs> Did you meet Conan O'Brien? I did not, actually. I did not find him in the game. Oops! Dang it! Ah! But, uh, I, uh... Like I said, or... I, I kind of laid this out a while ago, but, um... I played the game for review, which, mean, which means at a certain point I just had to go. I just had to kind of hit the critical path and try to go. Use vehicle. Okay. Is there anything added for the PC release? Yeah, there's some Half-Life shit in the game. <laughs> Which I'm about to go check out. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to this thing over here and pick up my old, uh, or this this other cargo though. Now that I have a bike and I can do whatever I want. Any insider info? Looking to buy some stocks in the inevitable second wave crash comes again? <laughs> no, I am not an investment banker. Definitely don't have any hot, hot stock tips for you, unfortunately. Uh, where pizza? Thank you for the thank you for the prime sub. Is this a pizza that turns into wait? It's an be a person that turns into a pizza under the full moon, right? Pizza moon. Stretch my legs. Yeah, I got a motorcycle. Okay, so share locker, claim cargo, all this heavy crap. Uh, wait, share locker. Wait, it doesn't have anything. Eh? Somebody else take it. Maybe it's the maybe it was in the other one. Never mind. It has the little icon on it though. I thought that meant that it had cargo you could take. Oh wait, no, it was these two. Okay. Yeah, it's got the little box down there. I thought that meant it had cargo you could deliver somewhere. Would you like us to be less backseat? No, it's fine. It's fine. I. That's honestly something that I've, I've been trying to back off on. I can get a little protective of my gaming. But, uh, no, you should you should not worry about it too much. Yeah, there's only a ladder and, and a PCC in there. Alright, well, whatever. I guess I guess tools count as, as shared items, too, that you can pick up. By low, so high. Perfect.
think this will fit on any of the any of the hard points here, but yeah. Huh. On the back it goes. Ooh. 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 Oh, it's the wind, I think, too. Hold on a second. Actually, I need it. Oh, stop it. Ooh. Okay, that might help. Here we go. That is where I'm going. Oh, this is small. Yeah. These are all XL though. They're all 60 kilograms. Come on. I guess I could make some pat I could make some trips back and forth with the bike. Um God, they're all going there, yeah. Come on. Ah, screw it. I don't need to do that. Dang it. All of my... Hmm. All of my shit's going somewhere else. It's all right there, too. Eh, maybe I'll come back later. Juice it. Whoa! Oh. Do it. Thread the needle. Huh? Ooh. Oh! 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 God bless these bike physics. God bless them. Alright. <laughs> oh! I, I mean, I get it. Like, they couldn't. If you just blaze over open terrain, the game would be over. So, they have to make it a little, a little weird. Time to go into a BT zone with a bike. Uh, you know that that like murky thing where the hands grab you? That happens nearly immediately. Um, you your bike like sinks into oil, and then you fall off of it, and then you're fucked. Basically, so yeah, you cannot just you can't stop it. What the? Why did it take so long to break? Weird. Oh, where, like, where's that? Is, a, is Luden's fan a character? Oh. oh, Way Station West. That's where I'm going. So, let's see here. Hold on. Let me check the map real quick. So, it was this north, follow it northeast, and you'll find what you're looking for is what they said. So, the, yeah, the bridge, follow it, or the, the follow it northeast. It just goes out into the ocean. Hmm. You can't make it through a BT zone if you're careful. Yeah, it takes it takes some navigation. Inertia. Yeah, but it wasn't even slowing down. Like I was holding on the brakes and it was just cruising. Up, oh, up she goes. Wrong button. Ah, uh, this is not GTA. Okay. Oh, Luden's fan is Jeff Keeley. Nice. Up oh, there we go. Thanks for the help. Oh, that's right. Batteries don't get consumed on, on constructed bridges or roads either. It really is like a warp zone. It's, it's pretty wild. How different it is. Wait, somebody not bridge the other part of the river? Why would you... Why would you build it there and not, like, here? Hmm. Hmm. Well, I guess I'll be taking... This bike all the way over here. Yeah, through mule territory. Blech. I wanted to go to way station first to drop off all my junk. Hmm. I guess I could build a bridge. I don't have the metal for it. Or maybe I can just jump it. Sometimes that works. Yeah, maybe that's just narrow enough to jump. 
Yeah, you can you can hop. Oh, okay. They probably did, but you don't see it due to low stats. Oh, is that a thing? Like, you just don't see all structures at a, until a certain point? Ah! Okay, well, whatever. It works. We're good. Everything's fine. Oh yeah, mules can knock you off of bikes too, I think, if they hit you with a, like, spiky, spiky pole. Brakes on this thing suck. Okay. I'm pretty sure that's where I'm going. Yeah, but I gotta go through Timefall to get there. Okay. <laughs> Actually, I might have to go around. Ugh. First Timefall, that means we tease, and I may not be able to just cruise. If you were to bridge link with them, then you'd see a ton of their structures. Oh, okay. Oh. So it's a little, uh, it's like selective until you ping, or ping somebody specifically. I took the boots. Wait, the ones that I left behind? So yeah. They're coming for me. I don't think you can counter ping right now. Oh yeah. Look at that. Easy going. I think if the bike is there, it'll still recognize it as being close enough. Stop it. Not what I wanted to do. Alright, whatever. God damn it. Oh, there's a mission for that? Okay. <sighs> Look at all that shit. Oh yeah, I haven't done that yet. Delivering cargo. Sorry, I heard Whitney Houston in the other room. I had to check it out. Oh, I got that job at the museum. I learned that my town was basically Always occupied by Americans in the late 30s. I think it was the time anyway. Oh. You're learning about you're learning about your uh your local history and community and culture? Likes to secrete oxytocin. That's right, I forgot. Yeah, they made a whole economy around, like, understanding and so subtly manipulating human reward dopamine, basically. And then it's also like a drug you can take, that you have to take to be happy. Yeah, because the future is so, like, <sighs> there's so much in, in Death Stranding about how, through study and science, there's parts of the human condition that have been understood. And, like, happiness and motivation is one of those things that is sort of the concepts of, of those have sort of changed um it's really fun to think about a lot of big heady shit also this dude's avatar rules dang it almost bridge link 10 all right then thanks for everything Remember my town was also being chased by the Red Baron, and that's how they shot him down. Well, all right. Cool. Uh, all right. Well, now... Uh, you, you didn't ask for this, but I'm going to put it on you anyway. I'm now going to expect a fun fact from you about your town every time you, uh... Every time you come into the stream. Do you get the value from signs if you drive through them? Oh, it doesn't seem like it. Oh. Construction zone. Is that a, there's another bridge. 
Uh, again, on the other side of a split, I guess, I guess, hmm, well, there's parts of the river you could cross where you don't have to build over two, two whole things, but man. <laughs> okay, I think I'm actually going to drive back and uh, pick up all those dumb little things that were in this guy. Might as I want to get my bridge whatever rating to 10. Oh, I don't have enough battery to get, a, get back. Crap. Actually, hold on a second. <laughs> I'm going to do something helpful. Does it have to be in here? No. Sorry, Sam. Weapons I can't allow you to build a structure there. Pick a spot outside the sensor ring and try again. Oh, Coat, you're liking it? Yeah, I like this game too. go. Juiced. Full battery. Let's hit it. Ooh. Fun fact about my town. We're the epicenter for COVID. Like in the United States. That's fun. It's, it's really weird and that makes me want to play more. Put like eight hours into it today. Yeah. I found it, I found it endlessly refreshing. Maybe by the end of it, it got a little less refreshing. But... I don't know why I try to do that, it doesn't, it doesn't do anything. Like anything I played, you think fetch cuts would be would be boring, but it's great. Yeah, I, uh, it's it's frustrating because it it can so easily be summarized as the most repetitive, boring task in in video games. Like, oh, it's just fetch quests. Yeah, it is, but it's you know, like Destiny is just clicking on the heads, man. Like, uh, it's the execution that makes something fun, not the concept. So, I don't know. Um, You enjoy dunking on Stadia as much as everyone else. Uh, not really. I think what an, what what kind of what kind of makes me wrinkle my nose sometimes is when somebody enters the gaming space but they don't think they need any gaming knowledge or awareness to do it. Um, so to me, I with Stadia, Google wanted to push into gaming, but they didn't really follow any of the market strategies to enter the gaming space that they should have. Um, they didn't market properly. They didn't win hearts and minds. So what I think a lot of people do is when they dunk on Stadia, they sort of resent an outsider coming in with a different way of doing things. It's, it's like you have to kiss the ring of gamers before we'll accept you kind of deal. I'm not so much in that mindset, and I think, I think that's a little off. Um, but I, I think Amazon Game Studios kind of did the same thing. They uh, they entered the space because there was there's money here and there's eyeballs and you have to own everything from everybody in the year 2020. But uh, I'm not offended. Like I, I I approached Crucible with a fair amount of snark, if I'm being honest. But it was an honest effort, I thought, and a decent game. Um, so I what what tends to uh, what I what I find um, 
more annoying than anything about Stadia is it... God damn, these are so heavy. No wonder these are all in here. Holy crap. I gotta find a place for the soil samples, too. Uh, attached to suit. Carried on back. Yeah, I gotta put some of the shit back. God, 60 pounds. What's, what's wrong with you? Oh, that's right. This... Oh, man. Dude, that's... What? Carry it on back. Put... Oh. I can't put that into storage. Okay. Okay, so I can carry two on the bike and one on my back. Time to start making trips, I guess. <laughs> I gotta put these up, too. Jesus. I'm overloaded. Fuck. Uh, just crawling that shit. This is probably gonna burn the battery real fast, right? Or as long as you get to your bike, are you, are you like, good? Let's find out. I'm not gonna boost. Yeah, I'm not used to this game having this frame rate either. It's, it's so nice. Oh, it's so nice. It's so comfy. To actually have high frame rates. No, I know. Yeah, it's going real slow. I mean, if it doesn't make it, I'll just have to build another another power tower, which I think I'll be doing soon here. Maybe? Oh, we might be all right. Um, oh yeah, sorry. Uh, for me, what I what I kind of uh, the thing that I take more exception to is is yeah, just the uh, like, do you have to own everything? I mean, the answer is yes. That that's just corporations. And then beyond that, what I what I am not super fond of is streaming being the medium that gaming happens in. It's gonna happen. I I know and, and to a degree accept that, but I'm not looking forward to it. I think I think that technology benefits the companies and the providers far more than it benefits the consumers. And I think you see that in the fact that uptake for Stadia has been very slow. It just doesn't offer any features or, or freedoms or, or possibilities that are not easily attained through other more dis more concrete measures that doesn't make a Google the absolute arbiter of how you play your games and what you play. So, that's that's mostly the uh, the exception that I take is is like Google you're you're trying to push into a space you don't understand and you're not even you're not even trying to sweeten the pot for anybody. Right. Ah, uh, contextual Yeah, Andre, this is this is on PC. It sure is. It's happening right now. I do business with Ma Microsoft and Amazon, and they're building massive data centers everywhere. Yep. I mean, it's the future. It is, and and this is sort of the land rush. This is everyone staking a claim and to be the first the first one in the future to like. If you're, you know, if Google owns the, the dominant platform for delivering games, they've won the game. Um, if Microsoft does it with xCloud, they've won. Sony has PlayStation Now. I feel like they are they were super forward with PlayStation Now for a while, but I think they were too early, so. How's your back? Um, pretty good. I, uh, I've, been rolling, I've been rolling knots out daily. It's annoying as hell. Yeah. I mean, sometimes you can't get a knot in one day, I've found. Sometimes you just gotta, like... Just what it, what I've done for really bad knots is I'll like I'll I use a ball against the wall, and sometimes I will just put the like I'll, I'll position it so the knot is like directly over the ball and just push into it and kind of wiggle it back and forth until it starts to loosen up. But uh, yeah, I don't have too many ones that are that are that are that bad. Sometimes I'll just beat the shit out of a particular knot and it won't actually let go, but I'll just you know be like, well, I loosened it a little bit. Come back tomorrow and do it, or a few maybe a year or two. Oh, that's right. You can't you can't store your bike yet. Oh yeah, you can. No. Ah. Uh, Lord. I don't want to pick those things up. What are you liking about the PS PC version over the PS4? The frame rate, frame rate, and resolution. Just those two things by themselves are, are worth it for me. Here we go. Here we go. 
Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Almost there. Just about got it. Hey, what's up, Turbid? I have a therapy gun. Yeah, me too. A bunch of myofascial release equipment. Uh, and I still go and get massages from time to time. That's the one thing I still need to do, yeah, is just, just find a masseuse that I can I can uh, develop a relationship and a trust with. Ever hit a knot in the right place and get major goosebumps? Um, I've never really gotten goosebumps. I'll get like, I'll get like weird nervous things shooting down my arm if it's a really bad back knot. Like my fingers will tingle. Um, I will... I'll also like feel knots crunch as they let go. Like they actually legitimately crunch, like audibly. Um, so that's always fun. Oh, that's cute. Cute avatar. Yeah, there we go. Strand contracts, yes. Can I make upgrade cooperation requests in order to ask other players to contribute materials to your structures? Ah. Similar likes. Um, is this 4K downscaled to 1080? It's 2K downscaled to 1080. Good work. I'm playing in 1440. Please access delivery terminal or further. Right, any order delivery? No order. No order available. One minute. How far are you into the game? I'm in chapter two, and yeah, I'm starting over on PC. Ah, shit. Really? I guess there's a bridge over part of it now. I mean, I do have to go that way. 120 kilograms. God. Okay, fine. Look, I'm already in, I'm already in the vortex already. Wait. Was it 100 120 kilograms for the I don't think I can do this just on the bike. Maybe I can load 120 on the bike. Okay, I can, yeah. Man, driving the bike through that sh that garbage is going to be real bad. Yeah, going to the wind farm. That's fine. It's only a little further. And since the bike's not overloaded and I'm not either, I should be able to make it on one. The front bucket sucks. It's true, but... I'm going to get that hundo percent. Yeah, I heard about Grant Turbid. I also saw your rip. You seem pretty intent on talking about it. Damn it. The entire game delivery missions. Pretty much. Yep, just re just replace shooting people with delivering missions and that's what this game's about. It's it's a lot of it is just the context of the deliver the deliveries. They find a I mean ah if if you have uh ooh, somebody used my generator, nice. If you have the capacity to uh to imagine many different kinds of deliveries, then then you're you're pretty much dead on, but yeah, it's it's deliveries. Alright, here we go. Rocky terrain and a bike. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, didn't mean to do that. All right. Do people masturbate in this world? I don't know. That's a good question. People, people for sure don't fuck. Um. Oi. It is interesting seeing cargo just dropped. Whoa! Okay, well, you know. That's rough terrain here. Almost at the bridge, though. And at least there's no time fall here anymore. Oh, look at this. Another generator. Hey! This one's for you. 
Thanks for the help. Hey, yeah, yeah. Today is a good day. Oh yeah. Having lived under a rock and only seen a little bit of gameplay. This is this is it. Ooh, here we go. Uh, uh, ah, hurt. There we go. What did the likes do? Hmm. They make you feel good. At least that's that's the canon explanation. Uh, they level up your character in a variety of different ways. Your uh, your capabilities do get fundamentally better. Delivering cargo. Hmm. At first, I couldn't get behind this game, but after sinking hours and hours into just running between systems and elite dangerous, I get it. There's something extremely cathartic about running cargo in hostile, potentially hostile worlds. Yeah, it, it's nice. And that's not something that people have to really understand, but I think it succeeds in uh, the things it tries to do. Don't let me keep you. Yeah, it's essentially XP. That's a good way, a good way to describe it. Much more succinct than I said. Ah. Uh, uh. And 20. Fuck. Fine. I'll just take it all. Fine. You know what? Fine. Okay. Wait, where are those going? Okay. Great. Shit. Fuck! <laughs> Too much shit! God damn it. I didn't- I wasn't even- I didn't even want to do this! God damn it. Alright. Can I get back to my bike? Order a sign. Let's find out. If I can turn a tight little circle here. Come on, buddy. Oh, come on. Come on. Ooh. I don't think I ever took on this much cargo when I first started out. Yeah, no, and I I mean I I have the benefit of having played a game before, so I kinda know what's <laughs> what is and isn't. Uh, doable. How's it feel to go back to the game with the context of knowing the full story? I mean, some of the cutscenes are interesting to, to see again. Um, in retrospect. But, oh, wow, that is that is dra draining this real fast. Wow. Oh, boy. Well, there was a generator somewhere. Ooh. Definitely gonna have to hit that up. Oh, fuck. They need big name actors for the motion capture? Could they be replaced with no name actors? Team Impala, I mean maybe. Um Maybe? Are you are you implying that it was like it was ego that had them cast who they cast in the game? Because I don't think that that's I don't think that's necessarily fair if that's where you're going. Um In my in my non exhaustive experience, acting is a skill like any other. And if you hire an amateur or Sam, less traveled actor, now submit upgrade requests for structures. Then um, you use a lot. You should definitely consider it. Hmm. It's it's possible if they brought in a less experienced actor that they would have lost time um, trying to. I know that there was a generator around here somewhere. Oh wait, it's right there. Well. Uh, well, could have could have been more efficient to bring in more established and seasoned actors. Although, I mean, isn't 
Norman Reedus really the, the only big name in the game? I will say that uh, you'd be surprised what clout and awareness can do. You'd be surprised the doors that it can, can open. Hey, Nathaniel. So sometimes signing a name onto a game will open certain business uh, opportunities just because people are aware of it and the attached clout of signing a big name and being attached to certain talent can matter. Oh yeah, Mad Mads Mickelson, I'm sorry. Of course. I mean, he's not in it much. I'm gonna be straight. Like, Mads is not not a big player in the game uh, in terms of both screen time and like line delivery and character importance. Um, Troy Baker, yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah. Conan O'Brien, yeah. Also, I'm not gonna lie, I think... I think, uh, at a certain point, if you hit a certain level in your career, and you really want to work with another creative person, you think that you have a lot in common, I... I don't see what's wrong with, like, really liking somebody's vibe and creative attitude and wanting to pursue them for a project. I don't know that that's what uh, Kojima did, but I could see him being there. Margaret Qualley? Or Qualley? Yeah, I mean, they're actors. And, I mean, if I'm going to be real, like, their acting performances are really good. Um, I, think, I think the cast of Last of Us 2 also puts in really solid performances, so... I do think, uh, I do think a lot of the times video games have a much lower standard when it comes to acting, writing, and performance. Nicholas Winding Refn? I mean, he's a director. I would say he's an established actor. Alright, I'm gonna do these stupid deliveries. I'm gonna go back again, get that heavy shit. I guess I really don't need that now, but... Sam Porter Bridges. What side am I getting Gadalf on? Oh, thank God. Uh, oh. Almost there. Famous or more experienced actors can bring credit performances. Didn't mean it as an ego thing. Yeah. Uh, no, I, and I didn't mean to imply you did. I... It's... it. Well, I guess I did imply that you did, but... Um, I know that a lot of people kind of get really... kind of worked up about, about Kojima sometimes, so... He's an established indie director. Yeah. My friend said this is the most visually impressive game this gen. Would you agree? No. It's evocative, maybe, but I'm trying to think technically. I don't know. I'd have to... <clears throat> I mean, Last of Us Part 2 is, is really goddamn impressive. Red Dead 2? Solid pick, too. What are the cute red ghost icons around the terrain? Those are signs left by other players to uh, to indicate where BTs are. Uh, but they don't have to necessarily be accurate, because it's just players putting stuff down. So think of it like all, all of these little circles and signs and stuff, they're all left by other players. So it's kind of like sign, you know, messages in Dark Souls or something like that. That's how to do it, by the way. Um, put a generator on the exit of a bridge so everyone has to use it, whether they want to or not. <laughs> they drive through it with a car. Get those sick likes, bro! Okay. Be a good porter and actually empty out this stupid little thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's, it's, every game is like Dark Souls. Oh, that was close. I almost lost it there. What are you doing? Okay. 
little squad. That's awesome. Another one. Phase poopies. Lost cargo. All right. I don't have enough space. You can add your own. You can. There are specific tracks in the game that you can pull from to add to uh, to add to uh, item stations and stuff. A lot of a lot of lo-fi emo stuff, really. Um, which, again, I, I get it. It like fits the tone of the game, but not particularly my taste. Can you eat shit on the bike? Yeah. Um, it's it, you're pretty locked onto it, if I'm being honest. Uh, it's it's not very easy to fall off, but if you push it, you can. But he might give me some PC parts so I can build my first gaming PC. Nice. Do you care if I share the part list in chat? No, go for it. That sounds like fun. Like the the communal spirit of like building and buying parts is kind of part of the idea. What? No, Sam, put it back. Stop! <sighs> I hold the triggers just so I can walk to the damn thing, but... Okay, well, I guess I'm not overloaded, so I didn't have to worry about it too much, but... Okay. Christ. One more run to get all those stupid heavy-ass cans out of that thing. There's no reason to do this. There's no reason at all. I don't know why I am. I guess this is what the game is, so... This is what I'm doing. You're just going one place to another back to the same place? I am right now, because I'm trying to empty out this, like, communal storage locker of all this heavy crap that somebody loaded into it. Because I want to. Ooh. Have my parts like an imbecile? The bigger numbers tell me if there's more performance value. More cores, you say. Tell me more. No, don't. Give it to me. <laughs> must be an AMD guy then. Okay, I'm gonna do it. I think when you finish a delivery too, the person who dropped the cargo there also gets a little a little boost, so you're welcome, phase poopy. Poopies, excuse me. It's pretty clear that a lot of people uh carried a lot of junk this way and then had to drop a lot of it. Uh, when they got this, they got this far. No. It's not GTA. X is car. Hold on. What did I put on my back? There. Was an Intel guy you really wanted that 18 core processor? Please forgive me. Nah, I have no allegiance there. I use AMD in my streaming PC because I think I, I did get one of those 24 core processors, which is really good at encoding video. But still, like I was hoping I could I could rock on the uh, medium X264 preset, but when when the frames get real wacky, even that can overload. So I wanted. It's frustrating because like. I actually couldn't find any resources or guides or benchmarks that show a processor's ability to encode video in real time. I basically like I want I want the processor that allows me to do 1080p60 at certain X264 presets. 
no matter no matter how much like flickering and noise you send into the video encode, I want to make sure it won't drop any frames. But uh, that information's not really out there that I could find. Enjoyed your podcast last week. Thanks for that. Hey, thank you for watching. That was fun. I want to just stick around with friends. I know. Shocking, shocking revelation. I do own an electric bike in real life, it's true. So I know all about them. I know everything. I know it all. Okay. Uh, Alright, now I can, now I can move on. Hmm. Shit on my back. I need to. Might as well. Might as well recycle. Yeah, that user avatar. The when I played it on PlayStation, the avatars were not so fun. Uh, so that's a, that's an interesting side effect of uh, of being on PC. tech tips might have been some, some information on that video editing issue so like I, f I found like benchmarks that rate a, C a processor's ability to render video that's in most CPU tests but that's just video render I guess what I could do no because it just spits out a score like it spits out a number Thank you for your contribution. it uh there I didn't really find any resources specifically tuned to giving CPU data for streaming coding which is, as far as I could figure out, exactly what... That's exactly what I needed. Sigmus Lawrence? No. You gotta... I, I will not perform for you. If you want, if you want a, a ragtime ditty, you gotta, you gotta put some skin in the game. No! No! There we go. It's fine. Everything's fine. Wait, where's that going? Oh, PlayStation West. Oh, that's where I just came from. God. Always. Always. That is where I just came from, right? No, it's not. PlayStation West is over here. Ooh. Okay. How am I going to do this? I think what I'll probably do is just leave the bike somewhere. Load this junk onto it. Go get these documents. Come back to the bike. Outside of mule territory. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Well, we, I, I will exercise my right to be choosy about how I perform there. Actually, I'll just go to Boy Station West and come back out and get it. Ah. Okay. Never ends. Never ends, does it, Sam? Yeah, I have podcasts. If you use uh, Dr. Der, Der Frosty, if you use the podcast command, exclamation point podcast, you'll find all the information you need about the podcast. Uh, stretch my legs. Yeah, it's just Bruce Kraken and I hanging out, talking about stuff. Yeah. Golden Coast. <laughs> Sound design is so crazy. to go and deliver your own packages? Alright. Thanks for chilling out, Soul Samurai. Have a good night. There we go. 
Brought the booze. Kind of anxious and stressed since one of my coworkers tested positive. How's everyone doing? Oof. I'm very sorry to hear that. Um. Hopefully, I guess you're in quarantine now. Hopefully, everything's gonna go okay. God, what a, what a shitty window. Like every time you cough or have a tickle on your throat, you think it's happening. Delivering cargo. You die in this game. You can get to a fail state. I'm so glad you're here. Um, do you ever miss Funhouse? Mm, not really, no. You always take such good care of our cargo. I miss I miss hanging out with my friends. Um, but I wasn't doing that a whole lot at work by the end of it, so there's not a lot to miss, really. And the things that the things that I enjoyed about about that, I think, were were more or less gone by the time I left, which is why I left. So. Then. Not a lot to miss. Which is actually, I'm gonna be honest, a good place to be. It means I don't have any regrets. New order available. Please access delivery terminal for further information. So these are going to this is all going to capital. Alright. Um yeah, I can just go over there on foot, or at least partially on foot. Um hmm. Any bridges over here? Eh? Or just ladders? Is there a watchtower I could use? Eh? Eh? No? Okay. Uh, listening, watching, can't text. Phone needs charge, and dinner's ready. No worries. I gotta. I'm gonna have to take a food break here soon too. Keep on keeping on. Charge. Might as well juice up. It's a good thing somebody put this generator here. Oh no, Burbass. What? Hold on. You, you ended up messing up your foot after taking a number of shots? I'm so sorry. Oh no. Ugh, well. Hopefully you're not, uh... Hopefully it's nothing too... <laughs> One stupid ladder poking out of nowhere. Hopefully it's not, uh, hopefully it's not too serious. You know, maybe you get a little cast for a while. Your mates have a little laugh at you. Maybe that's where it ends. Uh, okay. Anyone? God damn it, why did I do that? Why do I keep doing that? So let me see, just here and then here into the base. So I think yeah, I would have to bring a shitload of metal. Although there's probably metal up there. Maybe I'll finish building that bridge. What's the liquid medium in BB's container? It is a... Uh, it is an amniotic fluid, uh... Like, it's fake amniotic fluid, basically. Fuck! If I get pinged, yeah, and they find my bike, they're gonna take the shit on it. And there are story... There's, like, quest objective stuff on this bike. They can't get it, so... I'm gonna have to park this somewhere where they won't find it. That was dumb. Okay, maybe behind this rock. Yeah, it looks fine. Uh, what am I carrying right I don't know if there's anything I can take off my back, but... Nope. Yeah, whatever. No, I'll just carry this. This is fine. Yeah, I can't take my lunch money. I need that to buy lunch! Oh, sorry, Malcolm. Yeah, uh, amniotic fluid is is whatever's in a mother's womb. It's like headlight fluid. Yeah, you gotta top up your headlight fluid. That was three years ago. Oh, okay. All right. All right. All right. I thought this happened recently. Been in my big toe like 10% of normal. No worries, got hit by a car while biking last week. Oh man. I've only had a lot of. I've only had near misses. One near miss. I actually scraped a dude's license plate off his car. Because he was like barreling out of a driveway without looking. Because of course he was. Oh shit, he fucked me. Alright. Oh, 
Oh shit, what a throw. Wow. Okay, this is not good. This is not stealthy at all. Fuck! Okay. Oh, wrong button. Come on. Uh. Damn it, go! Stop drinking monster energy! Oh! Oh! Fuck. Uh. Fuck. Yeah, okay. The, uh... The mules are, are actually way tougher to deal with. Oh! Have you done a cure slide on your bike? I mean, kinda. I put it down in the rain, and that was kind of that, except I was all the way over. I was all the way on my side, sliding on the ground. I don't know if that counts. I gotta lead them away from my bike now, too. Damn it. Leave me alone. Assholes. Okay, I think they're finally breaking off. Whew, okay. Time to be a little more stealthy this time. Baka Sugoi, thanks for the sub. Are you in so far? Uh, I'm still in chapter two. I think the game, like the prologue is, even though the prologue is explicitly marked, I feel like the prologue definitely ends at chapter three. That's kind of when the game really opens up. Um, but yeah, still kind of in the early going, taking my time, doing a lot of superfluous deliveries. What's the range on your bike? Uh, it's about 100 miles, 120 miles, depending on how I ride it. Definitely enough to get around LA and the surrounding areas. I use it as a commuter bike, get back and forth to work, and it was perfect for that. And you know, now I just use it to run errands around town if I need to, or go to like meetings, back when meetings happened. In the short window after I left before quarantine locked everything down, I was I was going around sometimes, taking some meetings, talking to some people, moving and shaking, getting things going, and then yeah, quarantine locked all that stuff way down. Oh, come on! Jesus, alright. Fuck. Just need to find some good cover to, like, hide behind, I think. I think they'll actually... I don't know if they'll keep pinging me while I'm in their area. I'm trying to... It's, I thought it was getting near the, the markers that caused you to get... Get pinged. I think... I think I'm sneaking by, okay. Yeah, this is why, like, uh... Constructing towers and scouting out mule encampments and like marking the positions of those those little pylons becomes important. Aren't you able to counter the ping? Not yet. That is a that is a that is a game mechanic you get later. For now, though, I've got to do something I can do in the game, which is piss. So I'll be right back. See you guys in just a second. Did an entire right, lap. Back. This one Freshly pissed. Ready to steal this thing. All right, guys. Uh, it's getting pretty late. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna cook some dinner. I'm excited. I'm actually excited to cook because uh, I've been I've been like eating nothing but vegetables for a long time. So here's the idea, though. Um, I'm going to do this. I'm gonna do this delivery, and then I'll I'll go back to Central Knot. <sighs> probably see all the cutscenes and stuff there, and that's where, that's where we'll call the stream. I think for tonight. Uh, but just wanna. Surfs it on the horizon. Do you have similar thoughts on Gran Turismo? Yeah, it's an embarrassment. What a tragic, awful game. Doesn't even have a boost meter. Garbage. Broke Gamer Boy? Thank you for the Prime sub. Oh, Christ, man. Is that dude out there running around? Oh, crap, he's coming this way. Shield. Fuck, he's coming right, right towards me. Coming right for me. Fuck. Okay. What's up, Johnny Ma? Okay. Fuck, man. 
is all open ground too. I don't know that I'm gonna be able to break line of sight. There's tall grass down there. Maybe I can make it there. Okay, he seems to be going around. That's good for me. You're enjoying the gameplay loop? I like it a lot, but I, I beat this game on PS4, so I'm already pretty familiar with it. Uh, come on. Really, bro? Fuck you! Are you serious right now? Dude just walked out right to where I was, saw me, and that's that. And I fell over. I really want you to get up. God! I fell down again. Yeah, great. You will be pinged and found if they cover the map? What do you mean if they cover the map? God. Can I just do it? I think this takes longer than it used to. Yeah, I used to just be able to run up to it. It's like they know you are, or ratter, where the cargo you are wearing is. Uh, when you're pinged, it shows you a little icon of where you are. And I don't think that they knew where I was. Or I don't think I was being actively pursued. Also, the music cue wasn't there, so, you know, don't need the snark there. Great. Well, they took it. That's great. I mean, those were those were uh, not you not a uh, those were not mission critical, regardless. So I should use my strand. I know some players got super bored by feeling too much of a walking simulator, but I didn't feel that at all. Yeah, it's it's funny because a walking simulator or the way that it's sort of used today is a is a game where there's no interactivity. Uh, you can counter ping eventually, but I cannot yet. That is not a not something that's been unlocked. So um, the bike's fine. Uh, there's there's that. Those are the, the quest objectives on it. Ah, uh, I forgot what I was gonna say. Oh yeah, the walking simulator thing. Yeah, it's funny because like this is a walking simulator, but it has mechanics in it. Fuck. I mean, it's it's got game play it's got game decisions it's got systems that interact with each other it's not it's not gone home but you know people like to derisively throw the term around everyone likes the, everyone likes the snarky dunk i guess yeah it's easy to or it's it's more it's more enjoyable to dunk on something that sets it up as, sets itself up as pretentious which i guess both this and the sort of the last of us did so you kind of open yourself up to a good dunk Alright, so similar circumstances. A ping went out. I'm not currently marked. I don't know, maybe that dude saw me coming. I like going home too, Malcolm, but... I, uh, I have no problem with a game that doesn't misrepresent what it is. I don't think those games ever did that. Let's get boring. Huh. I mean, that's, that's unfortunately kind of uh, a more subjective judgment call. I never got- oh shit, he didn't keep walking. It never got boring for me. But I also have a kind of weird taste in games and find strange things enjoyable. Uh, so it's- and I understand that in a lot of ways it is sort of tied, or it is sort of a game that- god damn it! Of course he's gonna turn around now. Or whatever. The orange area covers the map. You can check and strategies. What? Oh yeah, your cargo can poke out. Yeah. Ooh, look at all the stuff I could return though. I'm gonna try. Fuck it. I mean, some of the stuff is pretty quiet or pretty 
uh, light, so it's not that bad. Not that bad. That's not so bad. That's not so bad. He disappeared. No, he's gonna be back. I think. I think it just. Yeah, he disappeared for that. Uh, for the the uh, the cutscene of like me opening the thing, but. Oh look at that! Oh. Oh, he saw me. Okay. Oh boy. All right. Well, whatever. I got my shit. Oh my god, Norman. Oh, fucking god, damn it. This is when, like, it's interesting because the game will put you in situations of high duress. Which, man, do they make you hate how slow and chonkety Norman, or sorry, Sam's uh, animations can be sometimes. I don't know that I can get away. Let's find out. I'm loading up with a million heavy things. Probably not the wisest call. Let's find, let's see. Let's see what happens. If they can get some solid, if they get some solid spear throws on me, I'm gone. But at least I have open ground. Looks the same as PS4. I mean, it's the same game. Um, also, bear in mind that you're watching it uh, downscale to 1080p. Also, the game did not run at 60 FPS on PS4, so... Uh, I think there are plenty of, of pretty important uh, and pretty meaningful upgrades to the PC version. Oh boy, he's coming. No! Faster, Norman! Ooh! Ooh! Okay. You need to keep going! Maybe? Okay, no. Never mind. Yeah, when he takes that breather, that's like... It's a game telling you you're out of range. That's nice. Was a solid 30? Most of the time, yeah. I don't recall it dipping below 30. What's the story behind the mules? Um, it's it's actually pretty out there. So this is in the future where, with AI and automation, the human experience actually got to the point where no one needed to work anymore. Nice. Uh, we got robots to do it all for us, and then some people like kind of flipped out, like they needed to work. Uh, so then, and people were like not happy. People were getting like depressed, and weird stuff started happening when no one had to work. So they're like, okay. So they turned the robots off, created jobs for people again. Um, but then, like, then weird stuff happened. Uh, the Death Stranding happened. And now there are people in the wasteland who all they know and the only satisfaction they get is from delivering packages because it was, like, the last real human job. So essentially, the mules are these sort of, like, almost culty bad guys that thrive off of the uh, rush they get from delivering packages. Uh, so they, all they try to do is steal your stuff so they can deliver it instead. Um, they're not actually trying to attack you. They just want what you have. So they can feel like they're doing stuff again. Yeah, the motorcycle is pretty janky. The vehicles in this game can be pretty, pretty juddery. Culty FedEx drivers, yeah, pretty much. I got too addicted to the rush. Delivery. Well, I'll be. We just about given up on seeing this again. Let's not uh, judge a book by its cover, though, huh? Oh Let's yeah. People at my uh, people like my parents there at retirement really won't does. stop working. It's exactly like I remember it. <laughs> Talk about lucky. I mean, I, I don't think I'll ever stop working. But part of that is because, for some for some reason, this has become become work in 2020. Or rather, I'm getting paid for it. I don't think I'd ever unironically call it work. Ooh, got me a new hologram. Chiralium kype. Chiralium coatings. Hell yeah. I can have a rose pink hat! That was big worth it. 
can't tell you how grateful I am. There are few bona fide What was that? Oh, what was that? Half Life stuff? Yeah, I need to. Uh... You just saved one of them. Thank you. Actually, I'll go see if I can find that. Good work. New order available. Please oh. access delivery terminal for further. New order available? Sorry, what? Oh, standard orders to capital. Structure repair devices lost during delivery. 86 kilograms, what's your problem? God. <sighs> Shit. I think that's where I need to go anyway. That's why I'm taking this one. Uh, Cause they described going up the river. Oh wait, there's m metals on there? Hold on a second. I'm gonna get rid of these metals, that'll help. Let's see here. Recycle. There were two metals. No? One? No more metal? I mean, there's enough metal here to build those bridges, too. What's up, honey? Honey bunny BB? Thank you for your continued support. You wouldn't even be able to lift 86 kilograms? I'll show you. I'll show you. Oh, you have guests stepping by? Alright, Andrew. Good to see you. You have a good night. Thank you for your contribution. Hmm. Dang it, I do have metals on me. Oh wait, is that yeah, never mind, that's the delivery I gotta do. Exactly, Johnny Ma. Oh uh, Johnny, I've thought about it. I think honestly probably what I'd do if I were older is I'd either have an avatar. Or like, be me. I mean, it, who's, to, who's to say what the internet's going to look like in 40 years? But I'm pretty sure by then it's going to be pretty easy to make media or whatever that version of media is. But not be visible and not have my identity even even knowable. So that's probably going to be it. When I get old and decrepit, no one wants to look at me anymore. I mean, I'll still be jacked, don't get me wrong. But I, I could finish this bridge right now. But there's not one on the other side. People get bu building like half bridges over uh Actually, hold on. I think I will do that just so I can make this trip really fast. People building half bridges over like the deltas and stuff. It's not working. Uh, Goraz, 1979. Thanks for the prime sub. You're hoping cyberpunk style? I mean, I'm not, not hoping. It's happening right now. So honestly, my my time predictions are probably off, but... Wait, what? Oh, that's right, I don't have it yet. Uh, claim materials, that's what we need. I don't remember how much metal it takes to build a bridge. I think it's 800? Sexy hip hipster boomer? I could. Just be a silver fox. Everyone loves all old hot dudes. Okay. I will choose to do that. Um, nah. Age comes for everybody. And uh, especially in, in the United States, people hate looking at old people because I guess it reminds them of their mortality or something. So. Alright. It's weird because, like, a lot of the, uh, oh, yeah. Just so you know, Sam, distro centers and the like are stocked with materials you can use to fabricate equipment. You can also take what you need to build structures. That said, there are limits to what each facility can spare. Check their terminals to see what they are. Would you get the Neuralink? Oh yeah. I'm waiting. Construction complete. Yay. Alright. 
Um, I was told... I don't know what I was told. Basically, the Half-Life thing was like, follow the river northeast and what you want will be there. But I don't see a whole lot of that. Um, hold on a minute, let me... Let's see here. You know from the river north of distribution center capital... Center west of capital, let's see. You know the river north of the distribution center west of capital, not city. So hold on, let me let me find that. I'm pretty sure that's what this is, down here. I mean, what, yeah, okay. What? Okay, jeez. So much tutorialization, I get it. But sometimes I'm just scrolling around and I- Stop! <laughs> Alright, I get it! Oi. Okay, uh, this is the thing. Maybe that's where it is? Somebody put a lambda there. Ah, that's really far away. Oh well. Shoot. Well, I'm in- I'm in this mission right now. Oi. Um, let's follow the river east. Wait, hold on. Okay, so that's the river. Uh, follow it northeast from the center and you should be able to find what you're looking for. It's a cube. So that, yeah, that seems like that's what that's referring to. So, I guess I'm in this stupid area. Retrieval, structure, repair, devices lost during delivery. So, I'll pick this junk up, del oh, deliver it back, and go find that cube. I'm pretty sure, like... Well, I guess I'm not sure. I think I remember somebody saying that there was like... I guess I don't know to what extent there are half-life... Oh, it's over here. There are half-life uh, Easter eggs in this game, but... It'd be cool if you could get like a little HEV suit. I think that'd be neat. Oh, it's in the water? I know, baby. What resolution are you playing at? I'm playing in 2K, basically. 1440p. Uh, that's heavy. It is all floating down the river! Crap. Now I have to walk over the bridge to get back to my stupid... Ay. Close to red zone, yeah. Oh. Uh. And am I glad I finished this bridge, though? Ah, what the fuck? Maybe it wasn't a good call to have a podium raise directly out of the middle of a bridge. Thanks for gifting a sub, man. Appreciate your generosity. Come on. There we go. My little baby. Poor little baby. Sorry, you had to be underwater. Struggling digs? Thank you for the sub. Oh, he made little heart bubbles with his mouth! Oh my gosh. 
But like, out of all the soothing I did, um, like my BB level never increased. I never saw that meter again. So I don't know. That still freaks me out a little bit. A little bit. Alright, I think that's all the parts. Oh wait, no, there's one more on the one thing over here. Actually, there's a couple more. Okay. God damn it. Skin on my teeth. What is that? I don't think that's no. Okay. So that's sixty-eight. So I need. Let's let's see how many kilograms of special machine I have at this point. Sixty out of sixty. Yes, thank God. Or, oh wait, that's soil samples. Eighty-three out of eighty-six. Ay! Minimum is three. That means there's one more piece somewhere. Ah, oh, there it is. Wait, no, that's not it. Yeah, it is. Never mind. Okay. Are you virtually pregnant, basically? Don't! Uh... Oh, wait. Okay, no, never mind. I thought he picked stuff up. Did he pick stuff up? Where are your hands? Okay, they're ready. Never mind. If you have the pinwheel attached to your backpack, the BB friendship meter goes up faster. Okay. I did not know that. I'll hope, hopefully I'll remember to put that on. There we go. He's wearing an exosuit? Not right now, no. You get exosuits later that make the game much, 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 much easier. Uh, or rather, it, it makes... You, you still have problems. Like, the game is never, is never solved. But, uh... Fighting those giant BT monsters made my BP level go up like crazy? Oh, really? See, I didn't, I didn't end up fighting a lot of, of BTs because I just didn't really get didn't really get like I didn't summon them that often hmm. maybe I need to do that more all right just like actually start a, uh, an encounter and fight and kill the things Got five stars. Oh. Safe. Your legs would be buckling. Good work. So like. New order available. Yeah. Please access delivery terminal for further information. I do wonder to what degree, like all the the straps and and lattice work and stuff. But yeah, you're right. Weapons restrictions lifted. Uh, okay, I will go try to find this Half Life thing. Um, and then I'll call the stream there, I think, once I, once I get whatever it is. We should go pretty fast, though, since it's just right over here. Let's get to cruise. A little open world cruise. Never hurt anybody. Unless this kills me. It might kill me. You know, there's always that. Never killed a huge passive BT ghost. Oh, the like, uh, the little floaty ghost mans. I actually did. I started taking those. Uh, sorry, this might be spoilers if people aren't familiar with where the game escalates to. But I didn't. I didn't intentionally fight a whole lot of the giant oily whale boys. But I'll try that out. I'll try that out this time. Uh, what? I can't remember. Somebody said it earlier, but what does leveling up your BB relationship do?
better stealth. Aw, oh, man. This is like something I would have loved to have had. Oh, well. Yep. Remember Companion Cube? Mem remember Portal? Mem remember? Remember that? Remember? This shit is heavy. Let's see. Distribution center west. Oh, that's right here. This was a triumph. I'm really gonna Oh! Huge success. What? Stop! I just want you to pick the thing up, Norman. Sam, sorry. Man. I don't think I don't think nerd culture has ever been whiter than when Still Alive was like when everyone on the internet was just like, oh my gosh, this song. And they even, like, started using it as a weird, stupid, like, <laughs> secret nerd code. Welcome, cake is a lie. We can all agree that the cake is a lie. I don't know why, but that, that, that whole, like, 2000s nerd culture is, is just the worst. And yes, I'm sorry, G4 is included in that. <sighs> Those were the days. <sighs> they were days, I guess. Do you like Chinese period action movies? Oh, I like Hero a lot. Um, I liked Once Upon a Time in China. Um, there's a there's a grip of like Hong Kong action films that are real real solid that are like historical China. I did it, Companion Cube. I mean, I I should be clear. Like, I like. I like the, uh, I like the inclusion of it. I shouldn't be too shitty about it. Oh, before I forget, this. You gonna give me Gordon Freeman glasses? You gonna give me crowbar? We, 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 oh yeah, Gordon Freeman glasses. All right. <laughs> now you get portal gun. Yeah. You get a slice of cake. Get it? Gordon glasses. Hell yeah. Bye, Sam. Worth it. I was kind of hoping for an HEV suit, but I'll take the glasses. That's all right. Please access the. Let's see. There we go. That's air quotes, Gordon. Glasses worn by a legendary genius physicist. They make their wearer look wise and knowledgeable, just like Gordon himself. Glasses were made made to special specifications. The color scheme is non-customizable, but they should be a perfect fit for Sam's face. It's like I'm Half-Life again. Yeah, crowbar. That would have been that would have been neat, I guess. I mean, I feel like I feel like a crowbar could have been the item you deliver. I don't know that like there's a lot of use for crowbars in the game. That's cool. I'll take it. That's it. Just a pair of glasses. Hey, that's that's the game. Yeah, you get you get hats, you get glasses. You can get an otter suit, uh, which I'm excited. I didn't find that the first time I played the game because again I had to had to mainline it at a certain point. I'm just glad the internet let lol cats die. Uh, yeah, memes were pretty basic back then. We've we've uh, we've evolved. Oh hey, blank space. I will, I will go out of my way to enjoy my next 24 hours. What's the name of the Chinese film action film with the sword umbrellas? That looked pretty cool. I don't think I've seen that. Uh, or rather, it doesn't ring a bell. Yon cat, kill me. Yeah. Good stuff. Good stuff. 
Booyah. Wait. I think I got pink for this too. Yeah. Wait, oh, you have to. This looks extra stupid, and I love it. What's with a handcuff? Oh boy. Uh. Uh. Mm, I guess you could just say it's like a cell phone. Um, as to why he had chains himself to the bed, I think that's open to interpretation. You okay? Ooh. Just finish some watermelon. Nice. Oh, I need to get a watermelon. I need to buy groceries tonight. Thank you for reminding me. <clears throat> Shocked you can't change your suit's color scheme? You get different suits later, I'm pretty sure. Or no, you don't. Never mind. Wait, can't you do that at some point? You can totally change the suit you're wearing. Keep booping? Ah, oh, yeah. Oh, I know there's there's a thing that happens eventually. That was Shadow? Still looking at Shadow? Eh? Understand the mirror. I guess they just had like motion capture data from Norman Reedus and they were like, we can use it here. Okay. Uh, Alright. I think that'll do it for the stream tonight. I'm gonna go cook dinner. It's been a while. I'm actually gonna make like a full meal. I'm not gonna eat it all because it's like 600 calories a serving, but actually I've eaten so little today I might actually be able to have a full normal American meal. Weird. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I'll, I'll continue playing this. I don't know if I'm going to continue playing it tomorrow. Actually, no, tomorrow's podcast and uh, media share. We watch Wednesday. So, kind of spoken for tomorrow, but I will be picking this up again. I do like this game a lot. Yeah, if you look at his crotch, he, uh, he defends his honor. Yeah. the uh, There's a lot of Easter eggs in this game. It's pretty awesome. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Uh, thank you for all your generosity, too. Both with your time and subs and things like that. I really appreciate it. Um, and I'll find a nice, uh, a nice person to raid. Gonna do late night streams again? Yeah, probably more often. Um, not a whole lot going on these days, really. Uh, I think I have, like, a couple of weeks. I don't have any really big projects on the horizon, really. So, yeah, just smooth sailing. Alright, thank you guys for watching. And I'll be back tomorrow with a podcast and watching some chill videos. See you guys, have a good night. See D-sized case. The reason, a 64-page instruction booklet and a 64-page reference guide with loads of hints for cornering, accelerating, braking, front-to-back weight transfer, and more. If Sony had spent half the time on the game as they did on the enclosed booklets, Gran Turismo wouldn't be the flop that it is. Newman Haas Racing is equally embarrassing for Cygnosis. The sound, graphics, and tracks are the PlayStation's worst in a long time for this genre. 90% of the tracks are straight, resulting in a very low challenge level. If you're looking for a good racing game, Gran Turismo or Newman Haas isn't the answer. Instead, check out Porsche Challenge or Motor Tune Grand Prix.
Well, mm -hmm. comparing our new 